Hey everybody, welcome back. It's time to begin. It is live stream time. Hope you guys are having a nice Tuesday. Warning, you are approaching the okay. gift sub threshold. It appears you have gifted at least 25 gift subs. Thank you for your generosity in support of the Ellis. YouTube channel. Oh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Big beginning of stream gift subs. Hello, sub dog, making an entrance. Thank you for supporting your favorite YouTuber. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm here. I'm back. I got some sleep, went to the grocery store, and I appreciate you coming back. I've got a cough drop, so if you hear any weird noises, then that's what that is. I'm not trying to ASMR cough drop, but if I was, it would sound like this. But I'm not doing that, so you don't have to worry about it. Song name? Song name is Good Song. Gross, neat, the duality of Chad. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's 101 degrees in sunny Las Vegas. Toxic, I heard you got XCOM by Rona. Yeah, I had 95%. Probably not that high. But I'm doing pretty good. Just trying to shake this damn cough. It just won't quite leave. It's, it's very manageable now. It's like 92% gone. Much better than it was. But anyway, thanks Subdog for big 30 gift subs. That is uh, like $150 in gift subs. If you did get a gift sub, or if you dodged, get good. A lot of first monthers in that mix. Enjoy your next 30 days, ad free. And a 39 month returning Captain Squirrel got hooked up. Stochastic guy for almost a year, frozen tear. Celebrating one year in that gift sub volley. It's a lot of subs. Also, what's up, Anxiety Prime, slubbing for six months? Hey, Suit Bird, jumping back in. Hey, Suit Bird. Migwar says, nearly two years, mother of God. That's a long time, yeah. I don't know what we were doing in 2020. We were probably playing Animal Crossing, actually. I think we're playing Animal Crossing. X Kitty says more Ricola. That is what I am currently consuming, as it happens. Uh, Sarion also. Howdy. Load Bob says hey. What's up, Load Bob? Thanks for 51 months. Holy crap. A Danian cogging out in chat. A Danian, hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping in, saying hi. Mishan Angel says woohoo for month two. And Darkencito getting comfy. What's up, Darkencito? Hey, Tox, I'm watching your past broadcast on Stellaris when I noticed that you're live. I do want to play some more Stellaris. We'll probably play more Stellaris next week. And we'll jump back in. I know that there was a big delay on that. We also got XCOM'd because I was, uh, I had resuscitated the XCOM run. And now we haven't played XCOM <clears throat> in a little while. So we're going to try and... Bring everything back. It's going to take a little bit of time. But the ball's getting rolling. What's up? It's Lucy, Eric, Saki, Mr. Roan, welcome back. I got here in time, and so I will rhyme. Thank you, Chairman Meow. I just got Captain of Industry today. Nice. 005. I was really into it yesterday, and I want to play it some more. Because yesterday... We got to play a little bit, just enough to kind of get the training wheels put on. And I got more stuff I want to do. I've been thinking about it since yesterday. I watched um, some streams. I tuned in to watch some other people play Captain of Industry. I <clears throat> watched a little bit of Avix VOD from when he played this for like 11 straight hours while I was sick. And I've just, I don't know, I was like, you know what? If I'm watching that much of it, I should probably just play it again. 
Italics, I can't believe what you said about Kenobi. I agree 300% based opinion. Based and chat pilled. But you're you're supposed to agree with me, so I'm not surprised. <clears throat> By chance we'll be playing Crusader Kings again soon? Maybe? But I'm gonna play Stellaris first. Because Stellaris, we actually have the... the new save in progress from the last DLC. I, I also saw the new Hearts of Iron... trailer today. So we'll talk about that more later, but I'm very excited about that. That's got me hyped. Who else is here? I'm playing Elden Ring. Why are people still playing Elden Ring? <clears throat> How is Midas? He's sleepy. I have not made a grilled cheese in like two months. So, C cooking is for nerds. Promachian says, couldn't make the stream yesterday. Glad to see you rejuvenated. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I got, a, I got a big coffee. I got a big coffee with apparently a lot of chocolate at the bottom. I got a whole bag of cough drops. Cough drops and coffee. I like to plop just a couple of cough drops into the coffee and let them melt and disintegrate a little so I can get that extra bit of flavor. Some people put creamer in their coffee, not me. I like to make sure that I get melted down cough drops that I bought from somebody selling them out of their trunk or something. Hello, King English. What's up? Baby Carrots. Envlox. Wanmean. I saw the notification, and so to hear I hasten. Oh, I'll count it as original. Who gifted, um... Clive did, like, some bits before the stream even began. But they're not in my notifications, so I'm a little confused. But thanks, Clive. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for supporting the stream. Marshmallow? I've been okay. I've been alright. I've been good since Friday. Friday is when I tested negative, finally. I had the full 10 days. That was day 11. So I didn't test negative from COVID till day 11. I did a, so much research. And apparently the norm statistically is five days. So I was an outlier. Um, I want to say it was like Harvard or somebody. I, I read a, they did a test on like 80 to 100 students. And of those students, I think it was something like 80 plus percent test negative after five days. And I think it was like, I think it was like 83% test negative after five days out of that test group. And 17% were between like the five and 10 day mark or the six and 10 day mark. It took me 14 days to finally test negative. Woo, that's too much. Yeah, sometimes it can go longer. That's even more of an outlier. The overwhelming majority will test negative in 10 days. Probably like 98%, 99%. Yeah, that's where I was, right at the deadline. So. Um, but your, your transmissibility, of course, goes down over time, significantly. To the point where the CDC says after 10 days, even if you're still testing positive, technically, that your contagiousness is just not even noteworthy in any statistically significant way. For whatever that's worth. How's your sense of smell? I mean, you guys stink, so I guess it's fine. I can still smell you. You've collected all the level 2 emotes. Cool, thanks. What was that for? The, um, hype train? My brother's had COVID four times. 
That's too many times. That's at least three too many times. Maybe, maybe more. So what's the deal? Hey, what's the deal on catching COVID? No, what, ser but seriously, what's the deal when you do get COVID? When do you need to go back for a booster? Like, I, I'm assuming I'm not just going to catch COVID again, like, next week, right? I have to have immunity for at least a little while. I don't think I need to wait six months, though. So I'm, I'm curious when I should actually go get a booster. I would advise asking a doctor and not chat. Statistically, one of you is a doctor. Okay, because an airplane always has a doctor, and there's more people in chat right now than on an airplane. I think it's three months. My coworker had to wait three to four months. Chat says three months. That makes sense. So I should plan on probably like September, basically, like early September. Which feels like it should be so far away that when I say, oh, that's only three months away, it hurts my brain. How is it already? We're like 44% through with 2022. It feels like September should be much further out than that. I am confused. I just can't believe we've been, like... Like, obviously, I understand that COVID has existed for this many years, but I can't, like, the 2020 through 2022 has just bled together so much because of it. That my method of demarking time passage is faulty. Twenty twenty two was ten years ago, basically. I feel it still feels like I would say February to March to me. But yeah, we're playing some more Captain of Industry today. There's a game back there. I don't know what we're going to play tomorrow. I have genuinely no idea. And, um... I, Chad, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is COVID's gone. And, um... We're going to be streaming a nice, good, chunky stream today. Not a little baby five-hour stream like yesterday. That was just kind of... Late stream, getting the ball rolling again. So it's going to be a good, good size stream today. The bad news is that uh, after we stream tomorrow, the next stream won't be till Monday of next week. So, but then after that, things will be normalized to like the four to five days a week for a while. So. Because I already had plans that I made before, like a month and a half ago, before I even got sick. So I'm going to hang out with some friends for a few days from California. Now that I'm not going to infect anybody. And then COVID got in the way. But I'm not changing the plans yet. However, things will be back to normal. But anyways, for now, we are going to continue Stream Island. Friends other than us! Are you planning on playing The Quarry? Uh, I don't know what it is, so technically no. I'm going to a cabin this weekend. Is it in the woods? Is it a cabin in the woods? I don't think I've ever stayed in a cabin before. Okay, probably don't alt-tab on the loading screen. It's a good idea. Keep an eye on the amount of diesel. Yeah, we don't want to run out of fuel. Even if it's $6 a gallon. <laughs> I think uh, gas in Vegas right now is like five fifty or some somewhere around there. Whew. Craziness. Hey, anybody look at the weather today? What about the price of gas? What about COVID? I'm a newspaper. 
This is newspaper stream. I still feel like this is too loud at 19%. That's fine. Alright, that's good. Boomer talking points. I'm 33 now, so... That makes sense. Right on time, thank you for the 20-monther. The man with the plan. I do have a plan. My plan today is to <clears throat> continue industrializing this gold island. There is a mountain in the middle of this island that is literally made of gold. And that, I think the, <laughs> the height of these pylons, I think, represents the quantity relative. Uh, so as you can see, it's a lot of gold. I don't know what you do with it once you get it, to be honest, but it's there. We could do the camera mode a little bit more in a second. The Roxon says, hello, is this a stream of Italics Midastum? Owner of the Italdale Midastome factory. I don't know what that's a reference to, but sure. Hello, Narox. And thanks again, FB and Potato Elijah. And Y2B Shears. Who's back for 41 months. And welcome, Kitty Yuri, with the hype train help. Thanks for the hype train, by the way, guys. And also thanks um, once again to Subdog for the big 30 gift subs. Helps out a lot. Especially after two weeks. So thanks. Alright. <clears throat> we have some explanations to do. We have many explanations to do, as in, what is this game and how do you play it? And it's an explanation that we'll probably have to do multiple times. So, Captain of Industry, as the name suggests, is a very robust, it's currently in early access, but it's a, it's a very robust um, resource and logistics management simulator. Where you start on a preset island, they're not randomly generated, I think there's like six maps, but they don't let that make you think, oh, well, that means there's not that much to do. Because there's probably too much to do. And from what I understand, the ending of the game as it is right now is not even going to be the ending. It, there's supposed to be even more technology to unlock that they're adding to the game after you manage to build a functioning rocket and blast it off, as you do in most of these style games. So, you, you start off kind of doing the standard fare, gathering iron and refining it into effectively iron plates, uh, getting coal so that you can power your buildings. You've heard this kind of song and dance before, but kind of what makes Captain of Industry different is a number of features, namely the fact that it's um, really beautiful to look at, in my opinion. Like, the, the animations are quite good for everything. It's got Z-axis so that you can build um, assembly lines and pipes and conveyor belts vertically, kind of like satisfactory style, one on top of the other. Uh, but also deformation of the terrain is kind of a very important characteristic. So we're, for example, digging coal over here. I wouldn't pause the game, but I don't remember if we got anything going on. So I'm just going to stay paused for now, as you do on this stream. Uh, but when you dig, there actually is a simulation of, like higher level soil rock and sediment and stuff falling and cascading down Minecraft sand style. So <clears throat> we can actually dig in like a, a straight line and, and terraform as we see fit. For example, here, we've got a mining designation so that in theory, we should be digging a sloped incline that kind of levels out uh, once they get to the top. And we're probably going to end up tapping this entire coal resource node at some point soon. Uh, so we can keep a ramp up here and then dig deep. You can go underground. And also, the other thing is, all the resources, once you, once you like, get them with an excavator out of the ground, they gotta go somewhere. So, sure, some of this is coal, but some of this is actually dirt. Some of it might be rock. Some of it, um, might be, what is the other resource? Slag. So it's primarily going to be rock, because slag comes from a different um, location. But yeah, it could, be, it could be any of those things. And once you dig them up, they have to go somewhere. So, for example, we're taking coal uh, to the different buildings that currently require coal in order to function. But if we get dirt, we're currently dumping dirt over here. This is our little dirt pile. And we are making 
a dirt ramp that goes up to the next level so that we can get even more access to resources like trees, which we're currently kind of running out of, actually. Uh, or if we get rock, we're going to either dump the rock somewhere, or in this case, we're going to take it over to a crusher and convert the rock into gravel, which we can use in other recipes. So everything has to go somewhere. So you're having to sift through the kind of resources you don't want to get to the ones you do. In this case, we got limestone. And then over here, we've got iron. And you can kind of see we've started to make a little bit of a dent. But these mountains are going to terraform extensively as we progress. So terraformation is one of the big selling points. But also, um, just the number of things to do. So the, the thing with logistics games is you're either... You either love getting a headache from not knowing whether you should research Construction 3 or Logistics 4, or you enjoy sorting through the research tree that looks like this. So we're currently researching Basic Diesel, which will unlock four new buildings. We're going to have to deal with pumping oil from the ground. We're going to have to deal with wastewater and sending that somewhere to be recycled into water pollution so that we can dump that into the ocean. Um, then we're going to need to grab a beacon so that we can apparently ostensibly help refugees to find our island and join us. So I imagine the fact that refugees find our island and start working for us is some kind of... Um, a story parallel to a future in which capitalism has fallen and has become the minority economic power and has been exiled to various islands in the Pacific. And the only way that we can get other like-minded individuals to join us and hyper-industrialize this island paradise into a, a polluted shell of its former natural glory is to create beacons to invite other capitalist refugees to come work for us so that we can rebuild America to its former glory. That's my internal story for this game. I don't know what the actual storyline is, but that's what I'm going to go with. Anyway, I digress. Because um, we're doing things quite simply. You know, this isn't that hard to parse. There's only a handful of researches, but we're going to show this off probably five or six times during the course of the stream. Uh, because even though it's an early access right now, there is a lot to chew on. And as you can imagine, the further that you go west to east here, uh, the more menu items you are going to have to deal with, the more menu items you're going to have to deal with, uh, the more of a logistics nightmare you are going to unfurl. In doing so, is the inevitability of that factorio time where you're like, I need green science juices. What's the holdup? <clears throat> and then trying to figure out and kind of untangle this mess is going to be the key gameplay. And just upgrading things over time. <laughs> Ugh. This research tree looks surprisingly tame, says Big Bunger Boy, who then said, Okay, I was very wrong. <laughs> this tech tree is fucked. Perfect. That's what I... You're either, you're either the person that's intimidated by this, and you're like, I never, ever want to mess with this, or you're the kind of person that just said, Sold. There's two types of people. But yeah, we're at the very beginning of the game, as you can see. But yeah, we're going to start with basic diesel. Then I'm going to go ahead and add beacons to the queue. That's going to attract more workers. We only have five workers available, so we need to solve that crisis very quickly. Uh, then I'm going to say... We need both copper and synthetic rubber. I don't know what we need first. So let's just go ahead and, and take a look and see what the supply lines are doing right now. I'll give you guys a brief rundown of what's doing what. So number one, we've got housing here. This is the settlement container parks that you start the game with. Collectively, they house 140 people, so we have room for another 37 before we run out of space. Uh, we do have to feed them, so the food is distributed via this food market attached to the settlement. And that receives food currently uh, from this farm, which is growing potatoes. And the potatoes are growing with 
the help of rainwater, but we should be able to actually get a sprinkler system installed and distribute water possibly from these rainwater harvesters, which I might build some over here specifically for the farms. But they get food and uh, they have some other needs that if provided, like electricity, if we can pump water to them, so right now they're not getting any water, or at least we're not getting unity from water. Uh, everything that you give them yields unity, which is a resource that we spend on research and also on basically fast building things, which we're gonna start doing today. We can either fast build or fast deconstruct things by spending unity. So those are the people, and they've also got some uh, waste management, waste collection attached, where free trucks will kind of come in and then scoop up their filth and then take it to a designated area, which I designated as back here. We've got a secret trash dump behind the trees in the forest. <clears throat> so that's the people. Um, in the front of the people's living quarters, we got two more kind of settlement areas planned for them, which I just realized we didn't really leave ourselves a lot of space to attach other buildings to this, but I can move things as necessary later. We got our research lab. This is what is currently powering our research. It's consuming 0.25 monthly units. So if I wanted to research things faster, and I think that I do, uh, we only have five workers left, but I think it's a great idea to just copy this building. I'm gonna rotate it around so it looks different, of course. And then just kind of like plop it right next to it. And trucks can drive around or they can drive through here. It's fine. But we can double up our research and research things a little quicker. Uh, this building is a vehicle depot, which we build new excavators or tree harvesters or pickup trucks, which are currently hauling everything uh, around the space. I think we should be able to go ahead and just unpause on one time speed and you should be able to see said trucks kind of just gathering things up and taking them to their destinations. Turn this down a little bit, turn that down a little bit. Perfect. And taking things where they need to go. While we're over here, <clears throat> we just made our very first iron mine. And the iron mine is getting actual iron ore as opposed to the iron scraps that we're currently recycling from what's left of this abandoned communication station. This is almost out. And we're hauling it over to a blast furnace right now, which is pumping some pollution into the air, but uh, melting the scraps and the iron into liquid molten iron, which is then cast into functional iron, basically plates, in this device. And then we haul those. We only have 31 right now total, so we're a little, we're a little short on this. But we're hauling those to one of these, like, five assemblers. So we got assemblers here. These, I don't know if there's a button like in Factorio where you can pop, push a button and it shows you an icon of what that particular building is making. Um, but one of, two of these are making construction parts, which is the generic resource that builds all buildings. Like, that's the thing you need to build. Uh, we got another one currently making mechanical parts. It is full, because we're not using enough mechanical parts. We got another one making vehicle, two of them making vehicle parts. This is also full because we are not using enough, but we're about to be actually out. I wanna go ahead and pause production on both of these because we're using electronics, which are precious right now. We only have 65 left and we cannot make more yet. So that's fun. Because uh, and I don't wanna soft lock us by running out of a very important resource, but yeah, it's just going Raw materials over here, processed into molten. Molten processes it into plates. Plates go and combine with wood, or just be by themselves, or combine with mechanical parts or electronics to make something. So it's easy as that right now. Then over here, we've got another kind of factory in progress for limestone. And this limestone is being fed into a rotary kiln in tandem with coal that makes cement and then the cement goes into this concrete mixer with water and some crushed slag which we're crushing here and there's some crushed slag already being carried over and deposited into its concrete mixer 
so that it can continue. And we're making concrete slabs with that, which I don't even remember what we use that for right now, but I know we need it, and we need a lot of it. So at the moment, I don't think we're really having to do much except... We might be able to make more concrete mixers. Because this is consuming three cement every 60 seconds, but this is producing... This is producing three cement every 60 seconds. Okay, so that's even. So I would need to make another rotary kiln in order to support another concrete mixer. But we probably can do that, because this is just coal and limestone. But I also don't know how much is too much concrete slabs, and I don't want to, like... Every building needs workers. So we need six workers for this, right? And we need four workers for this building. And we have 14. I don't know where workers got freed up from. Uh, but it was a precious resource right now. The only way for us to get more workers at the moment until we research beacons is to simply trade. So there's a world map here. And we can adopt pops for unity. And we can that can be up to 10. And then we can trade other resources that we may have too many of for things that we might need. All right. Anyway, so that's pretty much the game, chat. Did that help anybody? Small excavator cannot reach its destination. So I think what I'm going to have to do here... ...is probably not make this slope the way that I originally intended and simply dig like a flattened area. So we're just going to keep it nice and flat here. If we keep it nice and flat, they should have plenty to dig. Alright, did I do the right thing? Did I do dumping or mining designation? Small excavator cannot reach destination. Note that it can't... Wait, is this destination the dock? Is it stuck? Hold on. Did it just get stuck behind, like, a bump? Did it, like, dig in such a way? Hmm. Because it's trying to get gas. It's out of gas. Can produce complex electronics, but cannot pave roads. That's true. What's up, Barkley? And Brule Lord and everybody else people arriving. Yabuk says hi. What's up? Thorough pieces. Uh, good to see you. Glad you feel better. I still can't believe you, who goes out so little, got COVID. Omicron is extremely contagious. And it really doesn't take much. Fargman also says E. Thanks for 44 months, Fargman. But yeah, I think it dug itself stuck. So the best case scenario is attaching another excavate. I don't even know how to un... How do you unstuck it? Do you think it actually is stuck? Put it in reverse. All right, we're gonna have to come back to that. Small excavator has no reachable terrain designations. All right, this one we can fix. I'm gonna stop with the hill thing and just do the flat land like we were doing a second ago. All right, you're good to go. Just do unstuck. Recover button. So the only problem that can really arise is they can grab... Like, right now they're getting dirt. But if he's like, you know what? There actually isn't really any more dirt. Uh, I'm going to pick up coal. Then even though this doesn't have a full truckload, it still has to go spend gas to go get rid of the dirt. In this case, we're making a big old dirt hill. You can see it kind of forming up here. 
Dude, free dirt. Yeah, lots of free dirt. Hey, Gemstick. So you can assign multiple trucks uh, to these excavators so they can work better. I don't know what to do with you. I think we have plenty of vehicle parts. I'm going to go ahead and craft another excavator. We are going to run out of diesel soon, but we're researching diesel. And this needs to be unpaused. I forgot I'm in planning mode right now, so nothing that I queue up is actually getting built. So why don't we go ahead and build that so we can research twice as fast. Trucks are delivering uh, the vehicle parts, the iron and the diesel, so we can craft another excavator. I might put the music up just a little bit. There we go. We can also turn some game soundtracks on, too. Slang Society, thank you for the 14 month sub. Hi. And good afternoon. Santa Clance is back for 43. Meritonopolis says, Ghost Streamer, keep up the good work. Keep up the work for 45 months. I am keeping up the work. It may not be good, but it is. I have elevated the work back to work from not working. You know what I'm saying? But Slang Society said, Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. Thanks, everybody else, for uh, coming back and resubbing. And remembering that this stream exists and watching it. I know that your memory on the internet is short. But yeah, two excavators on iron is actually probably good. Because we want to feed two blast furnaces. Like, I have a blast furnace here. We need to unpause construction of the smokestack and probably take the tin workers actually I don't know we pause all these we get more workers refunded health and pollution oh no <laughs> your population has health do they if health is positive your population grows and gives you extra unity if health is negative your population starts to decline. Positive effects. You can increase your population health by giving them variety of food, water, and health care. Negative. It'll decrease if you emit pollution in air or water. Pollution on your island is global, so moving smokestacks farther from your settlement doesn't help. It's a good idea to keep your eye on how much pollution you emit. When something emits pollution, it's displayed in the UI with a, with a cute little raindrop with a skull in it. Hmm. Your population can suffer diseases. Some diseases come and go. Nothing you can do. Just make sure to provide health care when you can. There are also diseases that can occur due to bad conditions in your settlement. For instance, lack of clean water. There are no diseases from pollution, as pollution gives a health penalty directly. I have to provide the island with health care. Hello. What's up, Lupacap? Is this the RimWorld of industry? Sure. Everything is like RimWorld. You guys already know that, though. So, basic diesel. Yields a whole bunch of new stuff for us to figure out. We gotta figure out how to distill low-grade gasoline from oil pumps. We gotta make derricks. We gotta dump liquid into the ocean, cause water pollution. Store fluids. Okay, we started researching the beacon next. We do have the second research lab, so that is good. Faster research is going to save us right now. I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. Okay, well, we have a job to do now. And the job is figuring out where, where the oil is. And wouldn't you know it, the crude oil is under where I decided to build my limestone factory. So good job, me. Uh, so now I'm thinking about where to move my small limestone factory. Because I got this loose storage that just has limestone in it. What happens if you cut... You can't cut something that has resources in it. So here's what I have to do. <laughs> um, so the limestone's coming from this mountain over here. I was trying to kind of... You know... 
clear some land out, more or less. But it's hard to clear all these trees. Okay, um... It won't be that- it won't be that difficult. I'm just gonna go back here. Somewhere back here is good. There's a couple stupid trees in my way. Dun, 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 dun. All right, I'm gonna do like here. This is a loose storage, so this is the only viable way to take, in this case, limestone. And if you just took limestone and you moved it over here, you would need an excavator to pick it up and put it somewhere else again. So this loose storage building lets trucks grab the resources. So that the excavators don't have to come over here and scoop it up each time. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and cut. Or just copy this building, I guess. Of course it doesn't line up, because that would be too easy. And it needs to be fed limestone on the right and coal on the left. So I'm actually thinking, okay, one fun thing about this game is that you can mirror buildings, which is super cool. And I'll show you what that means. So let's pretend that we had um, like a coal line. Let's pretend that we had two loose storages just like this. One there. And one there. Now we have two spaces in the middle that we can feed coal. But because coal is input on the left, we can actually mirror it and reverse the building so we can put these two side by side so we could feed coal with like conveyor belts up here possibly. So that's really nice. And then these are not gonna be perfectly lined up. There'll be a little squiggle, but I think the squiggle will be fine. All right, so we just need to pause a couple of these so we can do planning mode. Or rather just, I'll freeze these myself. I want to build these two. And then over here is the final building, the concrete mixer. We're just going to need to rebuild that. I need to kill this single tree, please. Kill that tree. Both of those. They're in my way. Okay, I still don't know what to do with you, but our new excavator should be done imminently. It's like 85% constructed. And then we're gonna send that excavator to go rescue this <laughs> excavator, I guess. The oil has a round bar instead of a square one, which means it extracts from the total pool. Okay, so, okay, that, that Hummus, you just cleared something up for me, because I was actually there in Avic Stream when he was explaining that, but I got confused. So, I now understand. The oil is a liquid, and there's a pool of oil underground here. So if you put an oil pump anywhere on top of this, it's going to drain the entire collection of oil evenly. However, uh, for all these other resources, you do actually have to go get the various resources and they're going to have higher densities and concentrations in different areas. Okay, so I, I was wrong with what I said yesterday, but I was also confused. And now I make that sense. And now that makes sense, I should say. So the groundwater is going to have the same thing. Groundwater should also be like a total. But that makes sense.
Okay, I have assigned the new excavator to the iron patch, and I have given them another truck as well. So a truck should be heading that way. And when it gets over here... I'm curious how this is okay. Uh-huh. And what do you know? That's all it took. <laughs> it's free! Sorry if you mentioned it, but why do some of the resource pillars have gray caps on top and the varying sizes? Uh, so the thing about mining and excavating is you don't just excavate up. You can go down and create a pit. So I believe uh, in some of these cases, it's kind of how much topsoil and rock is on top of the resource. Like, see how this is totally green? So there's proportionally this much dirt slash rock above the resource, I, I think. So it's most highly concentrated kind of in this diagonal, in this case. All right, we need to assign a resource to go into this. In this case, limestone. The rotary kiln's already working. It needs an exhaust. Smokestack time. We need that to be built. And the tree has been cut. Very good. Cut those, then cut these, and I'll check in a second. Rotary kiln needs a transport to output exhaust. You got it. So we need to stop allowing imports to this loose storage so that we can empty it and delete it. And then we'll be able to delete this rotary kiln. I might be able to refund it now because we don't have that many workers available. And then I need to build a concrete mixer over here. So if we want these to be side by side... Hmm. What's the best way to do this? Because it's got one input for concrete and one input for crushed rock. Does it have an input for water? Oh, water's from the right side. Okay. So if water's on the right side, then this... Should be fine, actually. We'll keep it nice and close. And then I can put this one on the opposite side and then mirror it so the water is on the left instead of the right. That's perfect. Except this one needs to be paused. Okay, that should be very good. Now we need to start on diesel. So let's go ahead and deconstruct this bad boy. Hello again, Captain. Hello, Dag Chief So Brooklyn. What's up? Cuddle buff, enjoy your gift sub. Was that a, like a landslide? Uh, yeah, the <clears throat> the rock, there is like a physics simulation. So when you see them digging up, sometimes you'll see the rest of the rock kind of shift in order to fill, because it has like, it's not a Minecraft thing where you dig and then everything else stays stuck in place. Like it actually will kind of, if it's too tall, it'll slide down to kind of fill in. Which can result in you kind of mining the same area, excavating the same area for like an extended period of time. Because it'll just keep filling in. If you go flat. So how are you two doing? So sometimes they get filled with rock. See, this is the problem though. He's got iron ore. This dude's just holding dirt. Even with two trucks. I don't have enough trucks to assign a third truck to this. I can tell them to prioritize iron, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they will. Warning! Low diesel! Okay, chat, we need to make diesel. <laughs> I 
global supply of diesel is critically low. When you run out of diesel, all vehicles and diesel generators will stop working and your economy will halt. You've also finished beacon research so we can get some more people to come live here. All right, so we need to do that. Then I think we need to jump on synthetic rubber and then add copper to the queue. Okay, we don't have we don't have time for this. All right, those should those should deconstruct on their own. Let's go ahead and pause and figure out how to make oil. You can start at the top and surf down the gravel. Yeah, that's exactly what you do. You skirt the cars down the gravel. Pump crude from the ground. 18 barrels per 60 seconds. This also takes 20 kilowatts of electricity. Uh, we have 45 out of 45 kilowatts right now. So I think we're good. I was gonna make the dirt hill here, which is fine. I can't, I know, I can't see. All right, as long as it's anywhere on top of this, it should go ahead and grab the oil. So I'm gonna say, here is good. Let's just start here. Keep in mind, this building's gonna get deconstructed. So, <clears throat> we pump oil, and the distiller allows distillation of low-grade gas, but it's inefficient and makes a lot of waste. It needs 50, wait, it needs 54 barrels of oil every six, 60 seconds? Oh, damn. So, is that three oil pumps? 18, 36, 54. Yeah, three oil pumps satisfies one distiller. Okay, in hindsight, let's do this differently then. The distiller also needs coal, and then it outputs waste, gas, and smog. So we're going to pump it like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, copy this. Oh, wait, there's no oil there. <laughs> okay, this ramp behind me might be a problem. It's <laughs> I decided to build the ramp right where the oil is, actually. Can I just delete this? Can we just get rid of this? Can you guys just take... How do I... Can I force them to take all the loose... Wait, 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 wait. Empty, I can tell them to empty it. Yes. I actually can tell them to empty this. What are you carrying? Wood? Alright, if there are any idle trucks... They should be coming over and grabbing this. This dirt ramp is actually, like, making some progress. It's getting there. So now they are taking all the extra limestone. Popping it over. What's the problem? What's the holdup? Rot rotary kill needs a... Oh, it needs a... A transport to output exhaust. Did I build a smokestack facing the wrong? Yep, there's a missed connection. All right. <laughs> it's not, it's not, pl somebody forgot to plug in. The smokestack. Just quick remove this, and then we're gonna quick build this with Unity, because I need this thing to start moving. Concrete Mixer has no recipe. Yes, both recipes, please. There we go. Now the smokestack's working as intended, and the rotary kiln's back. Is this thing full? 
basically. All right, I'm gonna allow the building of the other one and quick deliver that too, because I don't have time. I need to accelerate this process. <laughs> okay. Now, Chad, I'm running out of diesel. I only have 59 diesel. This is an um, this is a slight emergency. Tutorial diesel production. I know. I got it. Don't worry about me. I need some trucks. I guess wasting 45 isn't the worst thing, but I'm just trying to not... Is anybody coming over here? I'm assuming priority one is very high priority. Reanimated Bitso, so happy to see you back, Italics. Also, hello, chat. Hi, chat. Fine, nobody say hi back. I... Why am I even here? Just to explain to you how to play Captain of Industry? First time chatter, Apple Picks? What are you doing here? How did you get here? I just tried to click on the screen to pause. You can still pause. <laughs> it's just the the video doesn't stop when you do pause, unless you're a filthy VOD watcher. That's the only difference. These video tutorials are so immersive. We're doing our best. Okay, I need to just delete this. So, oil. Let's build it. These stupid trees. Okay, we need to cut these damn trees down. I have a very specific... Process one, two, three, four, five that I want to do. These are thirty construction materials a piece. So I'm gonna do three oil pumps side by side. They're going up quite quickly. Okay. And then we're gonna do three more oil pumps on the opposite side, but not... Uh, we're not gonna let them actually get built yet. These are gonna be on planning mode. Alright, can we get rid of this, please? Wow, I'm new here. Hi, I'm new here. Anatashi, please. Hey, Town Chat, what's up, Kalicious? Can you talk at 2x so I can pretend I'm watching the VOD? No, because then I have to play at 2x. And also, I refuse to acknowledge the sovereignty of VOD watchers. So to do that would be an admission that uh, me and my embassy are not prepared to make. How do you sink these? You don't. You don't sink them at all. There's one single limestone in this loose storage. <laughs> I need a truck to spend an entire day coming in here and taking this single crumb that fell from the dinner table of limestone out. 
so that I can finally delete this. Okay, so now the question, of course, is where do we want the distillers to operate? Oh, thank God. They're finally doing it. Please? Oh, we get some refunded materials. Oh, that's nice. I didn't realize that uh, we should get some back. That's good. So they're actually coming and carting away the building materials. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. So yeah, then we're gonna do this. And this. Alright, then... We have liquid transportation. Pipes cannot support more than one product type at a time. Their throughput is 60 per 60. And that actually may not work the way that I want it to. Because we're producing 54. Incompatible. Uh-oh. Wait. Uh-oh. 60 per 60. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the problem, of course, is if it can only transport 60, and six jacks are gonna pump 108. Right? Then I'm, the pipes don't have enough throughput to support this many uh, pumps, right? I appreciate that the streamer shares my need for symmetry. You do indeed. Okay. <clears throat> so, this dude. We're gonna have... One of you here. And we're gonna flip it around, and we're gonna... Mirror it because we're geniuses. We gotta allow building of one though. Alright, so this is where the crude oil goes. The crude oil and the coal turns into diesel, waste, and exhaust. I can handle the exhaust. That's easy enough. The rest of it, not so much. Okay, but then we can take <clears throat> the liquid. Oh, this is all planned still. Why is that flip so familiar? <laughs> it is somewhat familiar, yes. Okay, so I need to, like, unplan. How do you, um... Is it a pause tool? Oh, pause tool. Very cool. So you can just mass unpause things. Alright, chat. If we did this correctly, which remains to be seen, we should have the exact amount of crude oil per 60 seconds so as to make 24 diesel every 60 seconds, which now that I think about it, sounds like a lot. These take 20 kilowatts of power a piece. How much are we generating right now? We're only generating like... It says we're doing 60 out of 180.
So this should be fine. Don't give me a logistics tutorial right now. Do you even know who I am? All right, where are we going to send the wastewater? I haven't thought that far ahead. We get, it's got to go to a liquid dump. Right next to the ship. Right next to the ship. <laughs> I guess. Are we out of gas? Chat, we're out of gas. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will simply not trade because there isn't any. Uh, we need more workers because I need to make the damn beacon. So let's just adopt the pops. Chat, is, is big number better or low number better? It's missing input. Trucks are running out of fuel, dude. But look, we just need like two sections. It's all I need is like two sections and then the oil goes in. And then we make diesel. What happens to cars that are stuck? <laughs> Hurry! There are two main ways to transport products, trucks and transports. Trucks are the most versatile. However, for periodic deliveries, it's better to build dedicated pipes or conveyor belts or the trucks can get overwhelmed. You can see the current load on logistics in the overview panel. Most transports can go up, down by pressing EQ. That way trucks can go under them, but excavators cannot. You can also build a vehicle ramp. You can split and merge transports by simply connecting them to each other. Wow, a logistics game that doesn't require you to manually build splitters and mergers? Interesting. Who would have thought? Modern technology. Very impressive. Pro tip, click on the red-green arrow to automatically select a corresponding transport. Uh, trucks automatically prioritize deliveries. Trucks deliver to storages when some other machine or vehicle needs to get rid of a product at high priority and there's no other machine that really needs it. To override default behavior, you can drag the sliders to keep storages full or empty them. Both these principles are illustrated in the image of the iron smelting chain below. Sliders have no effect on connected transports. Trucks and transports for machines. Once they're connected, trucks will no longer try to deliver and let the transports do their job. Okay, so conveyor belts and tubes. If this doesn't have trains, I'm out. I don't know if it has trains, but it does have a rocket ship, Howling Tech. Tags, they don't mention it, but you can bury pipes. That sounds like too much work. I'm just going to make above ground pipes so I can see what the hell's going on. All right. Are we going to save the economy? Everyone's running out of gas. Is this thing on? It is. Where is the wastewater going to go? <sighs> we got to build a liquid dump. Dump that liquid into the ocean. Okay. Uh, are we going to do it like right next to the damn ship? <laughs> I don't know. Where else should it go, really? Right? It doesn't have any connection this way anyway, so who cares? Trees? Alright, this looks good. <laughs> oh yeah. 
spew it right out into the ocean. But how are we going to get it there? We're going to need a pipe system. We're going to start at five. Then we're going to go up. What level is this? Height three? Chat, what height do the excavators need to be able to go under? They have a bucket capacity of six. If it's too tall and it cannot go under transports, use ramps. Okay, so you have to have a ramp. Which is unfortunate because we're about to like, eh, they can go, they can go around. So should I just make like this? I feel like making it elevated is still good in places. So we'll try that. Let's go up. Is it height two for trucks? Okay. Uh, something like that, and then we'll go back down. All right, and we're doing all this just to collect waste. <laughs> so it's gonna be waste from there, and then waste from here. Now we're talking. Now this is a factory. If you don't have any spaghetti, is it really a factory? That's all I'm saying. So, it says we have 8 diesel in storage. We're making 24 diesel every 60 seconds. We're producing 8 every 20 seconds. So vehicles should be... coming over here and grabbing some. Because it's available now. But I don't know what happens to vehicles that are stranded. Say nothing, chat, and let the streamer realize his failure on his own. <laughs> what? What did I even do? I don't think I did anything. I think chat's wrong. Hello, Chubby Penguin. Thanks for 50 months of sub. Big five zero. What's up, Chubby Penguin? And howdy, everybody else who's just jumping in. We just saved uh, a fuel crisis. We have too much wastewater now, so we can't actually make any more gas until this is built. But it's under construction as we speak. Hopefully they made enough gas to <coughs> pump it out of there. Behold. Does it work? Is it just coming down the pipe? It's got little windows. Oh! Oh! Hulk? It is just slithering down. Wait. <laughs> there, there it comes. <laughs> there, there 
it is. Straight into the ocean. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. Wait a second. What about the people's needs? Do they need waste, too? Or we need to get them water somehow. Where do you plug the water in here? I don't know, but we have started the full... We only pr produces, what, 12 waste water? So we still got plenty of space in here. Okay, so a couple things. Number one. As good as what we just did is, we... Need to look... Oh, fluid storage. That... Oh, so we could create a buffer. This can hold water, crude, waste, and diesel. All of them. Having extra water would be pretty sweet. Will this fit? Oh, damn. I mean, we can terraform. We can definitely, like, make it fit. The question is, is it gonna, it's just gonna dump trash here, isn't it? <laughs> you could. Just dump some trash, forehead. It's easy. Hmm. Maybe we'll hold off on that for a bit. Because I do kind of, I just like that, the reason I'm thinking about this is I like the idea of rain catchers being next to the farms. Because they're going to need to feed the farms. There's other ways to get usable water, but... See, I'm kind of regretting this. I'm going to allow construction of this guy. And I want some fluid storage. Because we need we need a surplus of crude. Like usable oil. Huh. Now how do we do this? I think like this. Okay, <clears throat> I, I don't want to run out of uh, the literal fuel lifeblood that keeps everything going. So we are going to store diesel here in mass. And then we're going to transport from here. Wrong button. Wrong button. Chat, I need more space. From you. Okay. <laughs> it's 
It's like you've had 14 days, buddy. How much time do you really need? You had like two whole weeks, dude. Wait, wasn't this just working the way I wanted it to? Two seconds? I swear I saw it just now. Where is it? There. Where's this? Why is this like this? Hold on. What? How do you... How do you cancel deconstruction? Wait a second, what the hell? Wait, this works. So I don't need to deconstruct it at all, but what's... Magic Pixel Games? You can use R to toggle snapping. Oh, maybe that's what it is. It was snapping. <laughs> Alright, hold on. This is harder than it looks, <laughs> actually. Because I want to keep this possibly drivable here? I guess it's not necessary, but that was kind of the intention. I guess this is fine. There's not enough space for vehicles. Not enough space for vehicles, not enough space for a ramp. They're just gonna have to go around. I don't know. Or, or? You could just cancel this and move everything up further. That would also work. Are you snapping, son? I am! Hey, chat. Anybody else been, um... I, hear, I saw some people talking about workers and resources. I'm curious, those of you that have played both that... ...and this, and what your thoughts are. Okay, well now we just have to rebuild this. Etal and a base builder? Kind of. It's less of a base builder and more like a giant logistics simulator, but yeah. Mega Factory. Okay, so now we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces instead. Give it a little bit more room. Pause tools P. So we're gonna hold off on those. All right, let's try this one more time. <clears throat> Except now. There should be enough space for trucks to go under, ideally. All right, we're refining copper. We just finished synthetic rubber. We have a new building. The new building is a rubber maker, which takes diesel and coal to create rubber and more waste, or diesel and sulfur to make rubber with no waste. So we don't have sulfur. So we're just gonna have to do diesel and coal, which is fine. So here's rubber maker. Big building. Very large. It's 
So, in my mind, uh, we're gonna have a few different buildings. So, okay, here's how this is working now. Let's, let's run this back. So we got three oil pumps. Each is producing 18 crude oil per 60 second period. They are pumping the oil down the pipes, which is in turn going into a distiller. The distiller is taking crude oil plus coal, which we are delivering, and creating diesel, which is now uh, going in the topmost pipe and entering into fluid storage so that we can use this to keep our trucks and our excavators going and also keep the lights on. That is what is currently powering um, our single diesel generator right now. Diesel's making electricity. Then we have waste in the form of a smokestack creating air pollution. And then we have waste liquid going in the bottommost pipe. And that pipe is being literally dumped into the ocean. So every so often you'll see a little bit of waste sploosh on out of there. This game seems like the kind of game that would destroy my social life for a week if I had one. I was gonna say. What social life? Destroying the ocean! Uh, it turns out only one person in chat has played workers and resources. Focus on transporting your workers. I guess that makes sense because it's in the title. Workers and resources. Whereas this game is primarily <laughs> just resources. Uh, we need to make a beacon. Strong light helps other refugees find your island and join you. This can help you get more workers and some extra starting loot. My question is, does this cost one unity? Or does it give one unity? Is there a goal to this game? It's the same goal as in every other resource and logistics game. Research the entire tech tree. And then build all the buildings in the game. And then build a rocket ship and blast the rocket ship off because you can. Destroy the ecosystem in the process. All right, beacons. Beacon, 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 beacon. Where should a beacon go? I like the beacon kind of behind the trading dock. It's not, it doesn't line up, so it's not even. So we'll just line it up with the farm. Which we also can't do. <laughs> so I'm just gonna plop it down here, I guess. I don't know. All right, let that go. Din, 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 din. Haven't seen you stream in a long time. I know, Lordton, I got sick. I had COVID for a couple weeks. I had COVID for 10 days, technically. But I've been sick for a couple weeks. And now I'm a little better. Feeling good. And honestly, really enjoying this game so far. Uh, we've played a handful of resource and logistics games recently. I did like um, Inzone too, but this is a very different flavor. That one was more people management. This one's more resource management. I fell asleep last night. Is this a new playthrough? Well, we started a new run, like, after a couple hours, War of the Worlds, and this is that run. This is the run that we played yesterday. One of the two. The beacon is up! It needs a constant supply of power from a diesel generator, and running the beacon takes unity. This gets more workers, and the refugees might bring extra loot with them as well. The effectiveness of the beacon declines over time. Prioritize repairing the ship because exploration can bring more people and resources. 
Also, make sure you have enough housing for new refugees because homelessness can negatively affect the unity. All right, we should have enough room for 35 pop. And then I've got two settlement uh, con container parks set up for another 140 people. And that'll keep us going for a little while. So we got a nice surplus of, of oil. Um, we need to get that rubber building in. Rubber maker. Rubber maker takes 12 crude every 60 seconds. How much are we making? 24. So it'll take half of our current supplies. So one basic distiller could supply two rubber makers, but we need extra crude just for fuel. Um, since we've got a spot for trucks to go under here, I think this is fine. To keep this nice and close. I think at most five blocks away. And I'll probably want two of these. Flip them around. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, is this right? Or... Is this? Okay, I think it's that one. Let's pause you. This is gonna require, uh, we gotta select a recipe. So it's gonna send in the crude. We're gonna have to deposit coal. We need coal everywhere. We need some coal supply lines. It's gonna make rubber and more waste. So what we wanna do is loop the waste in a pipe. Back around. Hmm. Tricky. Let's do this. It's like, I don't care if they can really drive through that, per se. Then we'll go up. Wait, is this just... Wait, is this just height one? So they can't... They can't drive under unless it's height two, right? Can trucks drive under... They can't drive under height one. Oh, no. I may have screwed this up. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hold on. Undo. Undo. How do I see what height they can drive under? Height two or higher? Ah. <sighs> Gotta delete this. Rest in peace. This is a learning process. I'm a service writer for a heavy equipment company, and this makes me think of work. What's up, Pizza Box? There's a lot of surprising number of games where that is the case. I.e. every simulation game in existence, right? Like all the truck sims, all the train sims. All right, so here's what I'm kind of trying to do. We're gonna delete a little bit more of this because I think I know what I want. So we're gonna raise this up to level two. And then go back down to level one. This is harder than it looks, believe it or not. How do you stop it from snapping? Okay, like that. Let's go down one. Perfect. I think. 
Is there a support for this? <laughs> or is it just gonna be free float? I'm sure it's fine. Just don't look at it too hard. But trucks will be able to drive under there. And it'll be great. Okay, <clears throat> so then. We obviously need to get the fuel. This can only carry 60 units at a time, yes? How much does this demand? 12? That's not that much. So we can just do a single pipe that connects all three of these if we want. Like so. Alright, and that should have an input. Yep, I'm seeing the fluid storage going up. I see trucks driving under this pipe, which don't need no supports. <laughs> this reminds me of the Industries DLC from City Skylines. I don't remember if I played that DLC. How old is that one? This is not getting any power. That means we are stretched, because this building takes 80 kilowatts! But yeah, that makes sense. Okay, um, so here's what we can do. Our only source of- oh, I don't have any research selected. Uh-oh. October 2018. Woo! So long ago. Uh, what is this? Construction 2? Oh boy. All sorts of goodies we can make in the assembly, including electronics, which of course we need. Vehicle ramps. Let's do the... <sighs> we need to repair the shipyard, too. Refuel, repair, and modify the ship. Also handles loading and unloading ship cargo. If a truck happens to have some cargo that cannot be delivered anywhere else, it can be delivered to the shipyard. Alright, that sounds useful. Let's do that. And then queue up Construction 2, which is going to open a whole new can of worms. And then conveyor belts exist, and a whole bunch of new goodies. When did I become a subscriber? Right now. Oh man, I don't have to watch any advertisements. Aww. But I wanna. All right, burning diesel to create electricity. Obviously not the ideal. Takes 20 electronics. How many electronics do we still have? 18, and that's it. Oh, boy. Um, can we trade? No. Uh, hmm. Chat, how do I get more electronics? And just make them forehead? It'll take copper and rubber. Copper and rubber. I come here to watch ads with streamer mid-rolls. Lucky for you, I don't roll mid-rolls. And I don't think I even have those little things that shrink the video screen. Chad, have you guys ever seen that on my channel? The one that uh, reduces the player size and then shows a little thing underneath. I don't think so. I think those are turned off on my channel. What are they making City Skylines 2? I don't know. There's so much DLC for the first game, I don't know if there ever will be a 2. It's kind of the thing that happens when you get that much DLC. Like, there's never going to be a Stellaris 2 for another 10 years, for example. Anyway, this is all copper. So we need to come up with a solution to turning this into copper sheets, basically. Like, I can actually trade for copper with construction parts. Temporarily. You say that, but they made a Crusader Kings 3. Yeah, but the, did you know the Crusader Kings 2 came out in 2012? So they waited eight years. So I said 10. 
but we'll say eight. Ah. Oh. All right. So to tap into the copper, what is this? This is just sand. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was something else. I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out, too. Uh, we need to create a mine control tower. I need to create a mine control tower to force chat to gift subs. And this little dude is going to go over here. And basically just govern... What area... We're going to operate in. The problem is, logistically, this is just kind of far away. Um, and we're going to need an excavator for it. Should be fine. There's only 180 iron in there. We have no way to connect it. Oh, this might actually be amazing. Surely three is enough. Oh wait, can we squeeze them in next to each other? Oh, well, it'll work better the other way. Yeah, I like that. Okay, <clears throat> anyway, I'm getting distracted. <sighs> we have way too much. We're going to go ahead and remove an excavator and the truck from the iron, because iron is currently at capacity. Is this even working? Full output of what? Which one? Just molten? No, it's full of slag. Oh my god, do we not have anywhere for slag to go? This is full of slag, too. And this is full of crushed slag. <laughs> okay. Uh, ow! Wait, 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 wait. Didn't the game tell me something about uh, just dumping slag somewhere because you're always going to get more slag than you actually need? I seem to remember reading that. Yeah, here it is. You can use dumping to get rid of unwanted products during mining ops, such as dirt. Some machines also produce slag from furnaces that can be dumped on the terrain as well. We could make a slag hill? <laughs> Should we just make a slag hill? Hello again, Ito. Hello, CG Core. And also, welcome recent slubs, Kenjutsu, who says, Yo. What's up, Kenjutsu? Thanks for the 11-month sub. Glad to have you. And She's the Worst says, I specifically waited until the rush of resubs was done during the first stream back so you could focus all of your attention on me. Well, this is all you're going to get. So I hope it was worth it. Okay, we're gonna build... This is gonna sound stupid, but it is going to work. We're gonna build a mine control tower here. Because what happened was, I just created a dump zone. So I made a dump zone here to try to ex artificially expand uh, buildable terrain this way, into the ocean. Okay? If I don't build a mine control tower, that dump zone is subject to the global dump parameters. Which right now, I have selected only waste. So it would only take trash, which we already have a trash dump zone over here. Nice landfill. We could also dig into the dirt and then fill that in with this. If we, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, if I want to specify something else to be dumped, I need to build a mine control tower so that I can specify what is dumped inside of the yellow circle. In this case, I only want to dump slag. 
And I'm going to build this like quick deliver with Unity so that the resources automatically go in. This thing just gets finished. Copper refinement unlocked. Very important. Copper refinement gives us access to copper electrolysis. Elect electrolyze. Electrolyze. Electric lice. Uh, we can reach 99% pure copper. We can either take copper ore plus coal. We can take copper scrap. Uh, the metal caster can now use molten copper. Very good. All very good. Hey, Chad, guess what? You bit. Population increase, plus 16. They also gave us some free loot. Free copper, free rubber, free iron, scrap, and free diesel. Hooray! Hooray! Yo, hooray. We're basically full, and uh, we only have 53 months of food, so here's what we're going to do. We have 23 workers. This is all good. We're going to allow construction of the next settlement, uh so that we can have se room for 70 more people. And I want to make sure they stay fed. So I'm going to get farm two up in here. Making potatoes. Also, I feel like, where are we, where does water currently go? Who uses it? Uh, the concrete mixer does. We have two rainwater harvesters. I don't know if that's enough right now. We'll see. Aling Techie says, I waited until she's the worst sub so you could focus on me instead. <sighs> Good job. Well done. Thank you for a two-month sub. That's way better than the 45-month sub that she's the worst just did. So my question is, if we have all this excess slag, will they prioritize taking the slag to the crusher before dumping it? I would hope so. Okay, so the problem again is that we have no electronics. And the only way to get more is, ironically, to use more. <laughs> oh no. Chat! Not enough housing! Settlement is overcrowded! 16 more refugees just joined the island. Good job, Beacon. No Beacon. Bad. Slow down. Too many peoples. Not hooray. No more Beacon. Turn off the Beacon. Refugees have to wait until we can give them somewhere to live. We're delivering uh, construction parts now, I think. <laughs> okay, um, chat, what do I do now? With that whole limestone. I, how do I get more power? Okay, these are diesel generators, which require electronics to build, and I don't think we have enough, so I don't know if we can actually get more power, but I'm going to split this off, because this should just be... Beautiful crew. You can't drive there anymore, by the way. It is forbidden. Let's see, we have 14 electronics there. We need six more. 
Do we just happen? Oh, we have 34 electronics just stashed in this assembly. Okay, thank God. We might be saved. So once we finish this research, construction two, we're gonna have a recipe to build electronics. We need copper and we need rubber. So the rubber will come from the rubber maker, which needs 80 kilowatts of power. That is why we're building the new de generator, which can generate 180 kilowatts as long as it's fueled. Uh, but for copper, that's a whole other issue. We go ahead and assign an excavator and a truck over here and give them a mining order. Let's go ahead and see where most of the resources are concentrated. There's quite a few here. So we're just gonna give them like a, a fairly generic. Kind of flat zone. No particular rhyme or reason. Uh, they're just gonna report over here and they're gonna get a bunch of raw copper. However, I don't know where we're gonna refine that copper. We just got a whole new, like, where is it? Yeah, got a whole new copper electrolysis. It needs six water and 24 copper every 60 seconds. Six, six water every, every so many seconds feels like too much. I think I'm gonna go ahead and build the other rainwater collector. Oh my god, I just realized we only have 18 construction parts. What happens? Con no, not enough concrete slabs? That's not good. Okay, chat, can I trade? I wanna trade you for another chat. I can also just trade uh, 20 wood for 20 concrete slabs. Do I have 660 copper? Oh, wait, do I? <laughs> why, why do I have so much? All right, we're actually gonna be good for a little while. He wants Kraken's chat. What's Kraken's chat? How is the settlement? Oh, it's overcrowded because we still don't, this was 80 construction parts, I see. I'm just gonna quick build this. Stop eating the concrete. But it's so crunchy. We are no longer overcrowded. The people have a place to live. We got room for like another 70 pops. We have 47 months of food. We got another potato farm. We should be able to turn the beacon back on. Look at this, look at this iron mine, dude. Getting it done. Okay, we need to dramatically catch up. On construction parts. So I think we need to, in my opinion, double the concrete slab effort here. So let's allow construction. Oh my god, it's 60 construction parts. How much wood do we have? 168. I'm just gonna trade. Wood is not replenishable in this game. You have to trade for it. Uh just give me the just give me the concrete slabs. All right, we got uh, tw we traded 25, 20 wood for 20 concrete slabs. The tree harvester has no trees designated. I can fix that too. We're gonna start just steadily getting rid of all these trees because we're gonna need 
space over here as well. Mm. 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 Sorry. Something's still something in my throat. I feel like I need to clear my throat all the time. Um, that and the cough are like the kind of two symptoms I can't quite get rid of. Did we actually create like a perfect slope up here so that vehicles can drive? That's actually super convenient. Oh, look at the dirt slope. This is going better than expected. We're connecting ourselves up to the next level. That's awesome. I, re I really like this uh, island so far. It's been, it's been very fun. I like this one better than the other one, I think. Okay, so we're still at a big construction part shortage. And we've maxed mechanical parts. So to me that says, let's store them somewhere. How do I do this? Okay, mechanical parts. So if we have a storage unit for mechanical parts, then they'll empty and we can go back to using iron to create more. We have a nice little stockpile of those. Let's make more construction parts here. And we have 34 vehicle parts, so I'm gonna unpause con- oh, But wait, we don't make electronics yet. No more vehicles until we figure out how to make electronics. And we can't really build any buildings until we solve the construction part shortage. So I got three separate assemblies working on them right now. And that should help catch us up. So while that's catching up, we need more concrete to make more concrete. We need the rotary kiln and another mixer. Except both slag and gravel. And then we're going to need conveyor belts. Let's look at that. So we're going to do construction two. Ooh, groundwater pump. Irrigated farms. Ooh. If, what do you mean efficient concrete? We can use a concrete mixer to take cement and sand. And water and slag or gravel to make 12 concrete slabs at a time. Or we can take gravel and turn it into sand in a crusher. Interesting. But yeah, I think I want to do construction two, followed by conveyor belts finally have some of that automation that we've been craving. <laughs> Excuse me. So weird. We need somewhere to store water. Fluid storage would be super handy. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, there's only four spaces in between those. So we can probably just get away with four. Um. Well, turn it sideways. And I guess that means if okay, if you turn it sideways, you have to push it back one. Okay, so we want to allow one of these to be built. And this is going to just hold extra water for now. Because these rain harvester collectors are capping out at 40. And then it doesn't rain for a while, so we burn through all the water. Hold on. But I really need water over here with the rotary kilns. I mean, with the uh, concrete. 
mixers, because you need, what, like, combined six water every 60 seconds, which I feel like goes pretty fast. Where's the water input? Uh, transports. Water input on the outside. But we're also going to need it for the farms. I also have no idea, like, how to future-proof this. I don't know how many concrete mixers, for example, we will or won't need, so... We'll just have to use tubes and conveyor belts as necessary. But that'll get us started. Timberborn all over again? Timberborn is a good game. I don't think this has water simulation physics, though. I love the terraforming in this. I also like terraforming in this. I think it's definitely one of the most fun aspects. Speaking of, you can see the dirt just kind of slide down the hill there. As this uh, slope becomes more sloped. Got a nice little excavator incline dug there. Working on some nice new buildings at the concrete factory. The rubber maker is actually producing rubber now. Um, <clears throat> the question though is, are we actually getting rid of the wastewater? No. So we need to do that. Is that right, chat? Nope. Okay, that would be right. Incompatible port at the end. I know, it's just... Trust me. Trust me. You gotta believe. Okay, so this actually needs to go up. And you go here. Then, I know it's kind of off-center, but I'm just going to try to connect it up with that, basically. So this actually doesn't need to go down. If anything, it needs to go up more. is really difficult for brain. Okay, and then go down one. Stop doing whatever you're doing. No no click. Okay, and then go down one more. How's it gonna loop? <laughs> we didn't really think this through, did we? Hold on. <laughs> hmm. Wait. Better idea. Hulk chat. <clears throat> It's the controls that really get me. I'm just learning the controls still. So the reason, the, the tricky part is here, it has to be height level two. So this is height level two. So that trucks can pass underneath, right? It's 
So if it's this low, the trucks can't pass. So we need to do height two and then do it to there. Then we're going to go down one. Then we're going to go down one more and it... Oh, shit. <laughs> There's no way, <laughs> there's no way for that to reach. Hmm. You made the pasta, now eat it. Oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna eat the pasta, just give me a second. The pasta will be consumed. inches away from the pasta being consumed properly. I'm just not sure. Where's what the hang up is here? Because this shouldn't be this wraparound zany. But it is. This is abstract art. I mean, there's another easier way to do this. You can do the bury the pipe underground or I can build a ramp over it. But it shouldn't be that hard. So we're just gonna do this instead. That'll work. This will work. It looks a little ugly, but it gets this the job done. Okay. <clears throat> There's no need to plan this. This can simply go. What are we waiting on here? This is a diesel generator is waiting on electronics. Is there a way to empty the electronics from an existing assembly manual? There's 34 electronics just sitting in there. How can I take those out? You can build pipes underground? Yeah, but you've got to terraform everything in order to do it, so it's not that easy. We are missing inputs of concrete slabs still. We're also missing electronics. Wait. We finished construction two. Okay. All right. Game changer time. Construction two unlocks six new recipes for us to get confused by. Uh, we're going to need construction parts two at some point in the very near future for uh, probably just better versions of the buildings that we've got. But in the short term... We just need to make electronics with rubber and copper. Uh, and rubber, we have copper and rubber in abundance currently, so all we need is to choose the correct... Wait. Chad, do I have to make an electric assembly? I hope I'm not soft-locked. <laughs> I wonder if we just deconstruct this building if we get all the electronics out of it or not. New refugees. They brought a bunch of stuff for us. Hooray. Thank you, refugees, for bringing us copper and rubber in abundance. Let's turn the beacon off now because we have only 38 months of food, but I do have two farms. I'm hoping that those two combined are enough or else I'm going to have to build another farm. Okay, um, but yeah. No, you can make it here. I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, electronics go from a regular assembly. So it's rubber plus copper equals electronics. So we're going to highlight that recipe. Uh, let's send some workers in here. They're going to have to finish work on this just because they already started. So we're going to wait. Ah. <sighs> 
we actually just need more assemblies making electronics. Rubber plus copper. The problem is rubber comes from over here for us, and copper comes kind of from over here, unless we want to just haul the raw materials and smelt them elsewhere. Which we, I don't know, we may want to do. Right now, we don't even have the second blast furnace running. So I think it couldn't hurt to go ahead and use this space with the copper electrolysis. This is going to refine impure copper into copper. But first we need to make impure copper via the blast furnace. So blast furnace needs... We could just turn this one on. Alright, let's unpause it. We're going to stop making iron and start making copper. Copper ore plus coal equals molten copper, slag, and exhaust. But how? No, I don't want this. Too bad. We're just going to have to enable both recipes here. Okay. So, we built this ages ago. We're finally going to be able to use it. You're going to see the truck uh, hauling copper into this facility. Goes up the ramp, dumps in, starts melting down the way that it's supposed to. Smokestack goes off. And then we should start seeing our very fir baby's first molten copper pop on out of here. Chad, I went outside for like a minute, and I've got three mosquito bites, including one on my face. You bit. Okay, once this... What are we waiting on? What are we waiting on here? Oh, we need 24 copper ore and some coal. All right, we need to allow this to be built. And this needs to hold copper. Chat. One excavator and one truck is not going to be enough to keep this copper train rolling. Certainly not one truck. Why don't we just build another truck? And then attach another truck. We only have three free trucks after that. People arrive. Stream. What's up, Coronis? I'm playing Project Zomboid. I am merely scratched. I am going to be fine. We'll play Project Zomboid again sometime. Okay, but yeah, having two trucks here is good because uh, this dude has just got a bundle of rocks right now. Which is not what we want. Which is probably also... What, where are you going? Buy truck. We need to focus... Cop, where are you... Oh, he's going to go refuel. That's going to take a while. Our uh, logistics are not ideal right now, as you can see. Things are getting better, but they're also getting worse. Alright, I want to listen to a game soundtrack. Chat, I think I know. We did... I want to do some more SimCity. The question is, which one? Oh, I think I know. There we go. Okay, they're nearly done with the tree harvest that we've set up. 
More space here would be good. Mechanicus, because there are machines. <laughs> There's always a good reason to play Mechanicus. Rotary kill needs... Oh, we need exhaust. I can do that. That's okay, though, because the concrete mixer's not done anyway. We actually did deliver the electronics. We're just short of construction parts right now. We're kind of just short trucks. So I'm going to build another truck. Use the rest of our uh, vehicle parts. This little factory we've got going is not going to work for long. We are technically making electronics, but it's only one <laughs> building. It's very sad! Workers and resources vibes. I think, do I own, we talked about workers and resources a little bit earlier. I don't actually own workers and resources, but I wouldn't mind trying to learn it someday. Farm. Could not store all potatoes after harvest. Oh, maybe we need to build a second food market then. Food market can store 400 potatoes. Can't squeeze anything in over there just because of how I built the buildings. We could put them side by side. Put them on the corners. But then if you put them on the corners where the, the trucks can't drive there. Alright, I'll just put them side by side then for now. But yeah, um, what are some... Um, I, I asked earlier if chat could give me some, like, idea of how workers and resources plays compared to this, but apparently only one person in chat <laughs> has played workers and resources. Uh, cause I only got one response, so. We don't know. So concrete slabs are the holdup, and we are so close to being able to make more. We should have a couple, like the trucks are busy, but we got 12 total trucks and three of them are idle, so that's good. And these two are doing their best. So what's nice about having two trucks assigned to this really distant copper mine is the excavator's grabbing the copper. We got one truck just waiting, obviously, but when this dude's ready to go, he'll take off and then the excavator can at least continue filling the second truck. Workers and resources? I know, that's twice as much gameplay as this game has, because this game has resources, but that one has workers and resources, which is kind of crazy. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Ship dock repair research unlocked. So, how do we go about actually repairing the shipyard? Ooh, a hundred construction parts. <laughs> I don't have that much. Sadly. Hi. Like, we're taking as much water over here as we can. Like, these are full. But you know what we can do? I know what we can do. We're gonna build a water pipe. All the way out of here. And it's gonna go boop, and then up. And then middle. And then, can this go over farms? 
No, it can't. Well, that is too bad. So we're gonna have to get sort of creative. Because I wonder if we build a pipe down the center of this, if the trucks will still be able to drive. I don't know. So we might have to go all the way around this way. Which seems excessive. Can it go higher than two? It can, yeah. It looks like it can cut across a little bit. Well, this seems ridiculous. Is that a problem? It's automatically shifting the support pillars. I don't know if that's a problem or not. Chat, what about trees? Can you build pipes through trees? <laughs> a question for the ages. Okay, um, so we did all this. Just so we could. Ensure. Whew. Huge, huge water pipe connection. Okay, but I mean, technically it should do what I want, which is for the rainwater to just automatically kind of dump. From here. Boom. Okay. God. Sorry about that. The game is amazing because the level of detail and the scale of things. Talking about workers and resources. It's like open TTD city builder. All buildings are ploppables and you basically manage supply chains and workers and resources. It's in the name! Hello, Ita. What's up, Jeff? Thanks for the welcome back. This looks like an old version of SimCities. Well, I'm playing a SimCity soundtrack, so that may be confusing you. That may be part of it. Right now, we are severely resource bottlenecked. However, things are starting to move in the right direction. We now have a second concrete mixer because we were short concrete slabs. We're producing 12 concrete slabs every 60 seconds. We need... Technically... 18. We need 18 concrete slabs every 60 seconds. So it's kind of still a problem. But this is as good as it gets with what we currently have. And that is also why we're going to research efficient concrete, because we'll be able to use sand to make additional concrete, because the way we have it right now is fairly bad. Irrigated farms? This could be useful! Hmm, you don't say. Crop rotation? Green manure can increase farm yield? We have plenty of food right now, so I'm not worried about farms. Groundwater pumps? 48 water every 60 second. That's interesting. A fuel station. Trucks assigned to a fuel station automatically refuel excavators and tree harvesters at their work site. So they don't have to drive back to refuel. That sounds awesome. We get... I didn't know we had a vehicle limit, but apparently it's 50. I say we go from conveyor belts to efficient concrete since that's the problem right now. This uh, transport balancing lets you set input-output priorities and ratios. All sorts of stuff. Is groundwater finite? I think it refills with the rain. I believe. But anyway, what's up, Marish? Uh, the soundtrack is Cities of Tomorrow. SimCity Cities of Tomorrow. 
Chat, what you're saying is a SimCity 2013 stream. Can you even still play SimCity 2013? Like, is it still possible? Farm could not store all potato after harvest. We have too many things queued up because we are short on construction materials. Why would you want to? Because it's kind of fun. Because it's still kind of fun. You could do multiple recipes here. So, like, some of these that aren't working around the clock, you could have them do other things, but let's be real. I don't even know what else we need. Maybe electronics? Could allow copper and rubber. Say, do both. It is kind of nice that you can do both. Like, it's, it's nice to have that as an option. But yeah, we have a lot to do. And not enough resources to do any of it, but that's okay. What's going to get fixed first? Those two trucks looking like, um... When you think you see one fly, but then it lands and another fly hops off of the first one's ass and is actually two flies the entire time. Uh, I say that because it actually happened to me the other day. It landed on my plate after I was done eating lunch. <laughs> I think it was a gnat though, it wasn't a fly. A gnat was flying around, it landed on my plate, and then a small one hopped off the first one's ass. And there were two <laughs> gnats. I know what you two were doing. You thought you were going to get some food after the fun. No, 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 no. No place to dump products. Well, there's two trucks assigned, so... I would assume one of the trucks is coming to receive. Also, I like that the road's naturally forming all the way out here. It looks really cool. You can see where we've kind of planned some roads, sort of, and they're making it happen. Oh, we also got this bad boy. This is copper storage. Currently not getting enough... Oh, we have uh, too much, actually. We have impure copper. So, that was the next phase. Uh, I think we're gonna, like, just go into planning mode. I have no idea how many spaces this was. It'd be... This... One, two, three, and I think here. We'll know if that's right in a minute. Okay, <clears throat> so this should be here. We're gonna flip this around. And if everything went according to plan, that should have four spaces on the side. Yep, okay, perfectly even. Maybe too much room, but I, I kind of like having a little too much room because it gives me some options. In this case, we, we need to make the brand new copper electrolysis to refine impure copper. So we're gonna move the copper over here, basically. Um, refining it is a slightly more difficult process. Because it also takes water. But I kind of like the idea of... Actually, how much does this take? It takes 24 impure copper every 60 seconds. And this that's that effectively takes two metal casters. That's just a random coal storage. But I do kind of like the copper purifier being right there. Road's naturally forming where the trucks drive is cool. Yeah, it's got a lot of nice features like that. Fact, I'll hope for you for Dwarf Fortress Steam coming out this year. I'm pretty, I'm pretty hopeful. I think they're a good way into being ready. There's a, just a couple more major systems to create UI for. And then I think it really depends on if they want to do the other game modes, because there's like four game modes. 
and uh, they've already got like one or two of them basically ready, but they were deciding whether they wanted to do the rest and transform those into a Steam version or do that later. So I think it depends on that. Also, what is... <sighs> Chat, we got so... We're back. We are way backed up. We cannot produce construction parts fast enough. We're going to change this over. Like so. But yeah, I think it'll come out. Adventure mode is fun. I think I hope they do adventure mode. That's my biggest draw. Chat, what are the different door fortress modes? I guess I could just look the answer to that up. But yeah, we need to prioritize here. So what I'm kind of doing is like unpausing all that so I can pause the rest of it. What are you guys dumping? Okay, am I cheating? Uh, or is this a bug? Because this truck just dumped slag, which he's not allowed to do based on the global what can be dumped. I have a hologram of a mind control tower here, which specifies only slag can be dumped here, which is overriding the global dump parameters of trash, even though it's not built yet. 2000 IQ. You don't even need to build mind control towers to dump things the way you want. You just have to build the um, hologram version of them. The plan. The ghost. Fortress mode is the only one that matters. Adventure mode, fortress mode, legend mode, story mode. How many modes are there? Fortress mode is what it's famous for. Okay, that makes sense. It's Door Fortress. Evanito, thank you for 49 months, Evanito. What's up? It says, hey, Tal, did you, save a com did you see you have a community Minecraft server now? Um, I don't have a community Minecraft server. You do. Apparently. Because I am not the community. And I have no idea what's going on in the community. Apparently. You, you do, chat. No, they just made one, but you are responsible for it. False. Very false. Um, can we pause? How do we know if this is paused or not? Oh, now it's paused. Nowhere to dump dirt? That means the dirt! Mountain is done. We have a sweet dirt hill, dude. We can actually go up to the next floor. Um, therefore, we can either expand it. Is this level one or two, chat? I think this is level two. Should we just make it even larger? Or start pumping the dirt somewhere else? Like, this seems a little far away, but it seems like the natural next location, right? It definitely looks like the next spot. Let's make a dirt volcano. But that's just a dirt volcano. Nothing's going to come out of it. It's just dirt. What if I told you all volcanoes are dirt volcanoes? Okay. <clears throat> but, yeah, it just seems like the trucks are going to have to drive incredibly far to get there. Also, we can't... 
Oh, we can. We can just edit this area. So we gotta edit the mind control towers area to encompass this that we want to be made out of dirt. So it's saying, hey, dump dirt inside the circle if there's a dump zone. And there is a dump zone. So that should help. Because now the trucks are like, oh, that's where you want me to take the dirt. Okay, no, I can do that. And then they just knew them up there and start a new dirt hill. I think another dirt hill here would be good, but we gotta clear all these trees first. There's quite a few. They're working on it. They won't grow this back. This is the sub sound premium. Concormistar, thanks for the tier two sub. Appreciate the two in one. Welcome back. And Evanito, thanks again for 49 months. Somebody send me a screenshot of the coolest thing that's currently on this supposed community server. Validate your existence and prove that you deserve to exist. Give me an italic sub or else. No. You give me a sub. How about that? Right now. Person who said that. I'm not giving you shit. Alright, we still have- do we still have like negative construction parts? We have a few. And we actually have a surplus of electronics, so storing electronics would be very handy. Why did I build these storage things so awkwardly? But we'll store bonus electronics in there if we get extra. Room for belts? I guess so. I can pair them up like two and two, but yeah, probably room for belts. I would like to build unit storage closer to where it's actually necessary because we're about to be able to do conveyor belts at last. And then we're going to do efficient concrete after that, so that's nice. But yeah, uh, it looks like we do have a second food market now. So one would think that we would have room for the potatoes after the harvest next time. We'll see. <clears throat> How do you give the people electricity and water? How do I make them happier? Check your Discord for cool Minecraft screenshots. Okay, I checked my Discord for cool Minecraft screenshots, and you know what I see? That's not Minecraft community server screenshots, chat. That's the first thing I see. Did I look in the wrong channel? What ch Is it in multi- oh, it's in the multiplayer channel. Okay, I'm just gonna pick... There's a door- apparently there's a Dwarven Hall. I got too many screenshots on my desktop. Apparently there's a Dwarf Hall. That's going in. Um, we've also got... this, which appears to be a Bavarian pretzel, 
and is making me very hungry. I don't even know how you make glass look like that. Beehive. Uh, then we've got... Oh, I'm just picking random things. There's too many, there's too many screenshots now. This bit of land. Huge glass school. With cherry blossom trees. And a stone pit. And there's more stuff. Oh, yo, it's modded. I guess it is. I don't know. Is the server laggy? I don't know. Not my problem. Not my problem. But apparently chat's playing Minecraft. Uh-oh, what'd I do? No designations to mine. Are we running out of coal? Maybe. <clears throat> Let's do mining designations. And just keep pushing it back. Small excavator has no reachable terrain. Farm could not store all potato. I, I think it can though. Oh, there's no input. I did. I have to select the input for the other food market. That's why it can't store it. Okay, that makes sense. But yes, join the Discord and you can see what shenanigans uh, our community is up to, taking matters into their own hands. I think they're in the multiplayer Discord channel. We actually have 82 building materials. All right, now we're talking. Okay, so we can unpause a good deal of this. And let this actually go, oh, it was, it had all the things, but it was still paused. Okay, that's fine. Is this like Dwarf Fortress? No, not even a little. Does this look, does this look like Dwarf Fortress? Do I need to sub to play Minecraft? No, because it's not my server. <laughs> and I have nothing to do with it. Other than I exist. Conveyor belts unlocked. This is exactly... <laughs> I got tricked by chat into talking about it, so now other people in chat are just confused. <sighs> Alright, we're, we're researching efficient concrete, but then what? Vehicle ramps would be probably useful. Research lab two, would it provides access to more advanced tech. The lab has to be provided with lab equipment on a continuous basis to work. The more labs you have, the faster you research. Okay, so we have to make lab equipment, new recipe. Uh, I say let's do ramps for vehicles in the queue, then the fuel station <laughs> sounds super useful. By that point, hopefully we're actually making a good amount of vehicle parts. And then we'll go from there. Do I need to like italics to play Minecraft? There is some crossover there. Okay. So, we have tons of food. We have still available workers. We don't have enough trucks. But let's go ahead and see where the holdups are and what we need to be working on. So we're very actually not doing great on just having iron. So I want to make some more vehicle parts. We need to we need to fix this assembly line. The, the actual core factory itself is probably the worst part. Is this thing on? We still have wastewater that we haven't... No, we just have rubber that has nowhere to go. But we have conveyor belts now! 
Yes. Yes, we do. Okay, I'm actually very excited for this. Conveyor belt time. So, I think conveyor belts and pipes should not be overlapped. Personally. Alright, so we're gonna do one stockpile here. This is gonna be a stockpile for rubber. And then we're gonna build our first ever conveyor belt. We can transport solids. Wait a second. Do we have to have special construction parts? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How do you make those? You have to have you have to have you have to have construction parts and electronics to make belts. SimCity 2013 music is awesome. It is, yeah. Dude, these are the two hardest things for us to make right now. You understand? Okay. Uh, I need that third blast furnace. Even if we have to wait for all the construction. We're gonna, we actually need 120 construction parts total to make this work. Sorry, 150. How many do we actually have? 30 and change. But yes, yeah, so this is going to be where the copper goes. I really need uh, to start making vehicle parts again. So I'm going to take whichever one of these is not making construction parts. Start making vehicle parts again. Because we are making electronics and mechanical parts. So that's actually super doable. This never got built, though. And we have... How many mechanical parts do we have? Full. 180. Okay, so this is going to make mechanical parts and electronics. We'll just do both. I don't know. This is all getting... This is getting uh, overwhelming, but in, like, a good way. It's the whole point. No designations to be mined. This is the limestone mine. Let's actually just take a look real quick at where the highest density is. It's, like, from here over. Just start digging back in there and have fun. In fact, we could, I, liked, I liked making the slope before because the slope actually worked really well. It's just kind of hard to set up. So we're going to start the slope in one. And then we're going to ramp it up. to 11? That should work. Ish. It'll work enough, I think. But yes, you have a job now. Small excavator. Go grab some more limestone. The terraforming is just so much fun. And it's fun watching it progress, even with just a single excavator. But eventually, we're going to want to have, like, three, four excavators per resource type. We just have to get the um, resource, like, supply up high enough to support that. And that's the trick. That's the gameplay. So right now, we don't have enough, um, really just our factory. So I've kind of cleared this area for a little factory. So we're going to have at least two blast furnaces dedicated to iron, and we're going to have one dedicated to copper. Mm 
But in the short term, we have... It says three idle trucks and one... I Why do we have an idle excavator? We're doing decent on copper. I mean, on uh, iron, I guess, but we're doing terrible on copper. I need to make more trucks, though. Pump it! So this is a game where you go, that's a long-term project the entire time until you die. I mean, there are ways to softlock yourself, yeah. There are ways to resource lock yourself. We almost did earlier. We almost ran out of diesel. But the factory is, um... It's getting better. It's getting better. In my opinion. Because check this out. We just got a rainwater harvester. And we connected it to a pipe. And the pipe goes all the way around our future farms. And is now storing excess water in the fluid storage. So we want to kind of either connect this or deconstruct this. I might deconstruct it for now. But I don't know how to do that. Let's... Go ahead and bop that. And then allow this. So we do get some a partial refund of resources. Because we already have a pipe connected up to this, so I'm just going to have the two rainwater harvesters there. And then free up this space for something else, maybe. It's wild how much I missed Etel content. Aw! Chat, I thought about you once or twice, too. A couple times, at most. Rarely. If ever. While I was beating Hades. During the fever, yes. It was a fever dream. I, um, I don't think I have, like, a true end of Hades, but... Ah, oh, such a good game. I actually really... It's not that I didn't like Hades, I just didn't like Hades. Back when it came out. And I realized the error of my ways. Since then. I gave it another go, and I got hooked. Efficient Concrete is a new concrete mixer recipe that lets us utilize sand and then crush slag and gravel. God, there's so much. <laughs> this is a four... Input recipe, dude. Four input recipe. Hmm, I also didn't like Hades the first time I played it. What's weird and interesting about Hades is... When you start it, you think... Like, I felt super uncomfortable in every room that I fought in. Where it just felt overwhelming. Like, there's so much purple projectiles on screen. There's so much of... Um... This one enemy, like, this... I, I felt like I was scared in every room, like I was panic dodging all the time. And then keep playing, and I, I kept playing. And I think it took me like 15 to 18 attempts to actually beat the game the first time, or like, you know, loop, basically. And once I got it like the second time, I think I think in like 25 attempts, I think I, I won twice. So it took a while for me to get to the point where I was, like, more powerful between runs and stuff to actually get there. But it still felt like I was making pretty good progression. But the thing I noticed that changed was, once I beat the game, like, twice, beat the game, in quotes, uh, I started to feel significantly more comfortable, like, in fights and in combat. Where I wasn't just panic, like, dashing in the bosses. And I actually have gotten good at the game, and like when I'm fighting each of the bosses 
there's something that feels so satisfying about knowing their rotation, knowing their moveset, and actually, like, I think Hades is easier than, um, the Colosseum fight, like, as a boss, for example. So, it, it's fun to feel comfortable in the game. Now the hard part is just turning up the heat level and stuff, which is its own kind of fun, making the game progressively harder. And I've still got a bunch of things to unlock. All the, like, five out of six of the hidden weapon aspects still to be unlocked, for example. All right, we need to make, um, it's such a good game. Like, it's actually one of my favorite games now. But yeah, I finally got to the point where I can easily... I, I have won nine or ten times in a row now. It's so like the game is in my mind is basically over. I'm just continuing to play it so I can unlock stuff. And maybe see special ending or something like that. You hit a point, you hit a threshold where you just stop losing in Hades eventually. And it's, it feels good to get to that point. Because that's when I feel like I've truly beaten the game, quote-unquote. Hello, Gamer Deathbot. The one interesting thing about Hades, compared to some other rogue lights, is I never got... I maybe got one run where I felt unbeatable, but I don't even think that. I think I've had zero runs where I felt unbeatable. Like, I actually had to try in every single run. So that's the only thing that I miss, is having those god tier, like, I don't even have to try. You still have to try, I think, every time. Okay. Do we not- I thought we had an extra excavator. I could have sworn we did? It says... No. It says we have one idle one but zero available. Confused. I do need to make another one though. I loved Hades, but I think I like Rogue Legacy 2 more. I haven't played Rogue Legacy 2. I've been wanting to. Okay, uh... Well, a couple things are happening here. We finally made a Blast Furnace. But for the Blast Furnace to work, it needs a Molten Channel to take the Molten from the Blast Furnace. Missing inputs right now. So we need to stop making Copper and start making Iron again. We'll haul those wherever they need to go. <clears throat> okay, so this takes coal and copper. So trucks are going to have to just help us out, hook us up over here. We do have copper storage, but the trucks just aren't keeping up. Like, I feel like we need a third truck <laughs> just for this one excavator. It's just so annoyingly far away. Can you check the copper line for the output material? Yeah, it needs to be um, hauled over to the copper electrolysis or to storage. But we're just waiting on construction parts right now. And slowly building. Oh, and we need uh, a smokestack. For the exhaust. Finished ramp for vehicles. So, it looks like we got three different types of ramps, small, medium, and large, so that um, when we have all these pipes and conveyor belts, trucks will be able to go over when necessary. One of the copper trucks is hauling dirt to the far ramp. Yeah, I don't know how to make them not do that because they're just gonna get dirt sometimes from this and it is what it is right now. I'd like to make another ramp over here, so they can do that, too. Mm. 
good soundtrack. The future mix. Future mix. But yeah, we got a we got a thousand and one things to do. Our job here is never done. But check this out. New rainwater harvester. Uh, feeding into our fluid storage over here for slightly easier truck access. This is probably temporary holding. We'll work on this. Like I said, everything's a work in progress. Everything is construction all the time. We can do everything better. It's never enough. I also see that we're going to start running low on coal soon. And that's probably where either a second excavator or a second truck comes in handy. Or both. Probably both. But again, we have to be able to make trucks, and we can only make trucks if we have the prerequisite parts. Um, we are producing rubber, we are producing... these are tw it's 20 vehicle parts a piece. I really need the excavator for sand, though. But I also need trucks. We'll start with the excavator, because this says we have three idle trucks at the moment. So I'm gonna assign... an extra truck to the coal, because we only have, like... 18 to 30 coal at a time, which just doesn't seem like enough. Chad, I don't need to take a BRB, but I'm addicted and I... I there's too many things to do. Oh, speaking of... We got copper electrolysis. It takes 80 kilowatts, which we are producing. And then impure copper combined with water will go here and produce finished uh, copper bars, which we currently don't have anywhere to store, sadly. One day we'll actually build these. But yeah, we have a thousand and one things to do. So I want this guy to stop making copper. And... Oh wait, that's iron. No, that is iron. Okay. Yeah, this should work. They still have impure copper in here that this needs to be hauled out. That'll get there. This thing's got a lot of jobs to do. It just needs water. Which we do have some. We're gonna need other ways to collect water soon, though. I am working on... this dump. But the dump, we need to change. And start there. Alright. And that's where a bunch of slag is going, I think. We're making like an artificial extension uh, to the island with slag. Cactus zero, zero, thanks for the 12 months, I appreciate the year of sub. Sorry I missed you a few minutes ago. And Bite Hammer, you never visit your sub baby. Well, I was, I was gone. I had sick leave for a couple weeks, Bite Hammer. But I'm back now to babysit all of you, I guess. But thank you for subbing, everybody. Very busy. How are we very busy if we have four idle trucks? Am I misreading that? Because two trucks here is only working... Eh, this is... this is working. As long as he's getting cold. Because, yeah, two trucks there is making is making the coal faster. Uh, where is the water 
supply. Because they should be taking water over to this, and they're not. It's missing an input. All right, let's make a save, and then I'm just going to take a BRB, and then we can start fixing all the many things that are wrong with this growing island. But I'm really happy with the progress we're making so far. All right, uh, is there any reason to pause? I guess I have research queued, and we're kind of waiting on things to get built. We should probably do a groundwater pump, since water is obviously an issue. Settlement water? Oh, provide fresh water to the settlement. More vehicles. Make a captain's office to make decisions and edicts. Crop rotation and make manure. The research lab to unlock new forms of research. All right, let's just queue these two up first. Uh, fucking love city builders. I want to micromanage and watch numbers go up. Soccer Steve, you're in luck because numbers go up is probably 85% of this channel. So, you're in the right place. Make yourself at home. I will make many numbers go up. And thank you for hanging out and... The truck cannot deliver waste? I disagree. Definitely can. And yet you never played Number Go Up Idle. I played an idle game. We played uh, the Orb game recently. That game was really fun. Unless you're talking about a specific one. Mount Trashmore, yes. I'm surprised the settlement doesn't need sewage extraction. <sighs> I guess that's included in waste. But yeah, I, I guess, I don't know. They, they don't yet. We are going to need some more workers soon, because we only have 13, so maybe leave new housing. It's going to take 80, oh shit, 80 construction parts is too much right now, way too much. All right, what do we need first? Too much impure copper? Where, why is water not getting here? There's got to be a reason. No truck is delivering water. Maybe its priority isn't high enough. I will change the priority to nine. He chooses death. Gamer Deathbot can wait two seconds until I figured this out. So at least it can get started while I'm gone. I think we're just so stinking busy. We need more trucks, but I also need more vehicle parts. And the vehicle parts... Chad, we just don't, we don't have enough trucks. All right, forget about... Forget about electronics here and just... Who's making vehicle parts? You are. Okay. It's making three every 60 seconds. It's not great. Have you ever played Kingdoms and Castles? I have, actually. I haven't played it in a long time, though. I think it updated a bunch since I first played it. So I might need to check it out again. Alright, is this thing on? I know they can access it. I know this is accessible. Because I can prove it. Chat, any uh, suggestions why no one is hauling water to the copper electrolysis? Does it have to be input by something other than a truck? 
because I, I even bumped the priority up over all the other things. Because they can haul water to everything else, including a concrete mixer. Currently has water. Granted, not a lot. Make sure partially loaded trucks aren't enabled in the truck menu, but you have to because sometimes the excavators will pick up one scoop of dirt and then the excavator will be stuck. Because then they'll go like one scoop dirt, one scoop back to resources. Oh, make sure they're not disabled. You said the opposite. Yeah, allow partially loaded trucks is on. I haven't turned that off. How much water are you making? I have a reservoir right here of 105. Exports are allowed. But now this is out of water. This is out of water. This is never got water. And I'm not sure why. And I know we don't have enough trucks. I'm built. I just built another one, so we got one coming out here. And I'm gonna queue up another one after that. May want to set the auto input water to be export only, so it's not getting filled for no reason. I don't think it is because the only things that produce water are already piped straight to the fluid storage. But we can do truck import off here, just to eliminate everything. That could be a possible issue. Because I can't BRB yet, because if these don't get water, we're going to be bottlenecked while I'm AFK. For some unknown reason. Because these were working fine up until just now. Uh, and this should definitely be accessible. Yeah, that's green all the way around it. Logging trucks are stopped? Yeah, that's because they don't have anywhere to put wood. That, but that doesn't matter because there's only one truck per tree harvester. So that's been that way for the entire game. Um, the people are producing a significant amount of waste now that's occupying a lot of the trucks. This is priority eight. I already bumped it up to nine. We can try bumping these up to eight, too. But yeah, they're, they're spending a lot of time grabbing waste. Trash pile's getting big. Oh, wait, he thought about it. Okay, someone finally grabbed water. Maybe they were just all queued up to do waste collection, I don't know. Now, which one are you taking it to? Hey, we did it. All right. It's working now. So, we're going to build another truck as soon as we have the materials. I know that they're extremely busy at the moment. That's why we're building more, but we have to wait until we make more vehicle parts. There's nothing else to be done. There's eight in here, and we can build another truck when we get 20. All right, well, at least these should turn back on now. I think. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, obviously, we want to make... 
Does this even work? Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> cool. Very good at this game, as you can tell. Built the damn mind control tower too close. Well, keep dumping slag, I guess. <clears throat> In the meantime, we're researching the groundwater pump. All right, chat, I need to take a BRB. I'm gonna go get a drink, go get a snack, go take the dog out, give him a snack. In the meantime, you can watch over our baby copper electrolysis, which has a place to dump the finished copper product. It should be producing 19.5 copper per minute and consuming 24. Wow, yeah, consuming 24. We do need to build this other metal caster then. Chat, there's always something else to do. All right, but you guys take care of this. I'll build a fuel station when I get back. Where's the most interesting section? I don't know, there's a lot of good trucks moving around here doing stuff. So you guys keep an eye on this for me, okay? I'll be back in just a few minutes. Thanks for hanging out with me this afternoon. Almost evening here. And I'll catch you. I'll catch you in like seven or so minutes. Beer beat.
what's up? Are we dead? Nowhere to dump a rock. What you mean? Too much gravel. This soundtrack's almost over. Thanks for waiting. I have returned. Uh, we can do something with gravel. We can turn it into concrete slabs. But alas... We also need sand. Hmm. Uh, how are we going to import sand over here? Okay, we got a we got a bunch of things that need to be done. We got groundwater pump incoming. We just figured out how to make uh, the fuel station, which allows trucks to go refuel excavators and tree harvesters so they don't have to drive themselves. Now, what do we need to do? Step one. <clears throat> Check how much water you got. Zero. Cool. <sighs> hmm. Well, what if we simply moved this guy back? And you dump slag. Let me deconstruct you. I'm just going to quick remove it, and then quick deliver this. Spending unity in order to facilitate a faster construction deconstruction effort. It's nice when you have emergency situations, so you don't have to wait on trucks. It's just like a fast build button, which is very convenient. As you might imagine, the downside of this is, even if that's deconstructed, I still... Don't think I have room for this. Chat, that doesn't look right. <laughs> no, that's definitely not right. All right, forget about this for now. Focus on dumping there so we can build the other rainwater harvester. All right, anyway, <clears throat> so that's number one. We'll, fi we'll fix water, water's an issue. Number two is we need an excavator to start excavating sand. And we're gonna need a, a truck towards that end. And then we're gonna set up like a mining area here. Four said sand. This should be the guy, so we're gonna say, hey, prioritize sand if you can. And then we're gonna have the sand, I suppose, hauled over to the concrete mixers, but I would like somewhere, uh, some way to deliver it more efficiently without just having to use the truck. Because we already are providing, like, in theory, this should have water. We're going to say keep full with 36 water. So that it always has enough to run these recipes. 
Okay, then we need sand, which we can import, and then crushed slag or gravel, which just comes right from this crusher. It's not that far. However, if we wanted everything to be automated, we could simply create a conveyor belt. Or I could just move this guy. Let me grab storage. So, unit storage. Wait, no, loose storage for sand. And the inputs are there. So let's do the math real quick. Let's do some math. Chat, you guys like math, right? You guys like counting, yes? I love counting. So what's interesting about these concrete mixers is with the advanced concrete slab recipes, you produce twice as much every 60 seconds. So instead of six, we make 12. However, another benefit, aside from the fact that the, the downside is it requires sand, which we didn't previously make, and now we have to bring it in. But the upside is it requires half as much cement. So two rotary kilns with the old recipe can only produce enough cement for two concrete mixtures, but with the advanced recipes, they can produce enough for four. And this is Deus Ex, which is not really where I envisioned the soundtrack going after SimCity. So we can actually have twice as many concrete mixers. Since this thing's not full anyways, I'm just gonna get my money back. On this. That way we can just add additional concrete mixers here. But, oh, but the water is a small issue, I guess. Or is it? It's not that big of an issue. Just, just unity this. I don't care about the trucks. It was my understanding that there would be no math after high school. Yeah, that doesn't really add up. You're right. believe. Wah. You know? You ever thought about, you ever thought about wah? Wah. Chat, something actually doesn't add up here. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, okay. The cement will go up the middle. The sand will go on the side. How do we get the crushed slag and or gravel in here? Is there enough space for all these conveyors? I don't think so. Unless we go underground. How do you go underground? Do you have to dig? Do I have to dig? Just yeet it over. <sighs> that may unironically be the only way. Um, we're just gonna, we might just have to bring in by truck one of the resources and not have it fully automated. Possibly. But the bare minimum, I can just push this guy back. All right, this is gonna be water storage, of which one should probably suffice. Uh, and the water is gonna have...
pipe. That goes up. To there. And back down. How can I connect that to both? You can connect this to both, right? With a splitter, yes? Did I do something wrong? Alright, this is supposed to hold water. We want it to hold at least 36 water for now. What is this soundtrack? Uh, apparently Assassin's Creed Liberation. <laughs> Let's go back to Sim City, shall we? So why can't I create a connection here? It seems like it'll work as long as I just build one pipe past it, which is odd. And then, can I just not... Okay, yep, actually I can. So that was totally fine, it just wasn't working for some reason. <coughs> so they're gonna bring water here, the water's automatically gonna get pumped into these two concrete mixers. And then if we wanted to get fancy... If we wanted to get very fancy... Could do the same thing over here. Please stop. There we go. All right. Uh, so water is being distributed to all four of the concrete mixers as long as they're putting water in here, which they're not yet, but that's okay. <coughs> So the rest of these, we just want only the special sand-based recipes. So we're going to need uh, some sand in here, too. So let's get another storage. We can get a loose storage. Now, I don't know how we're going to get a separate third line for gravel. But this is definitely going to be sand. Okay. And then they just need either the gravel or the crushed slag, which is being made over here. And there's enough to go around, they just need trucks to go ahead and port all this in. We can't do conveyors yet. No conveyors yet. We need, like, construct separate construction materials that we're not making at the moment. Also, do we have anywhere to store concrete slabs? Negative. But we will. Does that block the water input? <sighs> yeah, but I don't have anything piped over here yet. It's all trucks. I don't know if I'm gonna pipe anything. I guess I could. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess I could. Pain in the ass. My liege, a new sub for your collection. Good while you still can. You know what, guys? Being a sub's not so bad. Get that guy! Do not get that guy. 
So when you quick deconstruct, where does the construction parts go, Chad? Do you actually lose them? What happens when you quick remove them? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Okay, try this again. Can you tell what map and difficulty is this? This is Golden Peak on the middle difficulty. Who gifted subs and who else subbed? Other people subbed. First of all, Soccer Steve um, is here with a fresh prime sub. Wowie. 30 days courtesy of Bezos. Enjoy. Cork Marquise is secret AFK sub. That's fair. I didn't see, hear, or know about it. So you're absolutely right. Welcome back, Cork Marquis. Brule Lord also shared in 29 months. Hi, Brule Lord. Also, welcome Ray. Who shall walk the plank this time? <sighs> Don't think of it as a plank. Think of it more like a, a diving board. We're just ahead of our time. Going for just a little swim. Okay. So, the good news is... Really just... Water is the only shortage. We're gonna set that to priority 8. And also tell truck export to be off. Fluid storage... That Once it's in there, it stays in there. Whereas we do allow trucks to export from here, but we simply don't have enough liquid. That is problematic. And I need to just move this back by one, but I can't. Uh, oh, we don't have any research selected because we just finished the groundwater pump. Perfect timing, because I need that so bad. We have 69 months worth of food. Could do settlement water and get a water facility to get more unity. Or we could get the captain's office. So many things. What are retaining walls? Prevent terrain from collapsing. Walls can be placed below the surface to prevent terrain collapse during mining or above terrain to add dumping operations. Walls will collapse if they hold more than five units of height. Walls can collapse. Fantastic. I don't know what first priority is here. What is a burner? Accepts waste. Oh! Pretend recycling. I see. Set input output priorities for pipes, molten. That's going to be useful. Smart conveyors. Sort products. Ooh, sorting. God, there's so many good stuff. So much good stuff. Housing, two. 130 people, more comfort. Okay, I say... Let's focus on the water-related things. Let's get settlement water to improve the happiness of our people. Irrigated farms, and then research too. So how does a groundwater pump even work? Let's find out. Pumps water from ground deposits replenished during rain has to be built on top of the groundwater deposit. Which is, of course, everywhere. Right here. Okay, just all over the place. So it doesn't matter where we build this as long as it's inside the blue circle. So I was going to use this space up here for the groundwater pumps. How much does it pump? 48 every 60 seconds. That's a good amount. 
and we'll give this one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll probably put another one pretty close to it. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, this takes construction parts too. Sh shit. <laughs> we don't make those. Uh, how do we make those? We need electronics and construction parts. We finally have a surplus of construction parts. Do we have a surplus of electronics yet? Probably not, no. I'm just gonna quick deliver the resources to this. Hey Tal, hey Chad, just got back from driving alone for the first time. As in, like, no one else in the car with you? But if you have the stream open, then chat's in the car with you. Two Nut Pickup, thanks for 39 months of sub. Also, probably don't watch the stream and drive. Uh, thanks, Two Nut, for the sub and the five gift subs. It's very kind of you. Thanks for supporting the stream. Enjoy your subs. Jeff with five Fs. Shubzi, Crimson Fatalis, Marduk, and... Mivish. Have fun. Thanks for hanging out so you can get those subs. And Luum the Elf, thanks for the nine-month League of Legends sub. And welcome back, Duckberry. Hey, Duckberry. Can we stop at McDonald's? I would like that, yeah. All right, we have somewhere to put electronics. Great. So we actually do have some electronics. Now, <sighs> this is kind of going to suck. It's okay if cars can't drive here soon, because they can go around. Or we can build ramps. How big How big are the ramps? Oh boy, these are wide, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Eight across? Well. This is going to be difficult. I think I should pause just so I can figure out what to do. Tree Harvester has no trees. Alright, I can fix that. Let's just go ahead and get rid of all these up here. More space for factories. All right, this is about to become an actual mess. We also are out of iron. I mean, we have 332 plates, so it's not like a massive deal, but we certainly could prov provide more. We do have 42 uh, vehicle parts, and it says we're stable. We have 14 pickups now. <sighs> Let's go ahead and make another pickup, and another excavator, and then another pickup. It's gonna take a lot of parts. It's time to finally, like, organize this shit. Because this is just a group of nonsense. Part of- I need to deconstruct it all. I think. I wonder if you can just trade for construction parts, too. Maybe we just wait. <laughs> I'm going to wait on organizing this and just put it off a little longer. Electronics plus construction parts. Good luck. I'm going to quick deliver these materials, too, because I don't have time. And we got so much... We got 42 unity. May as well use it. All right. <clears throat> no, no workers. Light the beacons! We need more refugees! We can also trade with a nearby village and adopt some pops for 2.5 unity. So we're just gonna adopt 10 pops. But now we only have room for like 10 more, so I think it's time to unpause construction of this housing unit. But that's gonna take a whopping 80 construction parts, which as you can imagine, we don't have. We do have one. 
two two dedicated construction part assemblies, but that's just not good enough, is it? We do finally have enough concrete. Oh my god. Who would have thought? All it took was four concrete mixers, which, by the way, aren't running. Yeah, we got some bottlenecks. We got some resource bottlenecks. We need to start making conveyor belts, but we can't start making conveyor belts until we consistently make um, these guys. Construction parts, too. And we're only making three per minute right now. Not fantastic. And we need 40 for a groundwater pump. So do the math. Do you guys have 13 to 14 minutes? I don't. So I'm just going to make another one of these. We don't have enough construction parts. Cool. Okay. Um... How many electronics do we have? Only 22. <sighs> Chat, how do you make everything that you need? Hmm? How? <laughs> it's, it's too much. It's too much stuff. We are 100% bottlenecked. I wonder if we could trade. Okay, let's actually just... Maybe I should turn off the beacon for it. Well... no, nah, we still need the people. None of this helps me. The factory must grow. I know. Lumber's not hard to produce. Iron's not hard to produce. Concrete slabs are a little easier to produce now. None of them are working, though. <laughs> there's too many... There's too many resources to haul. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this is, this is so awkward. Well, chat, while we wait, we can go two times speed. And I can uh, see what's going- uh-oh. Sixteen refugees have just arrived. You are overcrowded and you don't have enough housing for everyone, but they brought with them some um, donations, charitable donations. At least we're not on a death spiral. Are we, though? How many people are homeless right now? One. <laughs> One homeless. That's pretty good. <sighs> Hello, 321 Rally Stamp. All right. They have a home now. They have a home. We should also have enough food. We will probably need another farm soonish. One's too many. One guy. Couldn't squeeze in and just sleep on somebody's couch for a few days? Apparently not. Okay. Uh, now construction materials should be going into this assembly. And then we can make more construction part two. Hello, Deutschkatz. Thanks for the tier one sub. Appreciate the five dollar sub. Welcome back. Duckberry with the Ital A as well. Oh, here we go. Uh, I can't wait to delete all of these and figure out how to actually play this properly. So it says the trucks are stable. We got 15 total pickups. Uh, we have started harvesting the sand. 
basically the whole game opens up once we get a consistent supply of construction parts too. Because what that does is let us build conveyor belts. Once we get conveyor belts, we don't wait on trucks nearly as much. That's currently the biggest hiccup right now, is just waiting on trucks to take everything everywhere. All at once, even. You know? But they can't. It's not possible. So we're gonna help them out. They finally released construction too. They did, yeah. Is this like Factorio? It has some similarities, but I think functionally it plays very different. But if you like Factorio and the logistics management, you'll probably enjoy the logistics here. Because there is a lot to logistic over time. I, you are here. Now that is a tech tree. It is indeed. All right, we got two assemblies making construction parts. The, the trucks are what make this very different from Factoria where there's automated AI. Think um, satisfactory trucks that you don't have to program routes for. And my little ants and my ant farm just kind of go around and get everything, keep everything flowing. And uh, we're actually good, doing a pretty good job depos depositing water here. Not a lot, mind you, but it's there. More new refugees, because we have to feed them. That's the downside. We gotta, gotta keep producing more food, and I gotta keep an eye on my food supply, because it takes time uh, to increase it. I've only got two farms, so we we'll probably need a third one. But we have 61 months of food, so we must have just had a huge potato harvest. The rain catchers are doing their work. We need more. Have we built this out sufficiently yet? No. One day we will. Settlement water. So we can actually, if we made enough water, um, we can actually provide water to the people to reduce their health risks and increase the amount of unity they give us. Now we're doing irrigated farms. But at the moment, we're just waiting on the groundwater pump. That's going to give us a pretty good supply of water, I hope. Satisfactory trucks that don't fall through the ground if you stop looking at them for a minute. <laughs> Most of the time, they're okay. I think. Most of the time. Okay. Okay. So we're going to have Let's do a little planning. These are going to be off center. Uh, it's probably okay. Okay, so in planning mode, let's say we have four groundwater pumps. That may be too many. I don't know how many is too many, because I don't know how big the groundwater table is. But I want to go up to level two. And that way trucks can go under. The excavators will not be able to go under. But that sounds like a them problem. And I can see where the road here goes. So what I'm going to do is try and keep enough space behind um, the ore so that we can get some conveyor belts here. I don't want to take up their space, but I do want to send this all the way down here. Oh, if we just go over simply one more, we can actually just line it up perfectly. But that's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect.
looks good too. All right, and that is gonna go groundwater directly into fluid storage because we need uh, approximately right now 6, 12, 18, 24 water per minute to keep all the concrete mixtures online. And this pump should produce twice that. So we can send this water elsewhere if we need to as well. Like we could split it off and go to copper electrolysis, however you pronounce that. Go to height two. There we go. Okay, um, so that'll split off so it'll be 30. We're producing 48 a minute, so we'll have 18 left. We're probably going to send some to the actual settlement. There's the water facility. Takes 40 tier 2 construction. Fresh water to the attached settlement and returns wastewater that you have to dispose of. Oh boy. Providing fresh water to a settlement generates extra unity and reduces health risks. So now we're going to have wastewater. Well, not now, but soon. Soon. So we're going to split. Um, actually, we can just do this. Cannot join to a ramp, but it's not really a ramp, is it? Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, let's just have this go lined up here. Incompatible port at start. You shut your mouth. Because you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you actually can't do this. Well, this is awkward. It'll still work. Yeah, it'll s it's a little strange, but <laughs> it's endearing or something. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Well, you're on Twitch.tv. This is a live stream. And what that means is that you have to listen to me talk for as long as you are here. And worse, you can't fast forward. You can only turn off the stream if you're not having fun. But you, you can't make me, like, play faster or do what you want me to do or any of that that you would normally want. Chad, how the heck is this an incompatible port at start? I can skip time by taking a nap. As long as you don't close the stream. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, the water's flowing this way. I see the arrow. There we go. All right, perfect. Oh, there it is. All right, groundwater pump exists. Now it is time to unpause. All this. And we are going to have ourselves a lovely permanent supply of water. You need a splitter there. No, I don't. It automatically makes splitters. We don't actually have to build splitters because this isn't Factorio. But we can build logistical splitters, but we just don't need to yet.
But yeah, basically did the same thing and just redo it. So I can hear this bad boy moving. And here come all the trucks. Uh, taking extra construction materials and building pipes. So you can see we're at 10 water, 9 water, 8 water. Okay. And then we got too much. Because the pipes need somewhere for the water to go. So it'll kind of go to the end of the pipe and then it'll stop until we get more pipes. But anyway, this is uh, not workers and resources. <laughs> captain of industry. And a captain of industry. You conquer an island. Tap off all of its natural resources. And tame it for mankind. Gathering iron, copper, coal, groundwater, sand, gravel, crushed rock, and more. We've owed so much to do. Big pipe. Okay, so we're still short some construction resources, but we now have a, a pretty good supply of 40 tier twos. Excellent. Which means we can build conveyors. All right, so here's the plan at last. This is gonna hold sand in theory. didn't <laughs> this is really not future proof um but it's gonna cut down on the truck work the trucks will still have to deliver either gravel or crushed slag but everything else will be automated maybe <laughs> use some more space here. That's for sure. Yeah, we def we definitely could have used some more space. Ooh, that's I wanted to see that. Okay. So limestone on the side, coal in the middle. Perfect. Look, chat, our first ever conveyor belt. Whoa, it has begun. At last. So, the cement is coming out of here, and it's being fed, belt fed, into all four of the mixers. What we don't have is an equal distribution of sand as of yet. That is harder. Uh, I really tried, I compressed this area too much, too much. Okay, so what we gotta do is... Hmm. Chat. It's tough. This is... You want some spaghetti? Because I've got your spaghetti right here, sir. Okay? I have this spaghetti right here. Oh, so much of it. Just 
quick remove that, please? I have no time. Okay, so we're gonna go up. Turn off. I really would like to zoom in even more. Okay, we gotta go one further back. Okay. So, conveyor. Start here. Go up. Why? Why does it take so far to go up one height? That doesn't seem right. Dear God, what is going on? Alright, this is a, this is a small problem. Go back again. Try one more time. Transport selected to position was not found. Chat, too many refugees. Let's, okay, you actually can't do this unless it goes out to there. Well, we're going back even further. One more try, please. So we need to go up to level one. Then here. We're gonna pause real quick just so I can make sure this is as correct as it can possibly get. Can I, oh. Oh boy. Oh no. Everything is a mess! <laughs> this is not good. I just need more space in between these buildings, dude. That's all I need. I normally provide so much space, but this time... These are so obnoxious to deconstruct, too. We have a full thing of concrete slabs. Alright, this is fine. Just deconstruct all these. Need more room. Probably two more spaces would do the trick. All right, we need to stop the pop from growing. No more beacons. We got 82 workers and 50 months of food. I'm not sure, we need another farm. So let's... Small excavator cannot reach destination times three? Oh, yeah. How did you mine all this already? Wait. Are you stuck? Did you stuck yourself? You dumb bastard. Oh, you're trapped. No, you should be able to get there. Why can't you get there? They cannot drive under conveyor belts or pipes. I'm aware, but this guy should be able to drive this way. Like, this is... You could go around this.
I can, I mean, I'm looking at the nav overlay. Oh, he can't go around holograms. <laughs> it's pretend, it's not real. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're gonna need to create a ramp. Somewhere. This game looks like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun, Kiss Venus. It's just a logistical nightmare. I also haven't played Mindustry. 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 Turn the music up a little. There we go. All right, yeah, we need a ramp. Uh, but where? I'm gonna say... The problem with a ramp is you need a flat section of pipe. Or do, do, yeah, it's, does that actually go, how tall is this? Okay, how about this? This will help, at least. Especially since this hasn't been built yet, it'll be a lot easier. So we're gonna go down to level one. Yeah, we're at height zero now. Okay, height zero is good. And we can go and allow that to be built, because now we can make... I think a small ramp should be sufficient here. You could even have two ramps if we wanted, but that seems excessive. Alright, this takes uh, building materials, construction materials, and slabs. Well, I guess it makes more sense for them to go this way to that way. They're kind of already traveling in that direction. All right, <clears throat> that's one thing that's gonna help. And I'm just gonna pay Unity to quick deliver this because our guys can't get where they need to go. So if the ramp helps them do that, then more power to them. There we go. All right, meanwhile, water has flown in here and we got some work to do. We gotta rebuild. Uh, what are we rebuilding? Concrete mixers, four of them. So they were like here. Too close. So we probably want... One, two, three, four. That's five spaces. Five spaces is probably sufficient for this. But we're gonna go ahead and queue it all up just to make sure. So this is where we make concrete slabs. So choose the correct recipes. All right, now, pipes for water. Gotta do this kind of weird build order. And then go back and delete the extra piece. Fix those. Okay. <clears throat> so, flat conveyors. Currently using flat conveyors for the... Concrete. Or, yeah. 
Because it's taking just cement and turning it into concrete. So the cement. Those should connect up nicely. Uh, I can also move this water pipe. Because I think it's just in the way. All right, we'll get that ball rolling. Cement plus question mark equals concrete. It's actually cement plus sand plus either gravel or slag crushed plus water. <laughs> There's a lot of work to be done. Much to do. Not enough maintenance! Do we not have a mechan- where are my mechanical parts? Oh, we used to have a full stockpile of them. We have too many vehicle parts now, which is weird. Alright, let's start making mechanical parts again here. Because we got plenty of iron. Small excavator has no reachable terrain. Okay, you just need more mining designation. That's good. That's a good problem to have. Get all that copper. Is everything falling apart? No, we're good. We're good. Mechanical parts... We just kind of put on pause for a little while, but now we can do them again. We have 24 out of 50 vehicles. Uh, the trucks are very busy, so I'd like another truck. Maybe even two, but at least one. I think they just have a ton of stuff queued up right now. They're also almost out of trees down here. I'll grab those. Okay, these are waiting on 40 construction parts a piece. I don't know where the construction... Wait a second. Did we use the construction parts all in on housing? I think we did. <laughs> so now we only have like 22. If you're curious, my industry is a factory game, but it's also a tower defense game. I, I, I do enjoy the combat of games like that in Factorio. Sometimes I just like making a super factory that doesn't softlock itself. Hello, Machine Vision. Thanks for pumping it in chat for 19th month. Hope you're doing well. Minato says, let Italics know you've been sub for 48 months and show my 31 month streak in the chat message. Consider it done. Kodiak Panda says, yo, yo, what up? We can make irrigated farms now. <clears throat> and then from here, ooh, super pipes with a large smokestack. Pipes with more throughput. That is actually useful. Maintenance Depot 2 needs a research, better research lab, which we're currently researching how to research better. Classic. Um... Crop rotation's probably good. And housing too's probably good. We'll add crop rotation to the queue because they're kind of falling behind. Alright, how's this faring? It's getting there, slowly. We're just missing a ton of construction parts. Building them as fast as we can. We're building construction parts too as fast as we can too. Okay, speaking of. Hmm. Oh god. Wait a second, chat. 
I know what we need. We need a conveyor belt that goes... Okay. Oh, God. Yeah, I know what we need. We're gonna have to make a loose storage over here so that they can just put the copper in the storage and then have a conveyor belt that simply crosses the entire map. Right? Like, that makes sense, right? Okay, so trucks are back to stable. Uh, we have an extra excavator. If there's a resource that we're very short on... In this case, it's probably iron. Aatrox, that's nice. We still have 283 iron plates, though. And we're back to stable on coal. But yeah, let's go ahead and get an extra truck and an extra excavator on iron. Machine is broken as it lacks maintenance. First of all, shut up. Second of all, where's my damn maintenance? <laughs> No more vehicle parts. Only mechanical parts. You stop making construction parts. Stop making mechanical parts. Start making mechanical parts, too. We'll hit equal... Uh-oh. Did we just soft lock? Three vehicles are broken as they lack maintenance. We need to change this to, like, priority one. I'll, I'll take it priority five. Feed this. <sighs> Chat, we might be collapsing here soon if we don't do anything about it. We've got mechanical parts. They just need to be transported over here. It's got plenty of electronics. There's six mechanical parts in storage, which isn't good enough. This is going so well. It's going so well. We got our third farm. How's this looking? Still not ready. Dumping slack over here every so often. All right, we saved. <laughs> no more broken shit. Uh, you have to create maintenance using electronics and mechanical parts in order to keep the machines and uh, the vehicles up operational. Also, look at these guys. They're using our bridge. How does the boosting with Unity feel? I mean, it basically just look at it like you rally the people around a particular industry and tell them to uh, be gamers. So I think it's fine. I think a vehicle ramp here makes a lot of sense too. Because eventually this might be blocked off by pipes or conveyors or something. You can actually feed this with conveyors as well, if you could just put, like, that's a good idea. I need to do, a, it, like, a whole factory design. This is not gonna cut it for much longer. This is just carrying us. Barely over the threshold. Look how fast, in parentheses, the number drains all the maintenance that we're producing. No power?! 
The diesel generators broke down. <laughs> Emergency quick repair that costs unity. Yeah, we need to keep the electricity online. <laughs> the ramps look good. I think my favorite thing about this game is the vehicles running around. It's been handling everything with a pretty solid amount of finesse, in my opinion. It's been going pretty smooth. Keeping the balance of continuing to make pickup trucks and excavators and having to make sure that they're fueled and now maintenanced. Like, now we're on a steady... Like, you see everything breaking down now, but the maintenance is... is churning. So as long as it's churning, things will catch up, even though we have five broken down <laughs> vehicles all at the same time. It's gonna be fine! Okay, they're getting fixed, I think. Maybe we should... Let's just give this a nice unity boost. Okay, 0.25 per month. Powering through. I think that doubled production. Fast. Gotta cut these numbers down. But this is a good use of unity, yeah. Okay, we're down to four. One machine, two, oop, down to two? Down to one? The parentheses number is still going to zero. All right, but we're keeping, we're keeping things operational. Oh my God, they're still breaking down. We'll catch up sooner or later. Might just leave the boost going for a few minutes. We're about to be running out of mechanical parts. They're still hauling stuff over here. Oh my god. This all happened so fast. Because they got, look, at, look at how much maintenance they have. They have 6% breakdown chances. 8% breakdown chances. We've been letting this get way too low. I'm humming and hauling about getting this. You humming and hauling? Pong clicks? It's really fun. It's, it's a pretty difficult game. But that's the allure. The challenge. We also need too much electricity. So, oh, this because this broke down. That makes more sense. Alright, power's back. Hopefully we have a surplus of maintenance soon. I might go ahead and take the boost off after this. Because it seems like at least everything is working the way it's intended. Let's go back to normal. But yeah, it's, it's been really fun so far. I still feel like I'm a little baby uh, getting used to all the game mechanics. My growing factory is becoming something worth celebrating and being proud of. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct the old coal maker. We've got a teeny amount of construction materials. They're all getting used elsewhere. We don't, probably don't need to make this many mechanical parts anymore. But I also don't remember what we were making previously. <laughs> I think we're making vehicle parts here. Okay, this is where it's getting a little confusing. Wait, keep construction, no mechanic. God, I need to organize this. Bad. Because I feel like I turned something else off. We turned off construction parts too. So we'll allow both of them. Anyways. Chat, does anybody even have this game that has gotten anywhere close to the end of the research line? It's quite an endeavor. We're still, like, plodding along here. I 
Show me more of that beautiful deck tree. Nopers. I got a bit past T3 construction before I got sloppy and lost it. Yeah, I imagine that you keep kind of kicking the can down the road as far as like, oh, I feel like I could do this way better. It's time to start over. <laughs> now that I know. Literally everyone I've seen stream this game hasn't made it much past this point. Past the point that I'm at right now? Currently at ship dock repair? I need to do that too. Is the game in a playable state? Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do. And apparently they're gonna go beyond the rocket ship. But it takes a while to get used to some of the more advanced mechanics. Like the digging and the mine control towers and keeping the electricity balanced. No place to dump? What do you got? Rock? Okay, well, how about this? Because the problem is, I don't know how much is a lot or a little of any given thing. Let's let's go ahead and copy this and paste it. Like, I don't know how much space I really need to leave for this, is what I'm saying. Okay, we did need to finish this. I think I want to make two of these. Alright, that actually looks better. I like that better. Okay, these are going to be two crushers. I do like this little setup. It just needs a little refining. Um, We want to make... Let's crush slag, crush rock. Why don't we just make um, crushed slag in one and crushed rock in the other? That'd actually help. Okay, I'm thinking. Every time I restart, I get a bit further each time. That's how it goes, usually. You just have to figure things out by trial and error, which is why this is... Um, taking me a little getting used to as well. But we're so much further along than we were the, the <clears throat> first attempt, even. Okay, um, so... Hmm. Trying to figure out if there, there's probably a better way to do this. I think leaving one space would be good. Conveyor belts are taking me a little time. Okay, so that's considered a ramp. Better idea. Let's go towards the middle. So that we autom we don't have to actually manually build splitters. The game does that for us. All right, how am I going to get those? Oh, the water should be fine. Hold on, chat. What? <laughs> okay, this can't be that hard. There we go. All right, so this is feeding sand, raw sand with the ultimate goal of creating... Oh 
Hold on, let's do this too. The ultimate goal of creating the concrete slabs. It's one of four components that we need. Okay, we're gonna quick remove this. It's the wrong type of conveyor. You're right. It's got to be a U-shape for uh, loose products. Sand is a loose product. You are correct. But the idea is the same. Which is... Go up... To level, we're gonna go up to level one. All right, now we're in business, chat. Now we're in business. Wait, why don't you just do this? That way it's the same on both sides. Alright, this is almost done. <laughs> almost done! Maybe. Possibly. Maybe not. There, actually done. Okay, so it automatically will split. Maybe not evenly. It, it will split evenly, but rather... Actually, no, it won't. It'll feed 50-50 each way until we do any logistics splitters. But yeah, the sand will still get there. We just need enough sand um, <clears throat> that it fills all these up properly. Okay, so then liquid. I don't want to unpause yet because I can't focus. All right, so let's get liquid from here. And the liquid's gonna have to go up two. And then connect down like this. So the liquid's gonna ride on top of this, almost. Which is probably not better. But it will work. Okay, I don't like liquid pumps over conveyors, but that's just the way it is. Okay, then we're gonna need a con- oh shit. Yeah, we are gonna need a conveyor. <sighs> this is so messy. We started the jank. We have started the jank. How am I gonna get these materials over? Or are we just gonna say, screw it, just use trucks? We could at least put, like, rock and slag back here. Okay, we're gonna put rock and slag back here. Not rock and stone, chat. Rock and slag. It's different. Okay, one of these is gonna hold slag, and one of them is gonna hold rock. <clears throat> Alright, then we need... The crushers. Is there even... Why is the input so tall? Okay, uh... I don't even think we have enough space. The input seems incredibly tall. But 
Like, so tall that... I might need to push these back. Which is obnoxious. But I will do what must be done. Okay, try this again. One for slag. One for rock. Then, crushers. They're also off-center, which is not helping anybody. Nobody likes that. If we queue this up here, can a conveyor reach this? If it goes all janky and such, then yes. Yes, it can. All right, what if we just did... Oh my. That doesn't work, does it? Is that not connected? Oh. <laughs> also, I need to use the other conveyor anyways. I know, but this is... Chat, please type faster. I would like the dumb things I type to disappear. Chat, type as fast as you can right now. Wrong conveyors for the rotaries as well. Yeah, I know. Everything's messed up. Good job, everybody. You're doing great. This is why we keep the game paused. Because this is all messed up. Let's try spitting them out from the side, then. We did it, chat. Did you? I actually can't wait till this is done. Because... I believe. I believe. This is the sub sound. Okay, Premium. I... Actually, um, worth noting. About this game is that once you, let's say, you might be thinking, how far does this scale? Like, what if I need even more concrete mixers in the future? What if I realize I didn't build enough? It's not future-proofed. Well, fun fact, there is a copy tool. So if you're like, I really, really liked this setup, and it's perfectly even the way that I want, you can um, use a copy tool, select all buildings, and then paste that factory setup somewhere else. So we're not wasting time. We're actually spending our time very wisely because if we make uh, a cool factory design, we can simply plant it elsewhere once we have enough resources to build, right? Very, very useful. Okay, now this is gonna be dumb. Time, anyone but time it out for 10 minutes? Mazello. Why? Sounds like copium. Copy jank designs. It's not jank, okay? It's beautiful. There is nothing jank about this. Got that? Totally, totally not jank. Oh dear god. It's so janky. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what was the big plan here again?
hold on. I gotta just delete the pipe. It's all the pipes problems. Okay, two things. Number one, I don't need them to build all this yet. Uh, the trucks just swarmed this. So this is gonna spit out slag and gravel, which are for U-shaped connectors. Okay. Now, I still don't think this is gonna work. Because I don't know how to split the materials. I might have to send this all the way around the other side. This one might just go here. Can you stop trying to connect? This takes so much concentration. All right, now we got it. No, I just want it to float. I want it to float over the top. That's all I want. Kind of like what you were just doing a second ago, actually. Let's just queue that one up first. Sure. You know what? Yes. Don't talk to me about jank chat, okay? I don't want to... <laughs> I don't... Oh my god. Why did that do that? How do I simply... What is... What is this doing? It's trying to connect. I don't want it to connect. I just want it to float very simply. What if we just... All right, that's fine. Just, sure, lock that in. How the hell does that work? This is a roller coaster tycoon levels. Okay, sure. Yep, that works. <sighs> I should have got even more space. I already rebuilt this once. Okay, but now the real fun part. See, I want two of them to feed off of slag, and I want two of them to feed off of... gravel. So this is gonna go real well. Um, so yeah, this is gonna float. Oh, it can go, wait a second, it can just go over the building. Okay, that's actually kind of neat. But I was gonna just go to height level, whatever the hell this is. This guy, how do you make it, like, not snap? Like this? Did I do it? Oh, it's just hit R. <laughs> There's gotta be a nicer way to do this. Okay, height level three.
How do you make this look aesthetically pleasing? That's what I'm currently trying to do. Not this weird funky elbow joints. That, there we go, hang on. No. No. Chat. This is this is a learning process. Remember when we like played Satisfactory the first time and we were trying to learn how to use all the different weird controls in the game? And then once we mastered how to um see what the hell is this doing can it not just stack one on top of the other like is that such a big ask there's got to be an easier way to stack them but it says no what do we start this at height two And then go to height three. What music is this? I can't do it. <sighs> Maybe build the tube from the other side and then connect. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't think it likes it going this way because of the incompatible port. Well, it should be fine. But yeah, I think it's actually just locked. And there's probably no way. There should be a way, though. Let's just do height 2 here. Because I'm trying to just copy the other side. Invalid connection. See, because now it's not connected there. I don't know. I give up. <sighs> I mean, I can't give up. I have to finish the connection. But... The the, own, the the best way for me to do it at this point is to go all the way around the other side. Or just do this. This is going to be the most egregious level of spaghetti. the world has ever seen. But you gotta do what you gotta do, chat. Okay, now that is outrageous, actually. Is that, <laughs> is that really the best? Did the game freeze? No. Are we good? Fun with noodles. I'm doing my best. I think we just have to take this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care anymore. Just do it, okay? Just do it. I release you. From the infinite spaghetti paws. Note to self, leave even more space next time. Like at least seven blocks. Maybe nine. Now for the water. Oh no. no wait, but the... What do you mean now? What do you mean now for the water?
I mean, it can get it can get there. It's not ideal, but it can. How the heck? <laughs> Chat, is this... Have we reached the spaghetti overload? <laughs> Is there not a way I can do that better? Wait, it's not even connected. Not even connected. <sighs> There's no such thing as too much spaghetti. Hmm. I've heard that lie before. Could go around the other side. But that doesn't feel good. There's actually no way to connect this, I think. As far as I can tell. I mean, there should be. How is this going above the plant until it hits this spot and then it changes into a U shape? That's what I'm most perplexed by. Like everything's apparently fine once you get to here. It just takes the most zigzaggy possible path. What a pain in the ass. This is a pain in the ass. I need way more room than I actually gave myself, even though I deleted these and built them back. But yeah, I could go around the front, I guess. It's just gonna be... I mean, it's already... it's already a mess. There. There we go, chat. Let there be liquid. Now we all have to do is sit back and watch, or we can just use Unity. But now we're gaming. Oh wait, we're almost gaming. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Take those away. Let's get U-shape. For the raw limestone. Quick remove that, because I don't have time. There we go. Okay. Get him. She's a beaut. He taught becoming a four-star pasta chef. I'm trying. By the way, Stoy, thank you for the tier two sub and for two years of sub. I appreciate uh, you sticking around so long. And thanks for two and one. Okay, chat. Thanks for being patient during that. Um, this is going to be well worth it. Well worth it when it's done. I don't think it's going to work the way I want it to, but we'll see. Okay, so which one's connected to which? We got this one making crushed slag. You know what? Chat, it just occurred to me that we didn't need to make two separate lines. We could have just... Okay, because in my mind, I was like, you can't combine gravel and crushed slag on the same line. But you can, because both all the concrete mixers can use either recipe. So for all intents and purposes, they're the same resource. So it'll never get backed up because it'll always be able to use either or both. Huh. But what if it backs up with one resource? That's the thing, it doesn't matter because the concrete mixer can still use 
either resource. It doesn't do both at the same time. It just does one or the other, whichever one it can. <clears throat> well, I kind of already... No, because it has to have a certain minimum number of either. It could, in theory, get backed up. No, because... <sighs> there would always be... Like, it can't be backed up on both at the same time. Do you see what I'm saying? Because it's taking slag and gravel. Sand is on a different line. So we just need to carefully... ...do that. Okay, then we can connect you two up together. It's gonna be beautiful, this beautiful union of gravel and slag. And you. Oh, I didn't delete this. Okay, it can go all the way across. It, well, it should be able to. What's it getting uh, stuck on? Nothing. <laughs> okay. So it's just very tall. Understandable. All right, and if it just turns one, then it has enough space to go all the way down. I'm just gonna go with that. Even if it's just a little weird knuckle, it'll still do the job. Okay, now where do we need, how do we need to connect these? How did we do it before? Oh dear God. Blocked by concrete mixer. How did we do this before? Good curly noodles. <laughs> oh, we're trying. Wait, chat. I've got a better idea. I got a better idea. Wait, that was del I just deleted the wrong one. <laughs> Everybody freeze! Everybody freeze. Cancel that undo. Okay, I know what to do. I got it all under control, chat. Check this out. Okay, so I screwed up one piece. 
It's still, it's still gonna work, okay? It's still gonna work, I just screwed up one piece. Cannot join to a ramp. Yes, you can. Behold. Wait. Why is this so difficult? This is the most difficult thing. There we go. There we go. Let there be... Oh no. Literally how? Why can't it... Doesn't matter, just- I'm just gonna say yes. It looks cool. Beautiful. That actually is way better. Okay, we're back. We're back in business. We need coal. Coal's the only thing we haven't really automated. Uh, <clears throat> best case scenario, we probably just make a couple loose coal storages over here. And then just simply feed them out. Okay, so let's go ahead and hook you guys up. One for you. And one for you. Alright, and then we're gonna have both of these be designated as coal. That way, um, we probably only need one truck designated. Because <clears throat> we're gonna just have the coal put in the truck and then the truck put it in the loose storage and it'll take two seconds each time. That way, we can have a proper belt and the coal can go many different places um, I do want to raise it up here So the trucks can go under. I think that's pretty even. Okay. And if excavators need to go... I don't know. If the excavators need to go up there, then they're screwed. <laughs> like, because a bridge isn't going to fit here. Unless we do this from a different angle. Engineer says one support's fine. Yeah, one support's probably okay. No big deal. Tree harvester has no trees to harvest. Hold on, let's just undo all that. Don't worry, tree harvester, I got you. You come over here. Start clearing all that. Why do we not have power? We are only making 180 kilowatts because we don't have diesel and we don't have diesel because... Priority sucks. Okay, we got power back. This is starting to look good. It's just full of concrete slabs. All right, but this is the part where we just put the concrete slabs in storage. So, 
we always have some when we need some. I'm trying to keep the like a uh, road basically clear. All right, that looks good. These will both be for concrete slabs. And the finished product can just roll out like this. Okay, we're kind of low on like construction parts too. But yeah, this this should get everything flowing. Hey, look. The crusher's getting crushed slag, sending it to where it needs to go. Once we get the concrete out of here, this thing will start churning, as long as it can be provided with sand. Whew. Now, back to this. One, two, three. Oh, my bad. Okay, this is probably fine. Uh, if I just go straight across, is there enough space here? To make a breach. Okay, one, two, Let's see if there is enough space to make a bridge or ramp. Hey, there is. Uh, hopefully the small one is enough. That way excavators can actually go up the hill. It kind of looks stupid, but <laughs> it'll technically work. All right, Cole's got a new extremely close place to get deposits. I lost my streak. Hey, what's up, Larry Burgers? Thanks for the 18 months of sub. Welcome back. Can trucks move from unit storage to unit storage so you don't conveyor coal across the map? They're allowed to still import and export, so you can choose whether they are or aren't allowed. But I'm not really sure what you mean. Conveyoring coal across the map saves truck logistics and infrastructure, which is a good thing. And gives you some, like, long distance throughput. I got forklift certified today. Nice, crispy scotch, congrats. I'll fork it up the best I can. One, yeah, one, one pun's good. One pun's fine. But what I can do here... Once all this is taken care of, like, we should probably just turn truck export off. I don't think they're going to be moving this, but we want the limestone to stay. The sand also shouldn't be needed anywhere else right now. And they're not allowed to take any water out of the fluid storage. So that's all going good. The conveyors take power. I believe they do. So, minor but noteworthy amounts of power from the conveyors, yes. Pipes do not take power. It's like two kilowatts, so it adds up. 
All right, basically we just need a ton of construction parts, which is... Uh-oh. I know, buddy. You need a bridge. Actually, this would be a good spot for a bridge, too. like there all right now we got a little a little bridge they can scooch over see now I'm probably gonna want a medium ramp so we have a little bit more space for various production lines And this is going to be unnecessary, so why don't we go ahead and deconstruct you. Get the pipe going back first. There we go. Alright, re -queued. I want to get a medium ramp right about there, probably. Excavators will have a few more options for travel and access and stuff. Man, this is actually starting to look like a proper factory now. Especially with all this going on. Look at this. But we got to finish... Um, just a few constructions here. Because we are out of tier 2 construction materials. We are also painfully short on basically everything. <laughs> like our primary factory is struggling right now, I think, Chad. It's struggling a little bit. How many mechanical parts do we have? Okay, we got like 112. All right. Well, with that in mind, I'm going to disable you so we can focus on the construction parts. But we need const... <sighs> I'll turn construction parts on this one, too. So that way we do this and construction parts, too, hopefully. This factory sucks. Like, this part of it. I got I to do a full automated reset now that we can do conveyor belts. Hello again! What's up, Killamac? How you doing? Chad, how's it already been five and a half hours? It's already been longer than yesterday's stream, and I'm just, like, so addicted to this. But I appreciate the free sub for 29 months. Frank that JFL says, I was thinking at the coal mine, load into local loose storage. At your factory, have another loose storage. Trucks transport from mine to factory. The problem is trucks can only transport 20 at a time. So it's hugely inefficient. Conveyors are going to save those trucks a lot of travel time and let them keep... Because the more trucks have to go dump somewhere... Because I'd have to allow... Um, I don't I don't think you can prioritize one loose storage to another because I'd have to disable something from this like if you disable import here then they'll never put anything in but I don't know why they would prioritize the this one over the further one and swap between them you'd have to do like um I don't know I'm not even sure if that's viable Priority levels? How do you set priority levels on storage, I ask you? Do you see a priority button? On the screen? Like you do on any other building? Nope. Might be interesting to have a priority levels. Assignment? But I don't think you do. Okay. Uh, so we're just not producing enough components and things that we need right now. 
At least we got enough maintenance to go around. That's very important. We're starting to get some construction parts. Trucks? Oh my god, 42 tier 2 construction parts. So much. And then this needs construction parts, and then this needs construction parts. You may need to unlock it. No. Drag the green arrow on storage, and priority will show up. This? Ah, you can do a keep full with priority. Okay, but here's the thing. Even with that, I mean, that's good to know. However, taking the example before, if you had a coal storage here and a coal storage here, how do you make them put stuff in this first? You'd have to set a keep full to something and then priori prioritize it at a higher priority level than the other one. So the only way they would do it is if this one were full, because if you prioritize this one higher, like let's say this was coal storage, then they would just drive to that one instead of dumping it here, right? So you'd have this one would have to be full all the time. But then they would just take new coal o over. You see what I'm I don't... Anyway, forget about this. But it's good to know that you can set a priority level for that, though. Research lab two done. Oh boy. That's a whole thing that we are not prepared for. All right, chat, we've got like hundreds of iron slabs. It's time to figure this out. This is a gigantic iron deposit, yes? Huge. And we're digging all up in here. I don't want to block in the trucks, and I also want to leave a driving space open for them. So we're going to pause one of these. Let this be iron ore. And then we're going to need a conveyor belt to go from A to B. Surely if you drag the other arrow, there may be an export priority. Can't do both. But there is, as it happens, an export priority. Hey, we just can't make enough of everything right now, can we? Eventually, we're going to deconstruct all this. Sooner or later. Right now, we just need to mass produce construction parts so that we can continue to make construction parts, too. Oh, pain in the ass. Okay, so it needs wood and concrete slabs. Wood, we have plenty of. Concrete slabs, we have this entire factory. So this is working. We've got like 80 concrete slabs at least. Two storage units specifically. Four concrete slabs, so we can turn this one to something else. Oh, this one's full. Never mind. Leave it there. 
But yeah, the factory is starting to look like a proper factory now at this point. And we still got 56 workers and 53 months of food, so I'm happy with everything there. I, ooh, we're just gonna need some more power. So that's time to start another diesel gen. More construction parts, more electronics. Feed me, more pipe. It's never enough, it's never enough. But we will get that going. What is this doing here? Thank you for sharing this game with us, Etel. It's neat. I've been having a, a lot of fun with it, yeah. Just trying to, f figuring out logistics and spacing and conveyor belts, and different building setups. It's good fun. Um, this is probably our most complete factory yet, even though it's not finished. It's getting there. You can see that we now actually have both a crusher, both crushers are doing things. So if we wanted to, like, say, store extra crushed slag and or extra gravel, what we could do is get loose storage for both. Kind of like this. Oh, we would need, like, um... A special sorter. Yeah, we need a, a special sorter for this. Well, we just finished researching crop rotation, so uh, crop rotation will allow us to increase farm yields. We also can use manure somehow. But yeah, I was going to say, transport balancing leads into smart conveyor routing so that we can actually sort the extra stuff, which is very helpful. So I say let's go ahead and get the transport balance first. And then smart conveyor. We'll cancel this for now. But yeah, we can actually like just store the slag and the gravel soon. But this is this is fine. The chili peppers and PF Chang's Kung Pao chicken is so hot. Is this a meme post? <laughs> You know how the last time I've been to P.F. Chang's? I don't remember. I think it was for like... Is this an ad? Like this is an ad, right? The red chili peppers in P.F. Chang's Kung Pao Chicken is so hot I am dying over here. I think it was probably for some kind of, like, wedding party related thing it was the last time I went to a P.F. Chang's. Probably. Alright. Time to actually focus on making the Tier 2 construction parts, because we have just... This, I hate this entire area. This whole zone sucks. Are you winning, son? I mean, I'm not losing. We just made our first, like, fully automated factory. We're just missing a few conveyor belts. And we're gonna start getting coal fed over here too. Speaking of coal, we already have a- oh, chat, we only have 15 coal. Do we have an extra excavator for this? No, we do have an extra truck. I think it's time. We have 42 vehicle parts. Give me a new excavator. And we need to double up on coal, I think. The graphics aren't amazing, but it's still nice to look at everything working. I agree, yeah, especially as it's filling in. 
You can definitely see that we're like occupying the space that we started in. It was totally empty and now we just got a bunch of um, roads and factories forming and we got hills going up to the second level. We got water, we're pumping groundwater right now. We got bridges and farms and new settlements and water collectors. All sorts of goodies. Donation from P.F. Chang's incoming. I don't even remember the last time I ate there enough to know if I liked it or not. Like, I just don't, I don't remember anything. All right, we can actually accept coal. Okay, that'll be good. Where else needs coal? Oh, you need coal. Both of you need coal. Uh, that's slightly harder. Gonna have some classic factorial problems soon. <laughs> Definitely some classic factorial problems incoming soon. Where you only have one, like, coal supply line. And then you have to split it 50 times. Too steep? Too steep. Okay. Uh, like, I know how to get... I guess this is fine. No, it's not. That sucks. Okay, so you can't do that no matter how you cut it, basically. So we're going to have to get the U-shaped conveyor to just go down the middle. And split off two sides. Okay, and then the pipe. It's going to have to go up. And then if it can, go down. But I don't... This is actually a little tough. Huh. Really not an easy way to do this, is there? Okay. What if... We deconstruct you and you... What's coming, Chad? What's coming out of there? Is this? Wait, what? Oh, this is just fluid storage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. How is this gonna plug in, dude? Wait a second, I know! This is so dumb. Hold on, I, I think I know. Yep, I gotta deconstruct like this. God, I have to undo everything. But I promise it's gonna work.
That is my guarantee. Okay, so it needs to connect up to... No, that's the waistline. We don't want it to connect up to that. That's the stinky, stinky waist. Now we just need to loop it back around. God, this is so dumb. Uh, Olg? What is happening? Is it being blocked by this building? <sighs> alright, alright, just wait. This is the dumbest thing that's actually gonna work. Why is it doing this? Okay, yeah, this is actually gonna work in a ridiculous way. <laughs> spaghetti! Everybody loves the spaghetti! Okay, so why do we do that? We have a storage tank of uh, diesel fuel here. The diesel fuel has got to go through this pipe over the rubber maker and actually this is not bad because it will prioritize feeding the diesel generators first and then split off from the diesel generators back to the rubber maker so it's kind of almost going to the rubber maker second two of them two diesel generators will be the first recipients then the rubber maker then the other two diesel generators and it'll work we have another pipe here that's specifically for waste that only triggers occasionally. And that goes back to this pipe, which spews waste out into the ocean every so often. There we go, right on cue, good time. Okay. But yes, power's reconnected. Could not store all potato. Farming tutorial. Ah, <sighs> you decided to be a farmer as well. Feed your people, but crops don't grow for free. They consume water and soil fertility. Water is replenished by rain, but rain is not reliable. More advanced crops are more demanding, so external sources of water are recommended. Irrigated farms distribute water when the soils dry automatically. Farm yield is reduced if crops don't have enough water and they may dry out. Fertility is more complex. Fertility affects yield. With 50% fertility, you get 50% yield. Crops consume fertility daily, but farms also have a daily natural fertility replenishment, meaning leaving farms empty without growing anything would slowly replenish back to 100%. Over time, fertility will stabilize at some value based on the planted crop. This is equilibrium, the final fertility you expect if you maintain your current crop schedule. If you don't rotate your crops, meaning you keep growing the same crops, you get a fertility penalty. To overcome this, there are several options. Either rotate regular crops with green manure, increasing soil fertility but not yielding any products. Um, the biggest farmer's overclocking dream are fertilizers, increasing your fertility and keeping it there. Some can increase it to over 100%, but you need a stable supply. You need to connect a pipe with fertilizer to your farm and then drag the fertility target slider to the desired level and it automatically will fertilize the soil. Okay, so we can either rotate crops or start getting green manure, which I don't know where you make that. You can even set a crop schedule, a schedule. So realistically, I think we should probably just like allow the other farm to be built. Then, how do you get green manure? We don't have any other crops right now. So I'd say... 
Potato, potato, potato. No crop. Natural replenishment. Then on this one we do potato, potato, no crop, potato. And on this one we do potato, natural replenishment, potato, potato. Because I've already unlocked green manure. I just don't know how to actually make it. Two different things. The tutorial seemed to imply the manure was just a toggle for the crop type. Well, let me look at the tutorial again. <clears throat> To make fertilizers work, connect a pipe with fertilizer to your farm. Well, the fertilizer's got to come from somewhere. Because it says with a pipe. Unless I have to figure out how to make it. We need some cows. Get some green cows. What's up, Grugenvitz? How's it going, dude? Um, let me look at this again. So we have water plus green manure equals fertility. But, and it takes less time. This is three months. But I don't, I definitely don't. So I guess, um, yeah, green manure does not equal fertilizer, I guess. They're two different things. Green manure may just be like an upgraded version of crop rotation. Our equilibrium is like 60 something percent like this. Well, if we have another. If we have a fourth farm, we might be able to get away with. A little extra green manure, and that will increase the overall fertility. It just needs water. So how do we plug in water to the farm? Probably, does it need to be upgraded to an irrigated farm first? Possibly. Natural equilibrium's way low down there. All right, I think these are okay. Could not store all potatoes. <laughs> Well, that's fine. We have 52 months of food. That's plenty of supply. Back to work! Chad, how the hell's it already been six hours? I'm still gaming, dude. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be live for a, at least another couple hours tonight, because I'm having too much fun with this. Look at this! We now have an automated storage. Oh my god, it's already full. <laughs> it's already full. <laughs> what are we gonna do with concrete slabs? <laughs> We're supposed to mass-produce construction parts, which is good. Can I ask a simple question? You just did. So I will say retroactively the answer was yes. I keep used to watching VODs, I keep thinking I can skip forwards or backwards and getting confused when I can't. I'm sorry. Ottercog, get to the sub to Mazello. I'm also sorry that you're sub now. Enjoy the next 30 days. 
Okay, there's their fourth farm. That should keep us plenty busy for a while. We probably have way too much food. When you start upgrading houses... Speaking of, how do we do that? Oh, there's housing too. We'll add housing two to the queue so we can maximize our space because we do we will need more workers sooner or later. But we got a few things to research first. What movie or TV show would you like to see a modern recreation or readaptation minus Stargate Warehouse 13 in the Terminator series? Okay, you know what? Warehouse 13 was sick. So out of those three, I'd pick Warehouse 13 because I loved that show when it was on. It's good times. Firefly is the only correct answer. Firefly would be nice, but you have to do it without Wheaton. He kind of went off the rails. Chat, this factory is actually too good at producing <laughs> concrete slabs. We have hit a maximum of 360 concrete slabs. And we actually have a surplus of construction materials now, which means... We need to start making more. Of the other one, Construction 2. I mean, they'll go really fast, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I need to make an actual proper factory, because this factory is embarrassing. I, I left all this space to get a real good factory. But as it stands right now, everything sucks. Uh, let's get another... One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna build two copper storage here. Locally. Oops, not DS. It's green. I can't find it because it's green. That way, these trucks don't have to go so far. And we probably only need one truck then. Oh yeah, we made another excavator, because we're running low on coal. Where's the second truck? That's a sign to this. Oh. Doing stuff, I guess. We're currently hauling coal to the necessary buildings instead of hauling it to loose storage, which I guess is fine, because we need to make an- <gasps> We have a conveyor belt! Behold! The basic distiller will consume at six coal per hour. And the second excavator's rolling up for more coal, so we don't run a shortage. Fantastic. Quite happy with that. Copper isn't green, just look at the Statue of Liberty circa 1886. I'm hopping in my time machine right now. Beep boop. Transport balancing. All right, this is over my head right now, but we can make a bunch of different specific input output priority ratio splitters for all the different types of resources. What this lets you do, I think, is basically choose... Like, in this case... We would want a U-shaped balancer here, I think. How do you only deconstruct one piece? Just one, just one little, just a couple pieces. But yeah, so it has like <clears throat> a bunch of different inputs and outputs, right? So in this case, U-shape um, is what we currently use for loose products like coal.
Okay, so we're gonna connect that up. What does this take? Eight construction parts, two. Uh, we're gonna increase that to a higher priority. Oh, did I screw this up? Okay, so that's built first. But the premise is that we can take this and check out this graph. Enforce strictly even inputs or outputs. So we can choose to make the ratios very strict and make it even. If a port cannot accept any more product, output will pause until the port is freed up. So it pauses everything until it's all going the way it's supposed to. Check this out, though. So we can do... Um, priorities here. I was hoping that we could actually set the ratio, but... I do think, um... Ah, uh, it's 3D, dude. That's sick. So, what this does is it'll prioritize an output that is feeding coal into both the basic distiller... Um, as well... Oh, shit. What's this? What are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? Go away. There we go. So, it'll prioritize... The basic distiller, which is, of course, an incredibly important building. This is what's making our diesel. The diesel's keeping the lights on right now. And then it'll go over to the rubber maker, too. So it'll, like, feed coal um, here first. And then once this is full, then it'll go the other way. That's my understanding. Hello, Gamer Deathbot. What's up? Already. It's crazy wild okay it's almost time to revamp this <laughs> i just want to get enough uh tier two construction materials and a nice stockpile of regular construction materials first before we undo all this because we're gonna need bridges <sighs> we're gonna need like two back-to-back -back medium bridges Might even need large. Yeah, we might even need a large. Like right. Like right here. Like a large bridge right there. We're gonna have to delete all of this. <laughs> My entire supply chain is about to be destroyed. Okay, we're gonna have to start focusing on the construction parts. I need more! They are actually nearly done. Oops. Eh. We probably didn't need to make two things for copper ore here. But yeah, we gotta make, like, conveyor belts that go across the entire map. And it's gonna be so much fun. We actually might be able to build the water thing here. Nope, not yet. How do we get back to Deus Ex? Explain. What are we dumping here? Slag? We could just dump trash. Uh, we could also dump rock if we have it, I guess. Because we are using it over here, but I think it's backed up. So if it's backed up, they'll put it in loose... Well, yeah, I need that in loose storage for now. Uh, what about crush slag? I don't know. We need both of those things right now. I 
guess we could fill it in with trash. But <laughs> I... Putting rainwater harvesters on trash piles seems weird. But look at the trash pile spilling into the sea on this side. I guess that's kind of happening already, though. Can I get a Vinti ore compactor, please? I've actually started unironically enjoying Starbucks. Because I figured out that I can actually drink a big coffee without also consuming 420 calories from a Frappuccino. I haven't had a Frappuccino in a very long time. But I am currently a almond milk chocolate shaken espresso enjoyer. If the beans are in my local Starbucks, are they not local beans, I ask you? Are they not local beans? Okay, so we are... I don't know where these construction parts tier two are going. How many mechanical parts do we have? A full stockpile, 172. All right, let's slow down on mechanical parts. Rev up um, construction parts too. And maybe con just construction parts, both. We've also got a nice stockpile of electronics. Factory looks awesome. Hey, Grugan, thanks. It's it's starting to take shape. This is the next thing that we need to undo. Working on it. <sighs> Working on it. We just have so few construction parts. Um, do we need any of this? Not really. We still, how do we still only have 14 coal, even with two excavators? Did this do what I think it did? Yeah, huh? Sure did. So, Chad, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but a new Hearts of Iron expansion was announced today. Did it have a release date? Italy is finally getting a focus tree. I know. Italy, Switzerland, and Ethiopia are getting focus trees. I'm pumped. I've been itching to play some more Hearts of Iron, actually. But I guess it won't come out for a while, huh? They just announced it. What are they adding now? Custom planes, uh, peace conference rework. There's quite a few new features from the sounds of it. Oh, let me find it again. By blood alone. Called by blood alone. Italy's finally getting some love. Swiss focus tree. You can now um, take the navies of your defeated enemies in peace conferences using points. And uh, you can also demilitarize nations 
in peace conferences. 12 new music tracks? That's the real thing. It'd probably be out in like three or four months if the prior DLCs are an indication. Probably. Hey, what's up, Zap Guy? I don't know what music this is. Oh, it's uh, Dragon Age. Are we out of Sim Cities? There's 3,004 Cities of Tomorrow, the base game. And I think that's all the soundtracks that are there. Um, what else we got? City Skylines? Maybe. Maybe. What about... Oh. What about this? Not quite the genre that you might have been thinking, but what about it? Too much potato. I know, we do have too much potato. I guess this is a good problem to have. We're gonna have to figure out how to store more. Alright, we actually do have, like, construction parts. They're coming in. This might be too much action. We'll see. Look how slow the coal's rolling in. <laughs> Dude, it's so slow. Oh, I didn't think about this. It's so slow that the distiller is actually not getting enough coal. But this is backing up, and once this backs up, we'll be good. Oh dear. Yeah, we need more coal, dude. These these guys are not <laughs> really getting it done. Where's the second truck? Maybe we do we need a third truck here? Surely not. We've still got 180, like, fuel. <gasps> What's happening? It's happening. The line is complete. The coal must flow. All right, now we really have to get this in high gear. Maybe we set this to, like, a keep full? Set it a higher priority? Because where are they just taking the coal right now? I guess it does need to get to the furnaces, huh? That's fair. Alright, well, in that case, we're going to need even more transport. What's the best way to do this? There is going to be such a coal bottleneck. You need big truck! There is big truck, yes. Big truck would be very good. Uh, 
Alright, I think this is going to operate much more efficiently now. I'm expecting to see this backed up and then start going this way. It might take a minute for everything to go according to plan. Why are you only carrying one <laughs> rubber per truck? Alright, let's try this again. Alright, this is why we have a bridge chat. Is a slight incline. We may need to just like simply Who can even mind that? Is this in your purview? It is. All right, <clears throat> so we need to go ahead and set up a little order to flatten this. That can be the new order, and then we can kind of like just delete this one for now. We can always climb back in there later, but yeah, smoothening this out is kind of a big deal. Okay, back to work. There's not really a good easy way to do this. Like I could raise it up. And it would technically do what I need to do, but I need to feed the coal from the other side. Also, why am I why do I still see the the twos and stuff? Why do I still see that? Why am I seeing the the screen. Alright. <clears throat> well, trucks, you guys are gonna have to just go a different direction, I think. Because this is just not gonna work out. Hurting my eyes. All right. So we'll keep the pipes off to the side. This is the coal transport, which is going to mess up all these truck stays. I don't know how to make it better for them, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. They're just going to have to go around, I guess. I mean, there is a way for them to go around here. And we're going to smoothen all this out so they can go around that way. Smart conveyor routing. All right. That gives us the sorter so that we can choose what resources uh, go onto, maybe merged onto the same conveyor belt or split off of one onto two. Now we're working on new form of housing that can have 130 people per unit. More people, more problems. Won't that stop the sand? Yes. <laughs> Which is why we're gonna have a sand 
thing. Sand buffers. <laughs> A sand uh, thing. Conveyor belts that will span the globe. Okay, but yeah, actually, like... This is 180 right now. I don't know. Maybe they can somehow reach it. Possibly. It's full anyway. Because we haven't been using enough um, concrete slabs. But we're getting there. <laughs> Why do we say an alarm clock goes off when it actually turns on? Because it's like, it's like, go off, king. You know what I mean? Like, when you start talking, you're not shutting down. But it's kind of, we adopted the alarm clock phraseology from that. Because it, uh, the alarm clock actually turns your sleep off. If you think about it. Okay, so one of these conveyors is for coal, and the other is gonna be for beautiful. Actually, dude, this is gonna be kind of obnoxious. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. Properly. It's time for some spaghetti. It is 100% time. This will distribute iron ore. Ideally. Hello? Cannot join to ramp, but why? I don't know. It just didn't feel like it. So, if you are truck, then you might be stuck. <laughs> But I have good news. This doesn't fit. It. Um. Let's try this again, but slightly different. What's kind of obnoxious is you can't have, when you have these conveyors, you can't, wait, you can. Oh, you just have to build it in the correct order. Okay, never mind, never mind. We're good. Pickup cannot reach destination. That's because pickup is currently floating on a hologram. Apparently we can build loose storage in parallel. One connects directly to the next. What do you mean? I don't know what that means. All right, they got a ton of jobs to do and they're not gonna be finished for a while, so. 
We do have some coal actually moving on down here, though. I'm very impressed. <gasps> Does that mean what I think it means? Are the trucks doing their job? Where's the other truck? I don't know, it's just got coal. Whew, why do we need 400 kilowatts of power? All right, it's time to build the other diesel generator. We definitely have the construction parts and the electronics, and we've already got the infrastructure hooked up to this. But yeah, we need way too much. And we're not producing diesel. Where's the diesel? This only takes three. What is this? What's this is not? Is this not connected? Why is this pipe idle? Something's busted here. This pipe is flowing in the wrong direction, I guess? Somehow? Maybe I built it back? I don't know. Wait. It's got arrows. It's got little arrows on it. Those are all flowing the right way. Super confused. As to why this isn't working. Alright, that should work. I'm just gonna quick deliver the resources to these. Because I don't have time to wait for trucks to get here. Okay, now it's flowing. I don't know what was disconnected possibly before, but now it's flowing everywhere. Good. Because, <clears throat> yeah, this is. Whew, now we're chewing through it. Uh, we're only producing, what, 24 diesel per minute, and we're consuming. We should only be consuming 369. Uh, 369 plus 8 is 17. Yeah, we should still have a surplus of diesel. So this should hit equilibrium. As long as this guy's functioning, it just needs coal. Which we are good on coal. Ita, you can switch the direction of pipes. Oh, yeah. But I didn't know what... I, I thought it was just disconnected. You know in Satisfactory? When you build something close to another thing, but it's it looks like it's touching, but it's the game doesn't know it's connected, so I thought it was that. But yeah, this is a little spaghetti, but it gets it's it's working, it's working. Okay, too much limestone. We got slag full and rock empty. It's good to be able to support both. We actually have a surplus of um, construction components tier 2, which is great. We actually have an iron line. Whoa! All right, now we need one for copper, <laughs> which is going to stretch basically the entire map. So this is absolutely going to require bridges. No question. I think we just want to get this all the way, like, out, parallel with the pipe.
And then, God, this is where it gets annoying. If I could simply go like one. We can always adjust it later. Since this is kind of a separate resource. All right, I'm trying to like line this up. No. But yeah, since this is like a separate resource, I kind of want it to be next to the iron, so we can kind of see both at the same time. Oh no, but the pipe is in the way. That's okay, because uh, once it hits this stage, it can pretty much just sink to level 1 regardless. Because it just needs to go here. And uh, we may want to offshoot it and have two copper producers, but I think one for now is going to be fine. All right, now the bridges, otherwise no one's going to be able to move. Uh, so let's do small ramp. Like so. Now, <laughs> um, hmm. Okay. Is that's one terrain piece? You gotta be kidding me, dude. Who's in charge of this? All of you. Oh my god, I can't reach. I need to. Fl I need to flatten one tile. <sighs> or. I, well, the crane's not going to be able to get over. The crane's stuck. All right, we're just going to stop sand just long enough to do this. Small excavator cannot reach destination. Shut up. I actually don't know how to fix that right now. We're very congested, and I'm like one tile away. I think we just have to do this. Wait. No, not... I don't want you to delete the whole thing, just part of it. But yeah, this is, like, kind of silly. <laughs> the number of ramps that are required here is too damn high. We're doing our best. Okay, <clears throat> well. Still haven't solved this little conundrum, though. I'm just going to quick deliver the resources to the vehicle ramp so that this little dude can go get fuel. We still haven't made the fuel the fuel station. Trucks assigned to the fuel station will automatically refuel excavators and tree harvesters so they don't waste time having to move. No need to move. Does a fuel station need to be provided with fuel? One th would think so. Yeah, there is an input there. And we know fuel's coming from here, so why not... What is this, rubber? Alright, we can move that building wherever we want. Alright, I'm gonna leave at least those three spaces. That should be good. 
And uh, this is going to save us so much time, actually. Perfect. This poor bridge. It still works. We should probably just make this whole thing flat. <laughs> Instead of elevated. That way we could put the bridge somewhere that made more sense. But it, it's, it's getting the job done. Any update on the dryer? No, it's still busted. Alright, I didn't take a BRB chat. It's been six and a half hours and I haven't stood up. I think we've got enough queued where nobody's stuck. Things should be... Moving in the right direction. The sand is depleting here because of the reasons previously mentioned. Okay, let's do this. this works. So this is for sand. <laughs> uh-huh. This is for sand. My spaghetti lines are getting fairly intense. We're not going to be able to really see the um, coal or the copper lines. So now we have to go up to the third floor. Oh my god, this is going to take so many resources? Okay, sand. This is so messy. Well, we can't really do anything with the sand until we actually, like, smoothen this out. Which we're in the process of doing as we speak. But guess what? I'm going to need another bridge. Oh no, these are on the wrong side. This is actually <clears throat> kind of a logistics nightmare. Okay, so if sand it's gonna be sand should just be on this side. Wait, there was actually no reason to deconstruct that. Chat! Where is the truck assigned to this nerd? I'm gonna assign another truck. Because this is taking way too long. Because he's getting like four dirt and he's gonna leave. Bye. So I'm bringing another truck over here. Alright, I'm gonna take a gamer break. Um, I don't know what part to look at right now. We barely- we have six coal in stockpile, but we also should have... Where are you guys taking the coal? You're freaking me out. It should be going here. It's going wherever it's needed, I guess. These guys almost both have- they- Wait. Chat, why does this only have one coal? But this one has 26. Is this connected? It says it's full of cement. Maybe it just won't accept more until the cement is uh, caught up? Wait, okay, this coal's perfect. We got a nice backlog of coal at this stage.
All right, game or death break time. Let's make a save. So nothing happens while I'm gone. I'm really enjoying this though. Time is flying by. What part do you guys want to watch? How about just make sure this is actually getting the ground smoothened out, huh? So when we come back, we can actually uh, solidify the copper and the sand lines. The list of planned full version improvements on the Steam page for this opens with Advanced Space Program. Big game. <laughs> it is a big game. Oh, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Thanks for waiting.
So. We're back. I'm trying not to cough is what I sound like when I'm trying not to cough. How we doing? Still missing a couple spots. It's almost got to be almost done. Okay. Did that sound like Arthur Morgan? This is what I sound. Wazowski. Wazowski. You got Arthur Morgan from that? Sand conveyor is done? Kind of. This is what we really need. We have too much iron. Because... <clears throat> because why? We have too much slag? Oh. 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 But this is full of slag, too. Uh-oh. Chat. Trucks. Can't really... Oh, yes, they can. They go from this side. We're gonna have to dump the slag somewhere. Are we not dumping it here? Okay, so we're gonna set a dumping designation that goes like this. And that should, that's a bunch of trash. Well, that's okay, because we're going to be building more rainwater harvesters over this when we start irrigating the crops. Italics is back. What's up, Sticky? Thanks for the 14-month sub. What up? Hey, everybody else is just joining. Oh, we don't have any research selected. We got housing two done. I'm going to say veggie farming. And then we can start burning trash. We can desalinate the ocean? Not very efficient, it says. Power generation two. Okay. Biofuel. We don't have a research lab two yet. <clears throat> Retaining walls. We're gonna need more vehicle management, but not yet. We can do the captain's office, edicts. We don't need more power yet. We got plenty of crude. How's this looking now? It will technically work. That one little space. <clears throat> Pickup cannot reach destination. <sighs> Just not trying hard enough. 
This is kind of a ridiculous amount of bridges. Okay. <clears throat> Tree harvester with no trees to harvest? How are we harvesting so many trees? We're gonna do that one. And then we'll shoo you guys back to the other side of the map and start clearing all these out. Okay. Anyway. Thanks for waiting for me to get back, everybody. What are you guys playing right now, huh? Chat, what do you play? We still haven't finished this extra dirt hill. Working on it. Factorio, same spirit. Final Fantasy VII, Crusader Kings, Warhammer II, Age of Empires, that's the soundtrack. Oxygen not included. I still want to go back to our save on that, but then I, I got sick right after I played it. Coincidence? Maybe. Hard Space? Thought about playing that. Complerth? Probably going to play that. Celasta's good. Valheim, even though they added nothing. Harsh, but fair. Harsh, but fair. Stellaris? I want to go back to Stellaris. Zomboid will go back to at some point. Outward was pretty cool. Okay, question why? <clears throat> explain. Chat, can someone explain this? What, what's going on here? doesn't work. It's true. Graveyard Keeper? I wouldn't mind playing some more Graveyard Keeper. Why is this not moving? We have enough power. Throughput 60. This is not connected. Okay, we can finally build this where we wanted to build this. Which means you can go back to getting sand. Plenty of sand to be gotten. Guys. Look, I'm just gonna spend Unity and quick deliver these because I don't have time to wait. We got places to go, things to do. All right, and I believe sand was gonna be on this side. If I'm not mistaken. And copper is gonna be on this side. Look at these bridges, dude. <laughs> but even if it's not connected down... Okay, now it's going somewhere. All right, it just needed a connection, I see. Truck impulse. Oh, this should work. Okay, <clears throat> I'm excited. All we need are, like, a bunch of construction parts, too. To finish these off. We are going to be in business. Then maybe, maybe, we can actually redo this awful assembly. Waiting for water or rain? 
Do we have enough food? We have 51 months of food. We had too many potatoes. It's good. People still living in shipping containers? Technically, I can upgrade them, but I need a hundred tier two construction materials, which is outrageous right now. It's too much. But yeah, we should actually have the right materials for all this. Apparently this, the trucks are a little on the busy side. Let's see which ones are available to assign, because we only have six that are doing odd jobs. <clears throat> but we're back up to 42 vehicle parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and queue up two more trucks. We just keep the trucks rolling. We can have up to 50 vehicles. We only have 26 right now. Housing too expensive? Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh, too real. Trucks should slow down with conveyors? I would think so, yo. <clears throat> but only having six free that aren't assigned is not that good. We probably don't need two assigned there anymore, because they're just taking sand and dumping it here, <clears throat> ideally. I need both of these lines to get finished, but they're not, and that is because no one's hauling construction parts, even though we have 32. But that's where having extra trucks helps. So, like, there's two trucks assigned to this. Which is also probably unnecessary right now, since they should only be taking <clears throat> mostly copper. We really need just a second excavator. But the copper's quite backed up, it just needs the line to be built. East Coast chat? Wrong coast. Incorrect. Where's the second truck that's assigned to this? Oh, they're hauling dirt. And they gotta drive, like, way over here to dump it into the future, uh, <clears throat> dirt ramp that'll get us up to the next floor whenever that's necessary. Well, this is going pretty well, I think. Expanding this artificial coast. Okay, I see most of this line. This chat, we're so close. All these bridges. All these bridges. For what? Just import the construction materials. We still only have 22 of those. Did we finish the trucks? Okay, we finished one extra truck. Everything's stable. We've got a ton of things queued up for research. I think we just wait. Check on coal. Hey, coal has backed up, which is excellent. That means we have more than we need. Which means all supply lines are being fed, I believe. And if anything else needs coal, I don't even know what it is. I think everything that needs it is getting it. We've also got a respectable amount of copper and a respectable amount of iron, so I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the assemblers being slow. We can get electric assemblers, which I'm not really sure what the big difference is. Is it just new recipes or is it faster?
Um, metallurgy and smelting? What, what's it under? General machines. Okay. Electric is faster and can produce more advanced product. Takes 20 kilowatts instead of being free. Ah, it takes power. Now this is looking more like Dyson Sphere Factorio. I really wish I liked Dyson Sphere more than I did, because it seemed like there was a ton of stuff to do in Dyson Sphere. I haven't played it in a while, so maybe it's just been updated a lot. This is... This makes me sad. Bridge, 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 bridge. I guess I could always, like, redo all this later. Because I do think that... Setting this to be mined out is probably good. Just so there's a way to go around and then we don't need some of these bridges. Dyson starts very slow, but it gets very good. Um, I also... What was that Mars game that we played so long ago? Where you have the whole planet that you have to work with? The big... All of Mars? We're still making... Per Aspra. Wow, got it on the first try. Yeah, Per Aspra. That game was kind of cool. Rasper was neat. Like, if we can flatten this out, we can really just straighten up all this and <clears throat> fix the bridge situation. Well, when the sand storage is full, I guess that's what's going to happen. Alright, can we fast deliver? I'm going to quick deliver these resources. Because we just got this copper backlog here. And there's oh so much of it. We probably only need one truck. Alright, tons of idle vehicles, but we're also not building anything yet. So that's part of the thing. That's part of the reason why. Behold! Look at that camera angle! <laughs> okay, well the copper is finally flowing. It's going where it needs to go. And it's a little messy here, but it'll work. All the way to this lone <clears throat> blast furnace. Solely in charge of making copper for us, all by itself. New question, can you build roads? Not that I've seen so far, I don't know if it's in research, but the roads automatically form uh, as they drive, and I've I've grown to appreciate it. At first, I was like, hmm, I would like roads, but now I'm kind of just enjoying the natural roads for me because you can kind of it helps me see where the AI wants to go. Dyson's better if you play it off stream so you can watch something on your other monitor while you play. Hmm. Just not a lot of active playing. Perhaps. All right, we still need like 24 construction parts tier two. We're making them. They're coming out of the oven. Just taking a long time. I am so ready to retrofit this and make a... Oh, excuse me. And make a proper assembly line here. It's going to be so nice. I feel like we've been just sluggishly lagging behind waiting. Maybe we do need two trucks attached to this.
The sand needs somewhere to go. We got 81 out of 82 construction parts. For this entire line. <laughs> We're almost out of sand over here, so it's going to come in at just the right time. Are we out of, um, iron? <laughs> That's probably bad, right? <sighs> I'm trying to get them to smoothen out this and also get iron at the same time. Do we have two trucks or one attached? Two. Yeah, it's a lot of dirt. Oh, did we ever build the thing? No, we didn't finish the thing. 20 construction parts here. So we can get the fuel station. <gasps> What's happening? Sand is on the move. It's got quite a distance to travel, but it'll go to this other sand buffer. So we have room for like 360 total sand. And that'll keep the uh, concrete slab factory operational. This is probably our most... Robust factory, the one that works the best. Four separate concrete mixers. We've got more concrete than we know what to do with, which is going to be fantastic once we start maximizing the number of construction parts that we make, because that's a lot of concrete slabs. We need six per 60 seconds, and we're currently producing 48. So... We are making enough concrete slabs if we keep this running on all cylinders to facilitate... What? <clears throat> that, like, 48 construction parts, I think. Every 60 seconds. I was wondering why the excavator wasn't driving around. They actually just finished the fuel station. So I'm going to assign two trucks there. And then just make a 20th vehicle. All right, bingo, fuel trucks. So these little dudes will stop kind of drive... Excuse me, we'll come to you. <laughs> I think. Maybe it just needs... um. <laughs> Not what I thought was going to happen. I like this more than Factorial and Satisfactory. Build up and don't have to deal with weird shenanigans. Except getting resource locked, I guess. But I think they're both fun for different reasons. Alright, well this is working. So this can store up to 40 fuel. Allow any vehicle to refuel here. That's good too. Nice little gas station for us. Alright, the sand has officially made it into the factory area. It's good stuff. Which means this should now be empty. And the sand excavator should be back to work full time. Trying to get the copper supply also. Current research too advanced for our stinky old labs. <clears throat> All right. Um, it's probably time for research tier two, huh? What's currently at the front of the queue? We finished vegetable farming. Make veggies. I don't know what's... 
in the front of the queue. Burners? Okay, it must be burners. Let's do captain's office, then edicts, <clears throat> then vehicle management. Hopefully by that point we have the tier two for research. That's going to take lab equipment. For lab equipment, we're going to need electric assembly, which is a whole thing. Okay, um, but if we have new veggies... Fertility is about the same, but it takes four months to get 60 veggies. I'm assuming variety is good, though. So I'm going to change one of these out to veggies per, at least. Still have 43 workers available, so I'm not going to worry about a new food market or trying to get more people to join. We're basically full on pops right now. I wonder if one fuel truck would be enough at the moment, but who knows, you might have two trucks run out of gas at the same time, and then be glad you have two. Yep, there you go. They've gone on their journey. Make sure that the excavators stay operational at all times and never have to go across the map again. Very cool. Chat, we actually have a surplus of tier two construction. We only have 54 regular. It'd be nice to have a good chunk of each. Before we go and fully try and retrofit this. Because we're going to need to make a bunch of things. So I think I'm just going to let them continue, like at 2x right now. And just look at all the different buildings, because I don't think we're missing anything. I think we're all caught up on everything except Tier 2 Tech and Tier 2 uh, Assemblers. This is the most efficient the factory has been to date, or whatever that's worth. We could allow <clears throat> the water facility to be built, but that's 40 construction parts. Because, yeah, my fear is that we're going to deconstruct all this and then immediately, like, fail. Because, like, mechanical parts are still kind of low. But we do have, like, 500 spare maintenance. Like, this is making mechanical parts full-time still. Okay, oh god. I hope I don't. I'm gonna probably save before I do this because I fear the repercussions. Because we're gonna have to build a lot all at the same time. So I'd like to have at least, like, I don't know, 200 construction parts and at least 100 tier 2 construction parts. Maybe more. Because we're gonna need. Electric assemblies. This might be the time to switch to entirely electric assemblies, because we can pump 720 kilowatts of power out right now. I think it's time to go ahead and deconstruct this diesel gin. And then maybe allow this one to be built soon. Because we got... Why is this one not getting fuel? So this is... No, the fuel tank is full. It just doesn't, doesn't need to burn. Okay. Chat, not enough maintenance. Excuse me. Do we not? It says we're balancing around 450. From what I can tell. We can always boost this in case of an emergency and then try and fix it then. But I am worried about maintenance. A 
What music is this? This is still Age of Empires 2? Love and Will is the name of the song. Who's Will? Will. Chat, what do you guys want to play tomorrow? What should we stream tomorrow? Probably not going to do this three days in a row. Even though I'm having a lot of fun with it. I wouldn't mind doing it three days in a row, actually, because I'm just... When, when <clears throat> it's already been seven hours and I don't know how. It's a good sign. All right, we're getting the maintenance warning again. I'm assuming the game knows more than me. Maybe we'll just give this a nice little unity boost. XCOM Hard Space Shipbreaker. Three people for Shipbreaker. Shipbreaker's fun. We'll do XCOM next week, probably. Because I'm not done with it. Fix boat. Well, boat... I should fix boat, I guess. Or... The shipyard, at least. But that's going to take my precious construction materials. Maybe we could trade. No. I don't need any of this. I just beat Shipbreaker. It was good besides the bugs I ran into. So the campaign is beatable. How long does it take... To complete. Hey. Ship dock is ready. We still have to repair the ship. Once that's done, we can search our surroundings for supplies and more refugees. The ship will also need fuel and a crew of people to operate it. Ship designer. Engine, guns, armor, and a fuel tank. Okay. The shipyard can also just hold stuff. Now currently overloaded, it says, but it can hold stuff if we want it to. 30 hours? Splat did it in like 30 hours, he said? Huh. 25 to 30 hours? That's pretty good. Pretty chunky. Alright, well that just totally reset all of our construction materials. We got three assemblies making that at the same time, but that's just not enough. Vegetables will dry out due to lack of water. Well, I can upgrade them, but it's so much. All right, I'm gonna save because we got a lot. We got a big thing to do here. And I'm worried. Because we're basically gonna like cease production on everything suddenly. <laughs> Ready? Ready, chat? No, let's get at least, let's get at least 100 construction materials first. Full output. All right, no need to boost. You can now build the captain's office. Ooh, fancy. You can declare edicts, significantly affecting your island population and industry. Some give you benefits, some cost the unity. Other edicts can generate monthly unity, but these typically require you to provide something back. Growth, pops, more health points. Food consumption is increased. Is that good? I played a bunch of betas so when I came back to rush the story I did it in 15 hours. 25 to 30 hours? It's a pretty pretty good campaign. So like, how much more do they want to add to the early access of hard space? What's uh what's left to add if there's like a full campaign already? I 
don't know what's on the to-do list. Hard Space is already 1.0. It's like, is it out, out? It's just released. Okay, I did see a bunch of people playing it recently, and I was wondering why. Apparently, that's why. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Okay, once we convert these to electric assemblers, I think this is going to go a lot better for us. Alright, we got about 80 or so construction materials, a good chunk of construction parts. Copper and sand supply lines are great. Coal is fantastic. We got plenty of limestone here. Even though the trucks have to drive kind of awkwardly to get to it. I'm actually not sure how they get to this one. <laughs> how do they get to this one? Next step is console release. Huh. I guess it makes sense. Alright, I'm happy with the rate at which this is going. Alright, back to almost 100 construction mats. Hopefully that gives us enough of a buffer. It is time, chat, to possibly blow up our industrial island. We must delete. Every single assembly. All trucks must assemble and retrieve the goods. Production has ceased. And we have planning to do. Where are these guys taking stuff? Okay, only two left, and then we can start planning. We just got a huge surplus of construction mats from the recycling of these buildings. There we go. All right, freeze. It's time. I'm excited about this. Step one, we need to make sure trucks can get to and fro. So I'm gonna say some medium vehicle ramps would probably be helpful. And we need to leave plenty of space for conveyors. So I think five spaces should be enough for the various lines. So we're gonna do one there. And we're gonna assume there's gonna be another kind of group cluster here and that should get this is going to be like the main road this way I think all right so two vehicle ramps medium that's enough room for six conveyor belts per side if that <sighs> keep in mind that we can also like I don't know if I really wanted to future proof this shit then But this is not even. This thing doesn't line up. The devs thought this would be funny to make this one even instead of odd. Chat. Wait. No, I think I screwed it up, actually. No, I didn't. I think this actually fits. It kinda, it looks correct. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to... These bridges is gonna be an insane amount of resources. So we're probably just gonna pause these at first. <clears throat> but we need to know they're there. Alright, now the fun begins. So, these are the metal casters making iron. And iron can head out on just a conveyor. Nice and easy. Eh, sure. Let's just leave a space. Now, where are these going to meet? Because <clears throat> we technically have, like... Four of these buildings are outputting iron plates. And iron plates are going to be extremely important. Just by extension... Well, I could have totally mirrored these buildings, but I didn't. But just by extension... Ding, 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 ding. But basically everything using them. What? Incompatible port. It's an output shut... You just have to trust me, game. You just have to trust me, okay? Okay, so all the iron plates are going to sync up on the same line. This doesn't need to be going that way, you dingus. Change direction, please. There you go. Alright, now we're on the same page. So, <clears throat> where are we feeding all the iron plates? Many different places, <laughs> as it happens. Um, so, step one is going to be mechanical parts, which is going to, of course, feed our... Um, but let's first figure out how many we're making, shall we? We're making 12, 24, 36... We're making 48 iron plates per minute. That's how much we have to play with. 48. It's quite a bit. But we're going at full speed. So then we need to think about how these electric assemblers are going to go... And we're going to give them plenty of room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven whole spaces um, to play with here. With also at least, I would say, three blocks of room in the middle for additional uh, conveyor throughput. Keeping in mind we have a Z-axis, so that should give us even more space. And I'm going to attempt to line these up. This is a large thing, though. We can put some of them, like, very close to each other. Of course this isn't even, because why would it be? Hold on. All right, so yeah, we, I say we have like four all grouped up and we'll, we'll have these be something specific, like similar, something we need to mass produce. And then kind of the specialty goods on the outside. So that's what, two, four, that's eight assemblers. That's a good quantity of assemblers. Feeding iron, wood, and concrete is gonna be tough, but we know we need a ton of construction parts because we need it for regular buildings and we need it for construction parts two. Uh, we need it for a lot. So, if anything, I'm gonna say the four in the middle should probably be, like, all construction parts, too. I think you selected manual assemblers. <laughs> You're right. Throw that out! That layout was garbage! You know what, I'm gonna give them nine spaces, because I think this is gonna get hairy.
Okay, I'm not sure if this is the same size. It is. All right, very good. There we go. Electric assemblers it is then. Full upgrade. So these make, oh damn, 12 construction parts is double. So, um, we also have extra recipes. Actually, does the manual assembly have recipes that the other one doesn't? No. I think it's just the other way around. All right, in that case, we want... Oh, oh boy, this is going to be real fun and complex. Chad, I hope you're ready. We're going to be here for a few minutes. Thinking. Thinking about what? Lots of things. <laughs> Lots of things. Let's start with the easiest bit. We know we need mechanical parts. So we're gonna set this guy up for mechanical parts. That's the, that's the easy part. Okay. Uh, how are we gonna do this? This is gonna be a huge, huge pain. Because we're probably, I don't know, do we want priority splitters or just make more plates? Somebody about to get a spaghetti real bad. <sighs> we'll, put, I, we'll keep iron plates on the base level because almost everything needs them. All right. So this is just iron plates equals mechanical parts. In theory, we'll eventually probably want to double that. So I'll just go ahead and save some space. And then... We're gonna want a splitter. Well, this just made things harder. Hold on. Alright, splitters for everyone. Uh, we're gonna pause construction on this as well. So, <clears throat> this is gonna make mechanical parts, this is gonna make mechanical parts, but we're not gonna build it yet. That's the easy bit. Next. We need to make a lot of electronics. And electronics are copper plus rubber. And it's 12 copper. So how much copper are we making? We are making 19.5 per minute. Why, devs? What do you mean 19.5? What is this? Chad, how do you make 19.5 divisible by 12, pray tell? So we make, we take four every 20 seconds, and we make 13 every 20 seconds. So like one copper electrolysis, no, that's every 40 seconds. Dear God. All right, well, here, we're going to need to do this too. We need to duplicate this blast furnace setup. This is where the copy tool comes in, because we're just going to go pew pew. It's a beautiful thing. But step one, we're going to copy this. Do I want to mirror it? Calculator time. Basically,
Okay, so we got a small problem. <laughs> do you see the problem? The problem is, how do the trucks... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. How do trucks squeeze through this gap? Yes? Okay, we might just need to rearrange this. Time to restart, yeah. <laughs> Clearly time to undo and redo. Help. I'm dying. I'm trying not to cough on you. Okay, but seriously, uh... How do I squeeze this in? Would you guys be mad if I just, like, turned it totally sideways? Symmetry is dead. But trucks can drive, so that's cool. Fairly, fairly important and utilitarian. How do we make this work? Why doesn't this work? I literally have it the exact same way here. It spits out molten from here and takes it in there. Am I missing something? actually had to hit F. What does this do? What does this button? What does the F key do? Maybe it tries to just stop things from... That's like a plug, so maybe it just stops things from trying to plug. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. <clears throat> then we need to get some coal in here. And also get some copper in here. Okay, the copper is actually slightly harder. God, we unpause the game. Ah! What happens when you deconstruct a conveyor belt when there's materials on top of it? No one knows. It's gone forever now. Okay. So we do... One, two, three. Splitter. And then create a splitter here. One, two, three. We go up and over. And 
And then... Looks good. Back down. Perfect. Okay. So that's going to feed a second copper blast furnace. So that we have enough copper to make electronics, basically. These are going to only output impure, impure copper. Which the impure copper needs to ride around on its own little conveyor belt. So cute. Before, in fact. Why so difficult? See? There you go. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay, <clears throat> so it's going to take the impure copper, and feed it into copper electrolysis at a perfect ratio. Then we are going to take the purified copper feed it under this bridge before <clears throat> ultimately splitting it off to make electronics. So let's start there. Because now we need to connect impure copper to purified copper. And then also impure copper to purified copper. Okay, <clears throat> that's perfect. The spaghetti is finally coming to life. Now, to make electronics, we don't just need copper, we also need rubber. One per 20 seconds, so that's three per 60 seconds. We are making 12 per 60 seconds, which is way too much. Uh, <clears throat> but we can simply take the rubber, it's nice and close, which is very, very good. But, alas, at this rate, we're going to need to make another damn bridge, actually. Too many bridges, chat. Too many bridges. I'm trying to find a way to avoid that. <clears throat> Raise the line. If you um, <clears throat> raise the line, you can let trucks under, but you can't let excavators under. So I don't want to block off all my excavators in this corner of the map. They might be able to go all the way around, but it's just nice to have <clears throat> good transportation. Super highways, exactly. You know what I'm talking about. Like, I could just go backwards... And go this way. I don't know if this helps. Hmm. This is tough. I'm trying to figure out the best place for a bridge. I guess this is fine. It's not super future-proof and it's janky as hell, but... Like, there's just not enough space right there. Whereas here... Also goofy. 
here you don't get the resources where you need them. <clears throat> here you block off the other bridge. Maybe we just do a, like a medium ramp back over here. Okay, <clears throat> and then we'll just run like, you know what this is like? This is a simulator for running long extension cords in your house in a way that appears neat. Oh no, well, no, this is actually gonna work. Super long extension cord. <clears throat> okay, but the fun fact is it actually is going to work. So we just go here, then elevate. Hey, okay. <clears throat> and then when we get to this side, can you actually go through this? No. So we have to go off to the side, which is fine. Then we can go back down. Alright, <clears throat> and this is for the rubber. Which we're gonna send this way. Ooh, okay. I like, I like what I see. So, we need to get copper and rubber going into both of these. So that shouldn't be too difficult. There's copper <clears throat> in one. Something's gonna have to be bridged. Cannot join to a ramp. Why not? Oh, so I did it wrong. Okay. So yeah, then this goes up. <clears throat> Bingo. What? Oh, I see. And you start the ramp from one tile earlier. <clears throat> that way we can create a splitter. Hook those bad boys up. And then we should have what we need. Or not. Hold on. Close, but not quite. We'll go to the middle one instead. I think that'll be easier. Okay, then we need to split the copper. There we go. All right. So these two factories will be producing electronics at a rate of 24 per minute with rubber and copper, which once all this is rebuilt, uh, that should be going pretty smoothly. We'll have rubber to spare. We should have copper to spare too, because it's 24. And we're making like a lot more than that. We'll be making almost 40. So we'll have like 16 spare copper to either <clears throat> We could use a, th a third electronics builder, but I'm just going to start with two because I think this is already going to be difficult. So what does that leave us with? We now need to feed those electronics back into other buildings. 
So we're definitely gonna need like basic construction parts, which is gonna take iron, wood, and concrete slabs. And I'm probably just gonna have four buildings dedicated to that. I don't know if that's too much. 12, 24, 36, 48. That's a lot. It's gonna take a lot of iron, wood, and concrete. So we definitely already have the iron. The iron's right here. So all we have to do with this is just drag it on over. Connect it up. And that part's handled. All right, now how about the concrete slabs? Because the wood, the wood's a little bit more difficult, but um, concrete would definitely work. Because it's over here. And we already built this bridge, so that's handy. So we need to do this. And this is where it gets slightly complicated. Stop plugging into things. Okay, because we needed to go higher. We need to go to level two. Which will have to take a little elbow, but it'll work. No. Why are you trying to... Plug in that way, weirdo. Alright, that's just how much space it takes. Fine. <clears throat> also, what music- WHAT MUSIC IS THIS?! Oh, it's still Age of Empires 2. <laughs> I knew that. Okay, what- chat, what resource is this? Stone? I knew that. Or concrete? Whatever. Same thing. A co a concrete whatever. All right, so the concrete's gonna come in from this direction, which is about to get a little confusing because it needs to go up and then all the way over to this side. This is a tasty spaghetti treat. I do think it would look better if we collapsed it like this. Okay, assembly lines. We got so many things to connect. Chat, I want a head count because it is uh, almost 10 p.m. Pacific, which means it's almost 1 a.m. Eastern. Raise your hand if you have no idea what the hell's going on. You didn't know, okay, well, sorry, I said head count and then I changed the question. It was a different thing. Me. I know. I think I got it. No. Number go up. Okay, <clears throat> so basically, we're creating a bunch of buildings that make stuff for us. These are tier two versions of the buildings. So they require both electricity and advanced construction parts in order to build. Uh, once they are built, we can choose a recipe. This dictates what the building will make for us on the right. So the stuff on the left are the ingredients needed to produce the product. So uh, what we're doing is we're creating kind of a group factory where both iron and copper things are gonna get built at the same time. So we've got two furnaces making iron for us and we're gonna have two furnaces making copper. So on the copper side, we're making electronics, which require copper and rubber. So we're feeding copper and rubber on these, which haven't been built yet, but these conveyor belts. 
so that we can then take them and make even more advanced goods. On this side, or in the middle rather, we're taking all four of these buildings and making construction parts, which is a three ingredients uh, thing. Iron, wood, and concrete. So we have to feed three things in to make this. So it's extra difficult. Um, so iron's the easy one, because we already have iron coming in from back here. So we just feed those along the conveyor lines. Concrete, we are making over... This is our concrete factory. So this whole factory exists for the sole purpose of feeding concrete on a belt into these two unit storages. So the unit storages are going to output concrete onto a new conveyor belt, which I haven't connected one of the things... And I don't remember how to do this, actually. I literally just did this. Getting distracted, hold on. How do you do this? It was like... There's a... There's a strategy here. I can't remember which one you have to build first. Do you build... this first? I mean, I can get around it. I'm just trying to figure this out for the future. It's not that hard to... <clears throat> undo if I really need to. Because that'll work. It just takes up slightly more space. Anywho, <clears throat> the point still stands. So we're just making this jumbo-sized factory with the intention of, like, producing advanced goods that are gonna, A, keep the entire factory running, and B, be used to make higher tier stuff. Like, we need to make lab equipment to continue our research now, and that takes mechanical parts and electronics. So we're making mechanical parts over here, we're making electronics over here. And we're going to have some mechanical parts left over for maintenance, which keeps our vehicles and the factory buildings themselves up and running. Uh, but we also need to, con to make uh, vehicle parts sometimes. And I'm currently thinking where that should go. So we need another building that makes construction parts too. We also need to figure out how wood's gonna get into these buildings. So we could pipe it in. We have a wood storage here that can hold up to 180 wood. We need we need about 48 wood every 60 seconds, which is gonna go pretty fast. So we have a couple options. We could just pump it from this unit storage or create a new unit storage specifically for wood. Which I kind of prefer that. So we're going to try that and see how it goes. So I don't know if, if 180 is good enough. I guess if the trees keep getting replenished it should be enough. but I would almost prefer two units storage. I just want to make sure I leave plenty of space over here, possibly for, like, settlement expansion. We could always create a new settlement, but that sounds like more work. Is there only one input on the copper smelter? Which copper smelter? This one? I believe so. Oh, it should be water and impure copper. So I need to hook water up to this, I guess. Is that what you're saying? I can do that. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll get water hooked up to that, too. Now, wood! How to store the wood? I think placing it somewhere over here probably makes the most sense. Like, 
like this. Okay. And that way we can have wood for you, wood for you. And then the wood is going to come out on these conveyor belts. Though I'm not really sure why you have to do it in such a specific order. In order to get an automatic merger. Why is it doing this? Why is it going in a U shape? Hello? Okay, anyway. So yeah, we just have to feed the wood all the way over here. So this needs to probably go up to level three at this stage. And stretch all the way out to here. And that's why I gave so much space. So we had room for like level three conveyors. God, this is gonna take so long to build. But it's gonna be so worth it. Excuse me? What do you mean, cannot join to a ramp? What is the ramp? This is the ramp? That should be a flat, that's a flat tile though. <laughs> Chat, the hell is going on? Why is this so difficult? Okay, uh, we're just gonna go straight up to level three. This shouldn't be that hard. Oh, all right, there we go, good God. Why does this mean cannot connect the ramp? What are you saying? Height two. This has got to be a bug, right? There's like this one spot. There's nothing blocking it. I didn't realize you have a population of workers that run the machinery too. Yeah. Because I've already done this exact slope three separate times. One, two, three. You can see it right, literally right next to it. But like... Maybe it's like, hit R, hit F. What happens if I just build the thing? What happens if I just build the splitter? can't. Try machine to belt? I don't think that's gonna work, but it might. Incompatible port at start. Yeah, it's like... It, it's acting like it's too steep now. Even though it's the same on the other ones. But I can't... It says cannot join to a ramp no matter what. Maybe we just let this get built? The ramp below it is bending. That shouldn't matter because this ramp is bending above that. Whew. 
Um, I guess that is the only thing that's different. But I don't... I don't think so, because even here... Even a space away from it, it doesn't do it. Hello, Avic! Things have gotten a little sleepy in chat because I've been building a, uh... <laughs> Mega Factory for the last, like, 45 minutes. <laughs> and also, it's getting a little late, but I have been addicted, and I'm gonna finish this before I sleep tonight. Hope you're doing well. Maybe you could help me out, actually. Uh, I'm trying to get a... I finally got conveyors. And I'm having an issue hooking up to this spot, or just really doing anything from this top conveyor. So I go to height 2 and try to make a splitter. It doesn't matter where. And you can see that I can, like, build. And then it's fine, right? And then I can go to level 1. But if I dare try to start a splitter, right? And then go down a level, cannot join to ramp, no matter what. Doesn't matter where I look or where I aim, except this way. Actually, you can go this way, but you can't go this way. This way, yes. That way, no. And I'm starting to lean towards bug. Because there's nothing over here. This is only taking three spaces to the right, or to the left. So I'm curious if I just build the ramp and complete it, if it'll work. Because it's just missing one input right now. Okay, <clears throat> we'll come back to that. So, we also need to make vehicle parts and we need lab equipment. Lab equipment's very important. But I'm gonna say... One station for vehicle parts should be plenty. And we need to feed mechanical parts, iron, and electronics into that. So see if I can remember what the hell's what. Okay, <clears throat> so number one, iron. That's easy. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy, I'm not trying to. All right, there's iron. Then we need to find mechanical parts, which are over here. And the mechanical parts also need to be fed into a maintenance depot. So what we can actually do is make a maintenance depot. Over here. I like this idea, actually. This is a good idea. Give us some space. So it's not too close. And then we're gonna get, since maintenance is so important and so all-encompassing, we're gonna have one dedicated um, feed from mechanical parts into the maintenance depot to make sure all of our trucks, all of our buildings continue to function. And then we're gonna have the other, because uh, we only need three mechanical parts per minute. So what we can do is actually split it. We can have this one go two different directions. One that way. Then one this way. And I want to give this as much room as possible. For a potential slope. Okay, and then last but not least, we need electronics, which come from this side. So we're going to need... Electronics to pop out of here. But anyway, hope you're doing well, Avic. It does kind of look like a bug. I was actually watching a little bit of your VOD earlier when you- I was- I was just like, before I was streaming, I was very much thinking about this game, so... I decided to watch a little VOD. And I was also watching some other streams. But there's just so much to do. Okay, yeah, we're gonna feed the electronics back behind this and hopefully not regret it later. Actually, we should just be able to keep this flat. Till about 
it's here. There we go. All right, so that'll feed electronics into the vehicle parts assembly. And then we've got this double 24 electronics that we need to put into a bunch of other stuff. We do not have enough resources to build all this. <laughs> so we're going to have to pause and prioritize the most important aspects. Uh, we also probably don't have enough electricity for all this, but it's, it's nice to be optimistic, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna go two, three, it's technically four, five, six, at least seven spaces apart. Because both of these are gonna go into construction parts. That's gonna take 24 construction parts to make 12 tier two construction parts. We also need 12 electronics for that. So, the good news is the electronics are right here. We'll probably just hook the construction parts up directly. And then pop the other components. Oh my god, not this again. Something about ramps. See, that works though. How strange. Okay, I can man <laughs> I have to manually make a ramp. <sighs> That'll work. Alright, that's tier two construction parts. Avic says it's pretty much how it goes on getting the VODs from Heartspace Shipwreck or Stream Schedule, but once that's done, I'll probably end up recording a new series of this. Yeah, yeah, I mean look at this factory. It's not even gonna get built, but damn it, we're gonna try. Okay, what else do we, we need to make science bits? Lab equipment, that takes electronics and more mechanical parts. So I might do those like over on this side. Cause this is where all the mechanical parts are coming out. Okay, how many do we need? For, I'm going to start with just one lab equipment building, and maybe we can expand that, because I feel like that's going to be more than we can even use. So lab equipment's pretty important, but maintenance is more important. So we're going to prioritize the maintenance from this building, which is pause. Maybe it shouldn't be. Oh, I clicked the wrong pause. That makes more sense. Okay, and then we just need to get electronics from all the way over here. Cannot join to ramp. Shh, shh, shh. Shut your mouth. Don't tell me. Don't tell me what I can't do. Okay, so seven spaces is okay. We need, to, uh, yeah, if we want to do nine might be better. Oh, I did do nine over here. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, if we want this to be lined up, I can just, actually it's great because there's a cut feature. So we can simply pick them up, scoop them, schmoove them. Super convenient. I'm loving this idea of one massive assembly line mega factory, by the way, Italics. I usually make separate production areas and ship inputs outputs around by truck. I haven't tried doing something this complex outside of oil refining. Well, what gave me the inspiration... Here's the problem. The, the good thing about this is it's really nice at this stage in the game. The downside is it's not going to be future-proof. So the nice thing about separate production areas is you can expand them much easier. But the nice thing about um, United factory like this is that you don't have to take your raw materials very far so I've got iron coming in back here and then I'm gonna have copper coming in back here and so my resources don't have to travel too far what I'm doing instead is taking my raw materials 
having the excavators put them in the pickup, have the pickup dump them into loose storage, and then have the, like, conveyor belts take them across the map the rest of the way. Of course, we've got bridge hell to make up for that, but I'm working on it so we can delete some of the bridges. But uh, that keeps the <clears throat> travel time of my trucks very low and keeps the truck industry stable. This game's big enough you'll eventually need a main bus Factorio style. Probably, but it's harder to get there because you're capped on building resources a lot more so than Factorio, I think. How much power do those conveyor lines use? I don't know. They use power, but guess what? The whole game's about making more power. So you gotta do it. Alright. The plan is... Only make the things that are essential... Like, we're here's what we're going to do. We're going to prioritize... I don't know how the hell we're going to do this. Um, maybe we just pause. Because I think we're not, we're not done. But, like, I can go. Like, I can let this get started now. I think. I just need to, I need to figure out how to prioritize at least a little. So let's just pause. Pause tool... All of this. Okay, that just unpaused everything. <laughs> Not quite what was planned. Um, all right. Well, this is going to be a big pain in the ass, but... Step one, we definitely do need electronics. So I'm just going to try and strategic... Uh, strategically unpausing this is going to be a nightmare. We I mean, it's kind of just going to have to... Sort of go... <laughs> You need to build a- yeah, I probably need to build the bridges somehow. Like, if I just build at least the factories first, the trucks can still haul things to them. Alright, good luck. I did save before this. I'm gonna save. Stream Mega Factory. In case I really screwed this up. So we've got <clears throat> eight trucks who should be able to ferry resources to and fro. And we're going to see what they do. Because they already should be working on things. Let the chaos begin! Indeed. There is much to do for Shadow Light, by the way, thank you for the 43... Oh, I missed some subs. I missed a bunch of subs. Milks Topher, thank you for the three months. Sorry I missed you earlier. Crescent Wolf winking at chat for 85 months. It's an impressive amount of time. I must have been designing this for an hour now. <laughs> well, you gotta do what you gotta do. But thanks, Crescent Wolf. Alpaca Ogrelord says, almost a year, get ready to cheer. Well, you rhymed, which was actually what I instructed chat to do when they entered the stream. So, good job, you're just late. Uh, Natnay says, welcome back. Hey, thanks for nine months, Natnay. Welcome back yourself. And Shadowlight also back for 43 months. What's up, Shadowlight? Is there any benefit of having high unity? Uh, you can spend it on building things quick. So I guess there's that. We are, we got 400 construction parts, so we're good to go on that. But we're going to burn through them real fast. These bridges alone are expensive as hell. So I could use some unity just to like fast build some things. Actually, there is a unity tool that lets you do just that. Oh, I already delivered the resources, so I guess there's no reason to pause them, huh? Alright, yeah, we're just gonna 
spin some unity and quick deliver to the bridges. Cheats! He's hacking! But yeah, the bridges are the most important thing because the holograms actually do block movement of vehicles. So allowing them to get where they need to go to and fro is the most important thing we can do for them right now. Yes, unity is also good for trading. That is also true. Trading and um, recruiting new people from other villages if you want to do it that way instead of... But you also do need unity to turn the beacon on. All right, we are going to need this extra diesel generator, which I am going to also quick deliver. Because we are about to run out of power. Because we do not have a good power infrastructure. <laughs> we're doing all this way before we're probably supposed to. But that's okay. We have the infrastructure to support it, I think. Fuel tank go up. We can now support it to 720 kilowatts. Trucks are very busy. I'm sure they are, yes. Oh, look at these beauties. Oh, look at these beauties. We're actually getting our first electronics. Even though the supply conveyors aren't working, the trucks are delivering stuff to make this possible. Honestly, this is basically... <sighs> Like, I don't know what I can pause and what I can't pause. I almost feel like I have to just let chaos reign and let all this get built at the same time. Because how can, how else can you tell? How can you honestly tell? Like, I know we're running out of resources. We don't have any advanced components anymore. Oh, no. That's actually really bad. <laughs> actually, here's one thing we can do. I can just make... Some manual assemblers over here and let the trucks just drive some things until, like, I'm satisfied. Because they can just make construction parts here. They can just take some electronics, take some construction parts, because we should be making both of those right now. Hello, streamer. Are you planning on streaming Stellaris? Yeah, I'm planning on streaming Stellaris next week. This is a uh, first week back post-COVID, and uh, we're going to get three streams in this week. Before I got sick, I had made plans uh, with friends from California for this weekend, so I'm going to be not streaming um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then things will be back to basically normal with four to five streams a week. So we're almost there, but we're still going to get a stream in tomorrow too. And this is almost a, this is going to be like a nine hour stream today, so. It's a good amount of VOD. <clears throat> but yeah, Avic, I'm glad you're having fun with this game. As much as I am, by the sounds of it. But chat, how many of you guys have um, not maybe not seen much on this game, but recently acquired it for your own testing purposes? Whether you put it in the Steam backlog for use at a later date, never to be seen again, possibly, matters not to me. I bought it during the stream. I'll get it probably, just not yet. That's fair. Uh, we're on Edict's research. We need to get the Tier 2 researcher so that we can start going down this tree. Beak. Beak. Running a 2,000 person colony right now. That's a lot of people. I'm debating which materials aren't worth belting. I'm belting everything. It's honestly the satisfactory player in me. That's doing this. Okay, so we need high priority for the manual assemblies. Because we're making electronics, and it's a full output. We can only hold seven at a time. That's not very much. But yeah, these will these will help us uh, create construction parts faster. Uh, we also should have enough to 
go ahead and crank out a couple, I think a couple extra trucks would be nice. For just situations like this, you can never have too many trucks, I feel like. When you make these big factories, you just suddenly need a lot of wheels. I might buy it right now. Still Age of Empires? Yeah, it's, it's pretty... It's actually a pretty fitting soundtrack. Age of Empires soundtrack isn't terribly... like, intense, which is good. Alright, we're down to 15 construction mats. This thing is... not getting concrete slabs. So let's make this higher priority. Maybe even seven. Should be reachable. Have you fixed your ship yet? No, I don't have the... Um, actually, how much does it take to repair? 100? Oh, it's only iron. Oh, I could do that. I thought it was going to be more construction materials, but that's a good call. Because we did have a few hundred iron plates. So much to build in so little time. Alright, but can we actually get concrete slabs in here? Yeah, there we go. Alright. This is why we need... conveyors. This thing is taking big chunks. Things are getting built, though. Alright, world exploration. Uh, use the world map and select a destination. It'll take some time. All the items your ship brings will be unloaded to the shipyard. Just make sure it has free space. The ship needs fuel to travel. It also takes a lot of gas. There's pirates, other enemies. You have to fight them first. If your ship has no weapons, it'll try to escape. Many components can be upgraded in the shipyard. You can find structures such as an oil rig and repair it. Very cool. We got room for some crew, I guess. Let's load them up. 15 crew. It's going to need 80 diesel. Oh, they finally flattened this out. That's really good. Okay, let's do some more of that, actually. I like the idea of kind of getting all this usable. Ship fully repaired. So check this out. Lots of little pips that we can go and uh, investigate. All we gotta do is fill some fuel, which we have 200 of. But yeah, we can upgrade the ship. Give us some nice stuff. We could try keeping the shipyard empty. Fuel for ship. I would say keep full, probably. Okay. Well, this is slowly going up. It's taking a while. As expected. We're just not full-time producing... We're not full-time producing construction parts because of the lack of concrete slabs. So the best thing that we can do is just prioritize the concrete slab um, line. Okay. But yeah, we're, we are like hundreds of construction parts off <laughs> of where we really need to be. But if we could just keep this dude running around the clock, that would be huge. Because I know we have the concrete slabs to support it. Extremely busy trucks. Not surprised. We Are we out of rubber? Oh, they just have to bring it. 
waiting for material delivery from trucks to make more trucks. Hello, Gucci Simpai. I hope you're feeling better, e chan Hello, Sam. What's up, man? I am feeling better. Still having some occasional coughing fits and the need for cough drops. But other than that, um, it's been fun to get back in and start streaming and playing a game I've been really interested in. This game is very <coughs> dense. Logistics, similar to Factorio, satisfactory. So if you're if you're in the mood for that kind of satisfactory vibe. It's not too difficult to get a grip on the controls. It's more about like the controls are their own thing. You have to figure out how to set areas to be mined. Um how to create manual hills out of dirt so that you can ascend to other locales. It looks like we can now reach the third floor. And just managing kind of an industrial empire, trying to keep new workers coming in, create little factories, like this is my factory to make concrete slabs. If you like conveyor belt logistics, it's got that same goodness. But thanks so much for 42 months, dude. I hope the stream's been going well for you, and I hope the last couple weeks have uh, also been treating you well. I have missed all my streamer friends. Avic and Sim, glad you're both here. You're the only two people in chat as it happens. Lurkers rise up more like lurkers figure out how to terraform dump trash heaps um, over your computer keyboards. Speaking of, there actually is nowhere else to put trash. We have to create a larger dump! It's not enough. Okay, that might be too big. Is this too tall? We're gonna find out. Eight plus eight's probably pretty nice. All right, we unlocked edicts. Uh, we're doing vehicle cap. We need to start getting researched here too. That's what I'm working on. Trash Mountain must be higher than Gold Mountain. <laughs> but yeah, I dumped a little trash over here. So I just kind of like the idea of making a big trash super hill. Hang on. How long do you think it would take? <laughs> Hear me out! How tall is this? Plus 16. <laughs> uh, how viable is this? <laughs> now that looks interesting. So here's the thing, it's gonna be a trash bridge, but it's gonna slope down on either side until it can support it. This is clearly what the devs intended. <laughs> COVID can be rough, so it was a relief when you started reporting the symptoms abating. Yeah, no, I was, I was glad for them to go. It took about four to five days for the COVID symptoms to wear off, for the fever to kick after like, I think day five but I didn't test negative till day 11. So it took 10 days of COVID. Pickup cannot reach the, de the destination, but why? Which part? Well, that's not your destination anyway, you nerd. Put it in the, in the thing. Oh wait, what if we just turned off imports? Truck imports off. And you don't have to worry about that. But how are the trucks going to get here to build stuff? I guess I could just use Unity.
but I don't have resources. <laughs> this is Age of Empires Definitive Edition. This is a great song, actually. If you use retaining walls, you can make it narrow. The retaining walls can only support up to five levels, I believe. Otherwise, that would be a good point. Uh, walls will collapse if they hold more than five units of height or if they're overfilled. So I don't know if you can stack retaining walls for more retaining this. I'm not sure how that works. We're going to designate some more trees. Pick up. Why is this your destination? Are you going to export stuff? Oh, you're probably going to export slag. So we're going to have to find a way to export slag ourselves. So to do that, we're probably just gonna have to create... Like I have slag storage over here, which is currently empty, because they haven't been getting it from this, because we have probably too much. <clears throat> hey, guess what I need? More... <laughs> More conveyors! Um, but yeah, actually, that, what I said. Can it? No. Uh, this is this gonna work? Kind of. Okay. Well, we'll figure out how to connect these in a sec. Actually, we could just have the slag go here if we wanted. Instead of carrying it, like, across the whole map with the conveyor. Because, if anything, the conveyor's going the wrong direction, <laughs> I would say. The conveyor... incompatible. Ye no you. But yeah, I would say, like, uh, reversing this would be ideal. Boop. Um, okay. I think I did the wrong conveyor type. There we go. Bear with me. Bear with me one more time. All right, this will eventually work. All right, <clears throat> if we did want to take the slack this way. We're running out of bri- I, I made like a bridge here and there's not really any more room to carry stuff. So I hope I gave it enough. Because I'm a little scared. That I didn't. Okay, this is hell. Um... Slag? It's gotta go up and over. Transport to selected location was not found. That's all right. We'll 
be there in a minute, chat. We'll be there in a minute. Just hold on. I gotta figure out how to stop trying to connect this to itself. There we go. God, this brings back some satisfactory <laughs> vibes. <laughs> uh-huh. All right, now we're in business. So the slag goes all the way back. Which one of these is slag? That one. Ooh. Is there any difference between the flat and U-shape conveyor? Yes, the flat one is for solid objects like finished products, i.e. the concrete slabs here, whereas the U-shape is for loose material like coal, raw iron, or in this case, slag. What about the other three waste products from that area? Just kidding. What do you mean? Exhaust goes into the sky, iron goes into regular iron, and the slag is gonna go where it belongs. All right, we still have a full supply of concrete, so it's not the most important thing in the world right now. What is important is getting construction parts so we can get tier two construction parts. Dun, dun, dun. God, we need 52. This is... This is awful! We're gonna do our best. We actually do have enough materials in here. Well, the trucks are quote-unquote stable now. Or whatever that's worth. We've only got two assemblies working on construction parts. I'd like to get a third, but I don't know if we have, like, enough. I guess we... I could boost this. Pew! Super speed! Go! Now we're just gonna make another manual assembly real quick. So that takes some unity per month, but it just gives us a nice, like, double uptick. Twice as fast! Still running manual assemblers. Well, I need, like, all the electric ones need construction parts tier two, and we do not have the infrastructure for that yet. And we also are making a significant number of conveyor belts. So what I probably need to do is take this to priority six. Maybe even five. And just spend 30 construction parts on this bad boy. But yeah, we're turning these out as fast as we humanly can. The trucks are all just loitering around. Awaiting materials. Do conveyors require maintenance and stuff? No, they just require electricity. But yeah, two times speed here would be very nice. Because there's really just not a lot we can do. I can't wait until this factory is done. And it will be done. All right, where are you taking? What what are we building first here? Well, I guess that's super useful. All right, that's the automatic uh, copper input. So we're not going to run out of copper bars anytime soon, even though we have five hundred of them. 
Recording electricity is better than the free conveyors of Vectorio. Yeah, this one has the trucks that kind of make up for it. Obviously, in Vectorio, you eventually get, like, nano machines or whatever, but you get the trucks at the beginning of the game in this. You just have to keep them maintenanced. Wait a second. We're not making... Are we making maintenance? We have 1,200 maintenance, so yes. But we kind of need to keep... We need to make more mechanical parts. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to accidentally softlock myself like this at this rate. I can feel it coming on. I could boost these too, but... I'd rather just get a third building. Same map, no restarts. I know, dude. He tells to try to finish his factory in 2029? Probably. It's a big factory. Large. Very large factory. What do? Hello, wise turtle. How's it going? But anyway, welcome back, robot. He still doesn't know of the coal belt. What of the coal belt? Right now, the coal belt is chilling. We got the maximum amount of coal we can have, actually. We are full. Therefore, we don't need two excavators and two trucks. The new smelter, you replace the coal belt with the second... Second what? This? I mean, one of them's taking copper and we gotta plug coal in, yeah. But it's also not... Nothing's connected, so... There's not um, <clears throat> a rush, per se. But if that makes you feel better for the future, that'll be done next year. And we almost actually have the third uh, manual assembler. Soon. Ah, here it comes. One more. One more piece. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we just need electronics and construction parts. We're making tons of electronics. And we're making a moderate amount of construction parts. Not nearly as many as I'd like. Technically, we're making 24 every 60 seconds, but we're only using 18 every 60 seconds. Is there a logistics page that shows you how many construction two parts you're short on? There are, there's a stats page. Uh, I think there's also a resource. This is all products. We could click on uh, construction two, and you can see your total consumption versus your total production, basically. We consume too much. We need electronics, please. And I know you've got them. Well, you should. Uh, trucks should be exporting these electronics. It's not going anywhere. I mean, we are getting conveyor belts here. They're peering. I see them. <laughs> Even though they're all doom stacking on top of this. 
Yeah, we're full of construction parts. Why are these trucks not moving? Uh-oh. Chat! It's happening! We need more mechanical parts. Which should be extremely easy to make. Don't worry. I'm gonna save us. Nothing's broken down yet. I just had to convert one of these assemblies. Don't tell me about vehicle management. I'm just kidding. That gives me room for 20 more vehicles. Do we even have anything else we can research right now? Am I research locked? Because I'm good at this game? I think that's exactly what's happening. But yeah, you guys take that those mechanical parts over to the maintenance depot, or this maintenance depot, either one. And then we'll have plenty of maintenance to go around. We have like 700 at the moment. Alright, like I see the conveyors, they're popping in. This is just ridiculously slow. This is full of construction parts, they're not taking them anywhere. But well, we're not going to have any of these for a while, so why don't we just change that to construction parts? Maybe they just don't have anywhere to haul? There's only eight. So I just don't know why some of these trucks are just sitting there. Like, there's electronics in here. They can export. Why is it on automatic? Seems like a weird bottleneck. When you click on, they go back to producing more. Automatic, I think, turns it off when it has like a conveyor belt to feed out of. I think that's the deal breaker. Because now they're going crazy. Yeah, we're going back to making, um... Assembly stuff. Something about having a conveyor connected to disable something. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's going on. Alright, but they're, they're moving now. Make another assembly. Quick deliver, make construction parts. Okay. Need these going as fast as possible. Hands down the most epic building the factory might break it though soundtrack you could have picked. <laughs> We're keeping maintenance barely afloat. I mean, we got more maintenance than we had last time, but said there wasn't enough. Maintenance could soft lock us. Rebuilding the assemblies is helpful in its own way, too. Trucks say they're stable, but... I think we're just making electronics really slowly compared to what we actually need. I really thought two... Electric assemblies dedicated to electronics was going to be enough. I think it is. We're just stockpiling a lot in, like, specific factories. 
But yeah, we need a lot. How many do we actually need? We're making, uh... 24 every 60 seconds. We're gonna need 6, 12... 15... Oh, yeah, we need, like, 27. So I actually need more... <laughs> more electronics. Um... But we're only... How much copper are we making? Enough. We're making enough copper for another electric assembly. But I can't block that off, because that's an important road. Ugh... I think we can just squish this over. Probably just scooch that over and then we can fit a three right next to each other. All right. We have small surpluses. Very small. We have 10 tier two construction materials. got wood storage here. Beautiful. The tree cutters are doing a magnificent job. We got too much coal, more than we know what to do with. We forgot to tell this to be iron, <laughs> so they just never filled it. Sand and copper is full. We are full on all base materials. Which is kind of amazing. Conveyors are phasing in. We only have a hundred iron bars. Um, should I be concerned? We haven't gotten rid of this slag. <laughs> oh. Yeah. The slag. It's kind of a big deal. That'll release a little bit. I'm going to quick deliver some of this. Because, yeah, getting rid of the slag is a pretty important thing. There we go. Then we need 36 <laughs> to go the rest of the distance. It's a little too much. It's got too much molten iron. This has got Oh, the iron the iron plates are getting stuck. Oh, this belt's facing the wrong way. You buffoon. I don't even know how that happened. Hey, look, now it's working. Hello, Gamer Deathbot. This is a nine hour stream. Whoa. We never did connect this wood piece up either. Should we have 21 advanced components? Ah, scary. So spooky. Not advanced components, whatever they're called. These guys. Wait, iron plates will actually get automatically belt fed into this. That's amazing. So we don't have to rely on the truck anymore.
But we're down to 50 plates. And it needs 18? Wait, how many does it need? 18 every 60 seconds. But it only needs three at a time. Okay, that's fine. You're coming back! We're trying, yes. Uh, the maintenance is a possible issue. Yeah, we are running out of maintenance. This is working around the clock to make more. I don't think is good enough. Alright, but we're trying. Things are moving in the right direction, at least. Just gonna quick deliver this. Getting one conveyor belt plugged in at a time. All right, here comes the concrete slabs. Why are there random copper plates on the iron line? What? I don't know. Three impure copper. I think there was just some leftover impure copper from before when we were doing both from the same one or something. I don't know. But it's turned off now. All right, now it should be good. But yeah, we can just remove the products. Wait, does a truck have... Oh, can a truck reach these? Okay, trucks, you guys relax. Can you get that one? <laughs> so many trucks, dude. I need to get one more. Just one more. Hey, all right, you got it. You did it. Wait, is there another one? No. Chad, this is not... Why is this flipped? Did I click toggle direction on accident? All right, we're back. Now we just need wood. Yeah, and then it'll be fully automated. We're getting there. These have kind of slowed down because the construction parts are just coming out as fast as they possibly can. Even boosted. We're getting close. We're getting close, chat. I know some of these things aren't connected also, by the way. I am aware. Okay, um, I want to see the rest of these assembly lines go up. Let's get the wood one. Excellent. Are we still in Age of Empires? We are. I need to keep this page open. I hope we haven't played any music that was copyrighted. <laughs> It's still in Age of Empires, so I assume it's fine. Alright, here comes the wood logs. 
Look at this. We got iron, we got concrete slabs, and we got wood all in the same group. So truck import should be off now. None required. Really hope I'm not about to lose my job. That's true, Avic. That is true. Now that the wood lines up, is the bug from earlier still present? Yes. But what you can do is this, apparently? You can just... You can just go over one, then go down, and it works. For some reason. That's why we built the bridges. Get them, tree harvester. Uh, couldn't I store all veggies, potatoes? Farm veggies will dry out. We are really, really dangerously low on maintenance, actually. Oh, because this is just building construction parts. Super boosted. Chat, we don't have any iron plates. Okay, where are we getting iron plates from? They're just on the conveyor belt only. <sighs> My advice is always to do that anyways, as um, if you don't, it can create banking corners on the conveyors that ex impede expanding lines. Yeah, I did kind of encounter that on accident earlier. But that is a good point. I just have to learn the quirks. I have to learn the strange bits and bobs. All right, just give me thirty. Just give me thirty yellow, please, and we can solve this entire crisis. This crisis. <laughs> two more, dude. Give me two more and put them in storage. And we can solve maintenance. How many do you have to have before a truck pulls them out? That many. Where are you taking them? Okay, we just built a conveyor belt instead of this. Let me just make this priority four. Alright, all, well, almost all three of these are going. What's going on here? What are you, what are you missing? What the hell happened here? Chat, we're out of all concrete? What? We definitely have sand. What are we short? Oh my god. Okay, fine. Here... Be free, slag. At long last, things are slowing to a crawl. This is such a big conveyor. And we're out of maintenance. Ah! It's done. All right, the infinite crawl of slag. Ready to free up space. Hello, Sue Bird. I am still going, unfortunately, because that means I haven't completed my mega factory. And we might be soft locked soon because I'm running out of maintenance. In fact, we're out of maintenance.
Okay, so here's the plan. Basically, um, we kind of just have to wait until all of this trash gets to the loose storage and then we'll be crushed. And then we will start production of concrete slabs again. We're really backed up. Can we trade for maintenance? Um, not really. Okay, but since the slag is getting freed up, we should be able to go back to making iron stuff again, so that's useful. Because that got slowed to a zero. This one will empty. Alright, the slag has almost made it to the crusher. <sighs> we might get soft locked here in a minute. Metal plate production, I think, has resumed. Come on, slag! Get in there! This is way too intense for a factory building thing. <laughs> Side of you. If only we could use trucks to dump slag in the ocean. We don't need dump in the ocean. We need it for concrete production. That would be a waste of slag at this point. Okay, here it goes. It's all finally caught up. There we go. Turning it up into a fine crust. Uh, we should be making, what, 24? Like, getting some rock here would be nice, too. I guess we could actually have this go to both. For this, like, emergency situation. Um, that's not gonna work. Okay. How do we get more construction parts? We need regular construction parts, for which... Missing input. Yeah, we're missing concrete. Which should be back in action now. Because here comes the little pieces of gravel. Going down the slide. Wait, what are you guys doing? Are they exporting slat? No export here. Oh, I see, they were doing it for this. That's useful. I guess, I guess that helps. Okay, anyways. These things should be spitting out some concrete slabs any second now, I hope. And we can get back to moving. Okay, two. This one needs a couple more. I mean, we have basically a full line of this stuff now. So this will fill up, and then all the rest of them will fill up. 
All right, we're trying, chat. How is maintenance? Not good. We are making more. But probably not very fast. Because this doesn't even connect to anything. So they're probably just grabbing the plates from here. Which makes sense. I guess having like a nice surplus of iron plates would be good so they're not just all stuck on the assembly lines. But we have enough. We have 53 in stockpile. So both of these should be able to do stuff if they were prioritized. Good god. It's already been over nine hours, chat. I'm just trying to make sure we're not soft locked. We're producing maintenance as fast as possible. Given the circumstances. Okay, we should be seeing... There's the concrete. Concrete's popping out. It's going where it's supposed to go. Feeding into the electric assembly. There we go. Alright, now this thing can get back to work. I can see the lines moving at last. Get used to this effect. This game feeds on time. I guess so. How you doing? I'm tired and hungry, but I'm fine. I just really wanted to get this factory operational, and we're doing just good enough to stay afloat as we lack maintenance right now. Which it could be worse. If we could simply get this electric assembly to start making mechanical parts for us, that would be, like, magnificent. Because it's already hooked up to conveyors. We've already got our first broken vehicle. I do have two maintenance depots, but they're not the same. I think one's P5 and one's P10, so we need to change both of them to P5. So they both get equal love. But we are trying to make maintenance. I'm tired and hungry. Me too. Is this game good? It feels hella slow. I'm playing on like two times speed. You can do 3x. And also, I mean, it's a big game. You have a lot to micromanage. You have to do a whole island eventually. So working towards that takes some time. But there's a lot of gameplay, because you've got a lot of shit to uncover and do. So you, you know, you're encouraged to take your time so that you don't ever, you know, not have anything to research. Or not have an available place to dump dirt. He's also bottlenecked. Yeah, I'm bottlenecked pretty bad, yeah. That is true. I was gonna try and make... Like, kind of a bridge up here? Um, out of dirt? under anybody's purview right now. So we need to make it so... Because that's pretty flat anyway at the moment. Okay. Uh, and you can dump dirt there, yeah.
vehicles broken. There are some mining designations outside tower areas. That's fine. But yeah, now dirt's got somewhere else to be put. Uh-oh. We need a quick repair to get the lights back on. Uh, having the power generator break down is the last thing you want to have broken down, obviously. Machine is... Oh my god. All of these are breaking. What do we what do we short? Oh. We just need seven more construction materials. Quick deliver. This could save us. We have an electric assembler making mechanical parts. Which is automatically going to spit them out into the maintenance depot. That's so good. Okay, big deal. I want to live! Okay, that's producing about as much as it possibly can. So what we can do is at least, like, save some unity... And maybe change these over back to construction parts. Fantastic. Alright, because that's making 12 mechanical parts and it's automatically putting them over into the maintenance depot. So we should get enough maintenance soon. Not enough workers. Two workers. And we have full pops. Oh. That's not good. Um, housing is incredibly expensive to upgrade as well. One thing I'll probably do is destroy this maintenance depot. Once we get back to, like, actually enough maintenance. Only two workers. How do I have 280 out of 280? I guess we can shut down different facilities that we're not really using. Like, there's 10 workers per farm, and I feel like we have too much food always, so we can free up 10 workers there. Three farms is probably enough. Shut down research. Unironically, probably. We might even destroy these, because we can't use them. So instead of just upgrading them, why don't we just move them and build the Tier 2 versions? Give us a small refund of some parts. I could just boost this with Unity. Try to catch up on maintenance. And while that's happening, demolish the other building. Put these side by side. Oh yeah, how do you... Hang on. Excuse me. Cancel. I guess I'll give it two spaces, because I don't know how to make that actually work the way I want it to. That's fine. Okay. Anyways, yeah. So then we can save our boost, because we will have around-the-clock assembly supplying two maintenance depots, and then we should have plenty of maintenance. Excellent. All right, I think we're saved. Also, I see most of our, like, conveyor belts are being built. So that is excellent. Uh, then it just comes down to the physical facilities that we need here. I think the bottleneck is unbottlenecking. 
So that feels good. So we probably don't need this to make mechanical parts anymore. Boom, boom. Take both of those down, get some part refunds. We just need a uh, construction two so that we can quick build this. And we've almost got what we want. Electricity. We have a f we have a hundred kilowatts to play with. I think. The outputs change depending on which buildings are running parts. But yeah, this isn't going to last forever. We're producing um, 24 diesel per minute, and we're consuming 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 20. We're consuming 20 and producing 24. So we actually do need the second distiller now. We can <clears throat> supply some more depots. All right, and then we need to get some um, this bad boy. Hooked up over here. It's gonna be a little bit of spaghetti. I don't know why I did the inside track, but that's fine. Okay, then unpause this. That way we have more of a buffer. connect those up. We're going to quick deliver there too. Thank you, Unity. Okay. Ooh, so if everything went according to plan... Oh, we don't have a deposit of crude. How much are we actually jacking out of the ground? 1836 54? So we got plenty to play with. We're gonna take a little loopy loop here. I don't know how to do this because I already did it one. I did it on the other side. I think you have to hit R. Yeah. All right, a little bit of spaghetti never hurt anybody. So wait, we need we actually need 54 crude per distiller. Oh no, so I do actually need to build the rest of these. And we don't quite have enough build materials yet. Okay, but I got the rest. Perfect. Oh, wait, but this uh, pipe can only do 60 per second. Pipe can only do 60 per second. Hello, Sasha Shot. I'm, I'm, I'm losing it a little bit here. Hmm. I mean, there's a, there's a tier two pipe, but I can't research it yet. So these pumps are gonna be pumping too much. Yeah, missing input. We need better pipes. Okay, in that case, I gotta like.
I gotta undo all of this. Okay, pain in the S. What is this? So we're gonna have to have one pipe. That simply connects. Why can't you build this now? I know it's possible, because I've done it. <sighs> okay. This is how you want to be? Fine. We'll do it like this. Chat, I gotta eat, dude, but also my factory calls to me. We'll just have the first pipe go down the middle like it was. Then we'll have the second pipe go above. All the way down here, at which point it will branch off. All right, let's queue that up first. Let me deconstruct you. Wait, what is this? Um, yeah, you just deconstruct. All right, then the level two pipes. We'll go up like that. More spaghetti, please. That actually will work. Then we're gonna use the Unity tool and just be like, please build all this instantly. Thank you. That's so nice. <laughs> what a good tool. Of course, you have to have materials to deliver for it to work. So there's that. We only need like two building materials. Okay, so are these going to work now? It looks like it's flowing. I only see one pumping on the left, though. start from the first oil well to get it to connect the way that I want it to well I don't know why it's so picky about that when you deconstruct I think you get like 75% of the mats back I believe okay well this is back this is working the way I wanted we're filling up another fluid storage and we'll have room for power shortly oh we built the electric assembly That is excellent news. We shouldn't need this to be wood storage anymore. Do we have two for construction parts? Yeah. So we'll do construction parts too, so that this thing... It's missing an input right now, which is regular construction parts. Which itself is missing iron. Which is missing because, well, we don't ha when you know it, we have no iron. <laughs> hmm, yeah, it's funny how that works. Who could have seen that coming? All right, now there will be iron. 
Um, what are you... What's this excavator doing? Oh, there we go. I don't know, actually. I hope two is enough to catch up on this. We're always bottlenecking somewhere. Okay, but that should work fine. All right, chat. We didn't build the factory per se, but it's pretty good. Like it's it's working. We have 127 part tier twos. Oh my god! I didn't even finish connecting these parts up yet. Okay, this is for vehicle parts. So we can unpause that. Uh, we're making a ton of construction parts tier two now. We can probably go ahead and delete this these bad boys. Get some refunds, and uh, I think we're pretty good to go. I know it says we don't have enough maintenance, but that's about to change. Okay, got plenty of wood. Got plenty of iron now. The iron is flowing at full speed. Is the game worth buying its current state? If you like logistics and uh, you like big research trees and you don't get easily overwhelmed by having to juggle tons of resources factory or satisfactory style, then you'll probably enjoy it. Very good logistics game. Alright, we're probably actually running out of coal here, aren't we? I mean, we can dig deeper. It's like in the ground. That's how that works. <laughs> So we have to dig, like, a huge coal pit there. I think saved. Yeah, I think I think saved, actually. We got plenty of maintenance. Uh, iron is back and is fully stocked. Or will be fully stocked. We are making too much mechanical parts now, but this is for future-proof. We're making vehicle parts now. Uh, probably gonna need some more power generation soon But the big thing was we needed to make lab equipment. That's mechanical parts and electronics That was to go here So power shortage might be a problem, but behold The true power of not having enough workers <laughs> Okay, but remember when we needed 400, like 100 construction parts to upgrade housing? I do. Let's go ahead and start that upgrade. And this conveyor. Was for this. All right, and if you have the materials, use them. Then we can have two separate factories making construction parts too, which is gonna be fantastic. Uh, yeah, we need like 15 workers for all this time. Huh? <laughs> it's, it's quite a few people, quite a few people. I think I'm just gonna, like, unity boost the tier 2 assembler. 
I like how the dirt roads form over time, but wish they became paved. Yeah, it's it's good the way it is, but I know paved would alleviate some of the people who are a little bit more kind of detail oriented, but as it stands, I think it encourages spaghetti. It was good to encourage a little spaghetti. Yeah, let's up the priority of the other electric assembler real quick. And then we'll freeze a couple of these buildings. Save on power. Uh, they're really, like, trying to get this housing built, huh? We can make this go a lot faster by simply building the other assembler. They're building at um, 12 per minute. We're about to get 24 per minute once we get this other one built. And eventually this will stabilize, because we're building like an entire factory, so we just needed a disproportionate number of the tier two. Tox, you can create roads by digging up the topsoil and filling it with rock to create a visual difference. It doesn't make things move faster, but it looks like a road. <laughs> Interesting. I don't know if I have enough space for that, but. There's, there's ways to get around it aesthetically if you want. That's good to know. Alright, where are they taking this? Oh wow, we have 200 construction parts. We have enough um, vehicle parts to make some more vehicles if we want. I don't know that we need them right now. Oh, it's paused. It is paused. You're right. I was kind of waiting until we could quick deliver, but not going to happen. At this point, we may as well wait until they're done with the housing. But yeah, it was paused. It's late. Chad, it's been almost 10 hours. I'm supposed to stream tomorrow. This has been the longest stream in a while. I'm just, I'm just like dedicated to trying to finish. The factory is actually almost done. Said eight hours of sleep and he's still streaming. I am because I got this damn factory. And it's so close to perfection. If you never stop streaming, you don't need to start tomorrow. Very good point. Where? Okay, fine. Take it. Do whatever you want with it. I don't care. They're dedicated to building this housing first. I can't stop them even though I made this P5 priority and unpaused it. Ninety-four out of a hundred. It's almost the uptime. It's a very addictive game, yeah. And the factory is never done. Uh, we've gone a long time without researching anything. To be fair, we're about to like be able to research everything very quickly. All right, baby's first upgraded housing. But first, uh, if we need more limestone. Oh, they built another ramp up there. Very cool. Actually, let me take a look at the overlay. Yeah, that would be fine. Mining a little bit there. Like, I can't make the six too close, but it can go, like, over here, kind of. All right, that'll, that'll give them enough space to dig some things out. Goodbye, Container Park, and hello, actual houses. Whoa, a neighborhood. And people can join up and we can get more workers. We have room for 60 more pops. Very cool. Okay, we don't need this to be 
super boosted anymore. We're losing unity per month. So that's bad. We got the, the lighthouse is quite expensive. What are we out of resources on? Construction materials? Oh, I know why. Wait, this is producing 12? We're using 12. Where are all the iron plates? Chat, he knows. Where's the coal? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. That's very bad. Truck! We need a truck over here as soon as possible. Here it comes. <laughs> There's always something. There is always something. Alright, we're gonna leave two and two on this permanently at this stage. It's gonna take so long for the cold to get back all the way over there. So incredibly long. <sighs> but it must be done! As you have a much more conveyor-based logistics setup, it may be worth giving 1.5 or even 2 trucks per excavator so they don't have to wait for a truck to leave. Although the idea is I set up the loose storage extremely close. So the downtime should be minimal. It should be like one or two scoops. But yeah, I think ideally I would do that. And have a little bit more so they can just keep going. But right now, like, this should be more coal supply than they can possibly use. For the entire factory, I think. Oh, they picked up dirt, you bastards. Why did you pick up dirt? You're just gonna hold it there like, hey, look at this. Check out my dirt, dude. Sweet dirt. But yeah, I think having more trucks is good, especially when they do get dirt and then they go way out of the way. So I can give them a third truck over here just to be safe, and we can just create another one. Behold! More construction parts. Which we could unity boost this too if we wanted, but I don't think we have enough resources for this boost, so we're just gonna go back to normal speed. Ah, oh, it feels good, chat. It, fe it does feel good. I could hook these construction parts into the assemblers, but they shouldn't need it. They should be good to go. But yeah, coal is back. New refugees! Hey, people arrived. 16 more people, actually. More workers. For all intents and purposes. Uh, the factory is more or less done. It just needs more workers. And a consistent supply of both iron and coal. Chad, it's almost midnight. Help. It's almost been ten hours. Ugh. My body hurts. I'm dying gamer death. Chat's already been asleep for about three hours now. I understand. But the factory must grow. I will probably play some more of this next week. I'll play something different tomorrow just to change it up. Because three streams in a row, especially after ten hours, is kind of a lot. But I definitely want to play this some more. I'm kind of winding down here. What I'd really like to do is just, like, unpause... The building said any workers. We could also, like, just spend... We have 50 unity. I can just trade. Oh, we can go explore. 
The ship goes away for 33 days. We should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> honk honk. See you later. Good luck. Uh, but I was going to say we can use some unity to trade and adopt tin pops just quickly. Just to get some more workers in. It is missing an input of mechanical parts. Whereas this is missing iron plates. Which from what I can tell are now being made back at full speed. Numbers go up to addicting. It is, yeah. I went to sleep, woke up, and you're still streaming. Good morning, morning stream chatters. Yeah. It's amazing I'm even still talking right now. I've been jamming out to, uh... This is Spear Rhythm. Fretless Salsa from Age of Empires. But yeah, there is work that must be done. I don't think we can produce... Enough iron plates. Or maybe these conveyor belts, the throughput's not good enough. Our ship has discovered a damaged cargo ship? We got cargo ship technology? Excuse me? We found rubber, copper, and some vehicle parts. We can also just continue to explore. There it goes. I don't know if I want to read this right now. <laughs> a cargo ship lets you automate product deliveries from the world mines and oil rigs. You have to repair them, then build a cargo depot on your island to use the ship. You can start by building a cargo depot. Cargo depot module, ship logistics, transporting products. All right, we'll come back to that. Sounds cool though. That sounds like a problem for future me. But yeah, we have like, not enough iron plate throughput. It's going pretty fast though. Everything may not be going simultaneously, but it should be a decent amount. All right, we actually have a good surplus of this stuff. And we have started making lab equipment. So if we've made lab equipment, then we can finally make the damn research module, which of course is a building. Research lab tier two. Provides more advanced tech and has been provided with continuous lab equipment. Very cool aero building. Go planning mode. We might get a better building than this, but I'm just gonna plan for that. Like, this is kind of the extent of the factory here, in my opinion. How much does this consume on a regular basis? This is my question. I mean, obviously, more equals better. What does it need to output, pray tell? Okay, it's official, I'm getting this game. Well, there you go. What's the end goal of this factory? Uh, we're eventually gonna make a rocket ship, I guess, but that's probably so far away, we're never gonna get there. And then eventually there's gonna be space gameplay somehow? I don't know, don't ask me how that works. I did not develop game. Like, I want to build here, but I also want to leave room for more factory shenanigans. But I also just want to move the vehicle depot. We also need a captain's office still, but that's a lot. Alright, if I were a vehicle depot... I think I'd go just over here by the farm. All right, and that, that looks good. Just out of the way. Okay, now, 
Research, please. I've been trying to do this for so long. Kind of like this over here. Two, three, four, five. Can we possibly squeeze it? Oh. Alright, what about this direction? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make seven. These are so big, but putting them side by side does make sense. All right, this is gonna cost us 120 construction parts. Good God. We'll just start with one. And I assume science comes out on a regular conveyor? about to find out. Oh no, what about bridges? They're gonna have to go around. I guess regular little baby trucks can go through. Let's all go like up to here. I don't think that's enough space. <laughs> Actually, let's just do this. Okay, at height two, trucks can pass under. So how do I build that? Okay, like so. But chat said you have to start with the forwardmost one. But now I don't know how to connect it. How do you... Okay. Someone explain this to me. Chat tried to explain this earlier. <laughs> you said you have to start with the front one. But I don't know what that means. I think you build the conveyor into the back of the already built. Hmm. Like this. Which way is this facing, by the way? Hey, we did it! Okay, chat, we did it. Wait, did we do it? We just have to flip this around, I think? Can't see what direction it's going. Yeah, now we can. We did it! Woo! Alright, so yeah, you have to just like join it to the curve. Start new research at last! Just gonna burn some unity and quick deliver these resources. Though I paused it, so that's why it's not building. There we go. All right. Now, the lab equipment can actually start popping out of there. We actually have enough people to work this one, too. I don't know if we have enough power to work this one. The top bar got two rows somehow. What, this? Yeah, but <laughs> I did notice the UI change. What? Have I been playing too long? 
like the UI scale changed. No recipe selected. Lab equi equipment. Tree harvester has no trees. Cargo ships were added. Yeah, but why is it like you could fit all that up there for sure? Chat, we actually have to go to the next level for trees. Whoa. I haven't had to do that before. Okay, so this assembly is taking mechanical parts and electronics. So the mechanical parts popping out of here. Just take six per minute, and that's exactly we're making twelve. So we should be making more than they can even take. And then we don't even have a connection to this guy. It's kind of important if we want to make science. So science actually comes out. Those are little science packs. If you played Factorio, think like science juice. And the science juice will feed. We need four every 60 seconds, and we're currently producing 24. Oh, so we can definitely build this thing. <laughs> uh, we can make some more research labs if we want. Two's a good start, I suppose. We can always freeze one. We can always pause one. But no research has been selected. Guess what? I can research whatever I want. Of course there's a burner depot too. Cargo depots. Soup, I do like super pipes. Let's do, actually, power gen first. Figure, I don't even want to figure that out right now. And then pipes. All right, we have begun. Research has started. Research is about to go even faster with two of these bad boys. Yeah, how much power do these take? 50 kilowatts each. Yeah, we're gonna, we need the power gen. Location explored, found some goodies. And we probably need to go home to refuel. New refugees. I think we're full. We have 42 workers and a good place to start next week, chat. Good 10 hour stream. Look at our factory now. I mean, I know it's kind of frozen in place, but that's because we actually produce too much. We're just too good at our jobs. Except for iron plates, apparently. What's full output? Are we full of slag? Did you fill up both of these? Oh my god. Truck export is on for this, so we we gotta dump the slag somewhere. There's always one more thing to do. Uh, I think I was making a slag spot over here. As long as we have enough trucks, there's seven idle trucks. So should I just like force a keep slightly empty? I don't know if that's wise. So all the trucks will now just go dump the extra slag. God, it fills up so fast. So if you don't get the slag out of the blast furnaces, the blast furnaces just stop. Because they're full. Hey, the ship's back! Chat, there's no stopping point in this game. You don't, you don't get to quit. Not enough housing. There's two homeless people. Is 
It's gonna be you in a second when I kick you all out of my stream, so get out. But look at our little man-made water collector extension. There's always more we can do! I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm dying gamer death here. There's still much to do, but yeah, I'm really happy with the factory. This is, uh, we did a lot. We did the whole concrete factory. We figured out oil and crude and some basic energy generation, and we made a big electric super factory with two iron smelters, two copper smelters, and, uh, we got sand and pipes, farms, first housing upgrade. We did a lot. Good stuff. Ooh, I'll probably play some more of this next week. So let's overwrite this and finally get me out of here before I find something else to do. All right, chat, it's after midnight. And I am planning on streaming tomorrow, probably like three-ish Pacific. I don't have an exact time for you, but I thank you for hanging out with me uh, in your morning or your evening, whichever as the case may be. Thanks for spending your time here. I'm gonna skedaddle now, but I think the game's really fun. And thanks again, uh, Siobhan, who says spinach is pretty cool for a 13th month sub. You're pretty cool too. And you late night yup timers are pretty cool. Uh, so hopefully this long stream will kind of make up for the fact that I'm not gonna be streaming for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And we'll get one more good one in tomorrow. I don't know what game yet, so you'll have to come back to find out. I have not yet decided. Chat wants to play more Stellaris and XCOM, which is understandable. But there are many choices. We'll probably um, do some XCOM next week. Do some Captain of Industry next week. Next week will be like four or five streams. At least four, for sure. We'll be back tomorrow, like I said, 3 p.m. Pacific, or today, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, I'm going to see you guys on an end-of-stream raid. We're going to go say hi to Nomac. I haven't gotten to do a raid since I've been sick. So let's go say what's up. He's playing some Card Shark. That game looks fun, too. Card Shark looks pretty cool. But go give Nomac some love. Give him a nice, strong raid. Do what you can do. Muster what strength you can. At this ungodly hour of 3.12 Eastern Time, 12.12 Pacific. But... Uh, Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for watching, and thanks for making a fun, good stream. Hope you were comfy, cozy, and enjoyed the factory building today. I've just been enjoying the game a lot. But good night for now. We'll see you for the next one. Whew. I'm tired. Sleepy time. Good night. <laughs>